Howdy. Hi. Alright, after giving those nerds some stuff, uh, Stumbles, yep. you're next. I need to start thinking of more things for your character. And I have some ideas, and I'll let, and I think I'll pass them by you, because I feel like I've been neglecting Han. Also, I am constantly reminded that you aren't actually where, um, that you don't actually have a weapon, you just have two shields. Yes. Which makes me fucking mad when I think about it. <laughs> that you're holding two shields. Yeah. Look, if it can reach, it's going to be. Oh, my You are dual wielding shields. I always forget that. I keep looking at your equipment yeah. going like, wait, why is it that you don't have a weapon? And then I go, oh yeah, because you have two fucking shields for something. Like I'm not adding I'm not adding the second shield to my AC. I just have it for role playing. <laughs> oh Lord Jesus Christ. Because if anything that should that should like subtract from my AC. No. Oh fucking Christ! Why? Why two shields? Why have you done this? Because I'm rock solid. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> can't believe you've done this. Yeah. Running a tad late. Food order came in. Who? Helping what? mom. Shouldn't be more than ten minutes or so. Uh, Juan also messaged me. He said he's going to be a little, being a little late as well. So. <laughs> We can sit for a bit. We can chill, hang out, talk about Mother's Day? Question mark? Meh. My mom nah. can get for you. That's nice. My madre got um she ordered in from um she ordered in sushi. But uh me and the siblings uh pitched in to get her some mm, pretty jewelry. And flowers, and chocolates. Okay, so everyone's level five now, and you've all taken a long rest. So any damage that you've taken before is healed up. Well, within limits. I probably have to go to the hospital. I mean, some scarring isn't the worst. Uh, excuse you, not the money maker. <laughs> you really don't like that you got a scar on your face. Got some call marks. It's gonna make her self conscious. <laughs> really? Girls like scars, <laughs> but do, do boys like girls with scars? Some boys yes. like girls with scars. Yeah. <laughs> boys like girls with scars. Girls like girls with scars. I mean, unless she's everyone that likes girls. Those of indeterminate, those of indeterminate gender like girls with scars. I mean, yes. unless unless she's told specifically that her scars don't matter, she's going to be extremely self conscious about them. Riley is going to tell you that immediately. Well, you're you're not dating Lyriel, so. <laughs> don't tip me. <laughs> I'm not forming a polyamorous relationship with Alara and Riley and Hazel. Oh, you don't have to. Only Riley does. <laughs> you stay away from my boy. I'll fight you. You may lose. I will throw these hands and this staff. Your hands do zero damage uh, on a hit. I'll throw this staff. <laughs> Do you have range? Do you have ranged weapons? Range weapon uh, proficiency? No. Okay, then a fight, <laughs> then a fight it is. <laughs> then a slug match it is, and oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> is it not gonna go well for Lyriel? Look, <laughs> she don't care. She'll throw these hands and maybe some spell. Well, I have crossbow proficiency, but that's about it. 
I don't think you have a crossbow. Do you have a crossbow? Um, I have a dagger. That's not, that a, crossbow. not a crossbow. I have proficiency in daggers. You can do a stabby stabby. I can do a stabby stabby. Oh, we're getting one of those kind of fights. Okay. They can be thrown too, so. Yeah, but remember, you only have one. Actually, I, I think I had two, but I sold one because I was like, when is Lyriel ever going to use a fucking... When is she ever going to be close enough to use a dagger? I mean, at this point, if you are close... If you're that close to your opponent, you might as well use your dagger because you're not going to do anything with your fists. Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> Wall of fire. Let's be honest, gal. <laughs> You ain't doing nothing with those fists. Look, anyone even looks at her boy weird, she's gonna just fucking throw hands. Doesn't matter if they do zero damage. See, this is why you need to go to the gym with me, Nevit, and Hans. Look, I've got an I've got an eight or yeah, I've got an eight. I've got a negative one. Going to the gym a few times isn't gonna do much for her. Listen, strength. I'm sure if we worked hard enough we could get that up to a zero. And I'll do one damage. Like, Lyriel's strength is the least of her worries right now. There's some weird shit going on, and now she's got to try and figure out what the fuck's going on. Mean weird shit. Like, what, what could you possibly mean? Like, well, other than not Monday, the weird shit that just happened with her phone and the arcade. Mm-hmm. Do you think those two things could be related? Probably not. Hmm. Because he seems to be good, the more... Good. He's definitely the more... Like, Not Monday seems to be more of the confrontational, like, uh, type that tries to egg you on and aggravate you into attacking. No, oh, you think so? Hmm. I mean, he did Good. that with Zog. Good. Of course he did with Zog. Zog's... Zog... I personally thought Zog would take the bait. <laughs> Anthony showed very good restraint. I mean, he does have to watch over his students. As I said before, he's not stupid. As we you're said not... before, debatable. You're not... No, no, no. You're not stupid. But the fact that you didn't take uh, to his aggression, especially when he turned, when he turned first into Monday, which was one of your students, then he turned into Pluto, one of your friends, finally turning into a red orc from one of um, from your clan to try to egg you on into a fight, and you didn't attack him once. Yeah, no, incredible restraint. Warlocks are scary. He is scary. It's like seeing Mr. X in uh, Resident Evil. Just shows up, smashes through a wall, oh, and comes right at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rip DMX. Don't worry, you'll get to a level and an ability when you actually fight that guy then he'll be the one on the run as long as you don't uh, keep like killing in his random students i mean he did straight up teleport which is curious because he should have been out of spell slots oh he wasn't warlocks only have two spell slots unless he's a multi-class uh no Pretty sure they have more than two. No, darling. Warlocks only have two spell slots. I Higher play... level warlocks have more than two. Mm. I, I know that because I'm pretty sure he has more than two. Mm. You also get, um, also at a higher level, you get access to cast high level spells just once. So you can cast a sixth level spell, a seventh level spell, an eighth level spell, and a ninth level spell just once. I'm pretty sure warlocks only ever get two spell slots, which is why the joke is that warlocks are always asking for a short rest. Let me go find. Uh... Oh yeah, no. After after his little confrontation with you guys, he did take a nap. 
curled you need up. a different one. Just curled up, took a little nappy nap. <laughs> Sometimes I just need to take a nap. After after you slap someone around for a while. Where did I put that guy's character sheet? Where's your character sheet? Also, I shouldn't be calling him a he. I should be calling him a they. Because that is the proper term. Uh, you are incorrect. They have more than two spell slots. At, the, at their level, they have more than two spell slots. And it's just a straight warlock? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Callie, did I ever show you this meme I found? Show me the meme. The good, good mean. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just switch and, uh... Yeah, get yourself set up. Oh, I'm already set up. Stream's already been started. Uh, oh, yeah. Christ almighty. Uh... <laughs> Where are we going? We could just start now, man. I mean, we'll... it doesn't matter. Um... We're down two people. Yeah. I mean, there's four of us in the chat. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I could wait a bit. Can wait we'll for at least one. Random garbage. I'll I'll reconnect the iPad to the computer so I can at least draw for. I mean, we kind of need one here so we can, you know, have the re reunion scene. Yeah, but come in later. That's fine. He just wanders in. I'll see myself out. Uh... <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> What the Mexican fire chief name is two sons. What? Jose and Jose B. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at that, but I am. <laughs> she looks like such a gremlin in this picture. I love it. Sweet baby girl. Oh, what do I want to use? Actually, that's probably
Gwemlin. Gwemlin. She looks like a gwemlin. You made another gwemlin? No, it's just. You made another gwemlin? It's just literally oh. being a sweater gremlin. Ah, a thieving, I see. A thieving sweater gremlin. Another gremlin has appeared. Yes, Dino. You're very talkative. All the time. And no one ever believes me that you're so talkative. Excuse you. I mean, you don't. I've seen him! Yeah, but even though you've seen him, he still disputes that he's very talkative. Not really. Heard him yabber at me. Boop. There we go. Now I can... Lyria was hidden behind Hums. There we go. Hilgi's burrowing. Ah! Dino has crawled into me. Precious. Mm-hmm. 
Oh no, he's on my lap. It is now impossible for me to reach the computer. Oh no! Well, I guess I can't run the game today. Why? <laughs> because I can't reach my computer. No, well, Cat is on my lap. Obviously, <laughs> you just need to get longer arms, forehead. <laughs> You know what? You're right. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> Street smarts. Why did one say he was going to be late? Hmm? Why did one say he was going to be late? Uh, he didn't. I thought you said he just he... said he was going to be late. Oh. Yeah, he said, going to be late. And I oh. said, okay. Well, I guess if it hits eight o'clock, we could start, I guess. Yep, that's my thought process. I mean, Chris yeah. said 10 minutes, but it's been 20, 20. minutes. <laughs> I have oh, arrived. Jesus. I... He's right over top of me. <laughs> Hold on. Ah. Hey. I am so sorry, guys. Oh, no, it's fine. Did you get a big order tomorrow? Yeah, we, had a, we, had, we had a food order, and we have to drive like half an hour to deliver it tomorrow, so it had to be done tonight. Mm. 
Yeah. Hashtag, uh, hashtag, uh, catering business. You know what I mean? Yeah. This base. I desire the food. Uh, Bring to me the lumpia and ube. Mm, lumpia. I desire nope, not the Dungeons ube. and Degenerates. We, funnily enough, the birthday cake we had for the uh, catering thing was uh, made of ube. Oh. Uh, let's see. What episode is this? Ten. Nine? Nine was ten. last week. Oh, oh, yeah, the one I missed. Okay. Episode ten. We've had three extra credit sessions so far. Ah, yeah. So and, I, um... I just couldn't make it, so. Oop. We had three so extra credits? Um, Wait a second. Lyriel and Hazel's date, Jin's adventure of the hereafter, and then last night. Lyriel's and Hazel's date happened last week, though. No, it didn't. That was a good week. Yeah, it did. That was like two weeks Cause... ago, babe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't have three yeah, this yeah, yeah, week. Because yeah. we didn't have the date episode when I was visiting you. It was before I visited yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, 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 Oops, you did it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Start streaming. There we go. And I will run my usual three minute ad. Oh, is that something you have to do manually? Because I haven't been running any ads, if that's the case. Um, I run a three-minute ad. That way, uh, during my stream, no one gets subjected to any of the ads. But I do it at the beginning when I'm running the starting soon thing anyway. Oh, God, I'm so full. Oh, my God, his pre face is fucking precious. Ugh. No, I need to see it. I think I need to see this. Do I need to see this? I probably should see this. What? You're, you're showing face, so I'm guessing it's on your stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah. You're showing what? There's my notification that you went live. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes. Oh, no, I'm doing a drawing to accompany the little bit for after the main session, and I'm just being soft over how adorable Hazel looks. I'm so soft. <laughs> he <just> looks <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Callie. God damn it, Callie. What? He has a precious face. God, God damn it. <laughs> what? Uh, your little gremlin's all scarred up. Stop reminding me! <laughs> yeah. Dan! You fuck! Uh, I'm not being thirsty! I'm being appreciative of his physical attributes! That's good. I need you to hydrate him. <laughs> You need to hydrate three times, from the looks of it. Mm -hmm. You fuckers. To deal with that uh, three times the thirst. Oh, All right. thanks for reminding me. I actually have to disable uh, hydrate on mine because I didn't bring any water with me. Go get some water. Got some tap water. It's important to hydrate. Right out in the kitchen. Yeah, well, yeah I already did. That's true. Did All right, well, give me like... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna run and get some water. Be right back. <laughs> it's like you better do one before you do it. Oh, hell.
Wreck him, freck him. <laughs> I ran out so quickly I forgot to mute my mic, too. Oh, we didn't hear you. Well, we didn't hear you. Or at least I didn't. <laughs> well, didn't hashtag noise gates. <laughs> I, I have a noise gate on my... Uh... <sighs> Oh god, I don't think I can get <laughs> that quickly on my stairs. All right. Last time on the Adventuring University on Power uh, Rangers. In the last hey, session, uh, our our hero, um, our adventurers, not heroes yet, our adventurers um, had gone to a party at the Mithril Factory, uh, factory hosted by leader of the Red Devils, Funda. Um, the players had, uh, joined the roller derby and searched for, um, the, and were searching for the assassins who were, uh, promised to kill Wanda. Um, the players were able to stop the assassination attempt, um, and begin, uh, combat with the, uh, with the opposing faction led by a uh, road devil named Courtney. Um, Courtney uh, attempted to flee in a car uh, with some of her other pals uh, down the road, and our adventurers gave chase. Um, some shenanigans happened, and Jin ended up jumping into the car, uh, into Courtney's car, before it crashed. Killing Jin in the impact, and everyone else, or nearly everyone else in the car. Um, since then, our players have gone through some extra stuff that you can see in some of the extra credit sessions. Um, but from then on, uh, our, it's been now a week since the death of your team member. It's uh, been one week. Since you looked at me? <laughs> it's been one week uh, since Jin died, since um, the car crashed, since the police raid on the Mithril factory ending up in the arrest of many of the Road Devils, including Wanda. Um, Did um, Neva and, and one week. Ronnie get out okay? They are totally fine. Okay, good. They are totally fine. They escaped in time. Um, they are totally fine, but, you know, most of the road devils were locked up, um, and the streets are now cleaner without the road, or the streets no longer have the road devils on them. But they the are no the longer the body was smashed against them. Are they clean? Oh... <laughs> what? That's dumb thought. What? That's dumb oh, thought. Whatever. Mean... <laughs> 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 it took two seconds to look at my chat going like, why are they rolling? What are they writing? I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you love it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you love um, to hate it. Our players um, were able to get deep breathing. Um, we're going to just take some time. Darius, um, sit down! I am sitting down. Um, Jesus. and we're able to take some... I am sitting down. I'm literally laying down. Uh, and we're able to take some time away, uh, from adventuring for a w little while, you know, licking their wounds and recovering from, uh, all the things that happened. In that time, they all, uh, learned some new things and leveled up. Um, and gained a couple of new skills along the way. Um, Darius, maybe finish doing whatever you're doing and then continue talking because there's so much noise coming in. I don't know what noise you're talking about. It basically sounded like someone was body slamming the mic for like a hot second. Yeah, for most of your explanation. I... I don't know how that could possibly happen. I'm literally laying down. I'm not walking around. I haven't been walking around this entire time. I have full blanketed myself and like snuggled myself so that I wouldn't move. He's um, nested. He's I'm nested. nested. 
That way I won't move. You guys always complain when I move, so I stopped, so I decided I won't <laughs> walk around. The mic is so I'm goddamn next. sensitive, it sounds like you're throwing it down a flight of stairs. Okay. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to throw him down a flight of stairs. That would be a stupid idea. Wild uh, magic. A random set of stairs appears and somebody falls down them. Um, That's just the real We're underwater. Our players, <laughs> our players now find themselves returning to their classes. Um, they enter into the home room to see a familiar face at the board. Uh... Though this familiar face now scarred and mired with what um what looks to be racked uh rooted lines over his skin, and Pluto has returned to hey. class. Yay! It's Professor Pluto. Hmm? Pluto looks over at uh the students. Good morning, students. Uh, you see that he like walks with a bit of a limp. He actually has a cane to help him up at this point. Um, and he looks out to the rest of his... Um, and he still looks like he's got uh, some bandages around like his arms and his neck. Um, and through those bandages, you can see these sort of thick black uh, like lines that almost look like roots that have spread into uh, like his skin at the top of his face and throughout his body. Um, it looks like whatever the wraith did, it hurt him bad. Um, he looks out at his students. Well, good morning, class. It's been such a long time since I've seen your wonderful faces, and that is a true shame. Uh, I apologize for being out for so long. I was in recovery for a while. But I am back and here to answer any questions and be of use to my students. Um, you all take your seats. Yeah. Me. We're beginning our class today uh, with a bit of an announcement. In less than a month, uh, we will have a tourney going on uh, for some of the other classes. Uh, basically, um, we do, um, we believe that we need to start doing more tournaments and more practice and teaching students how to protect themselves as the attack on the academy itself has really uh, rocked the academy thus far, uh, uh, leaving lasting damage. Many of the freshman students from, our, um, from the classes have vamos, they have left. Uh, and even some of the older students have gone as well um, in the uh, in, um, as a consequence of the attack on the school itself. Um, we will continue to function and we will continue to do our best to provide you all with the best in scholastic, um, scholastic education for dealing um, for becoming an adventurer and dealing with certain problems in the future. Um, as such, to get you prepared for uh, the tourney that will be happening in less than a month, our class will be starting mock battles. Um, you'll be going up against your fellow classmates' uh, teams what? and little student battles. Claw? Um, <laughs> oh, look, it's one of my Hero Academia tournament. <laughs> Hans raises his hand. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Hmm. hmm. Is Hans a lover? <laughs> no. Lyriel kind of like bites her not. nail and nervously looks over at Hazel, like, oh fuck. <laughs> and then looks over at Tournament Veronica. Tournament arc begins. Huh? Hazel, put your shirt back on. What? Tournament arc begins. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> So, so when when are we gonna have our beach episode? Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Side story. I mean, not a side story. Plan. No. Don't worry we're about gonna... it. Okay. Side story. Sauna episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The sauna episode is the side story. The main episode is where we go to the beach and we have to fight crab people. 
Crab. Okay, the crab people crab are scary, people. okay? And then immediately Lyra also looks at Veronica and gets even more nervous. <laughs> Oh, no. um, 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 Pluto also looks at Scott Scarab and his team along with Veronica I would like to also thank uh, Scott and his team um, and give them some um, shed them some light in the last week they were actually pivotal in my recovery as they were able to hunt down um they are able to hunt down a cure for my affliction. So thank you for um, thank you to them. Uh, they are the reason I'm in class today. We blew up a car. Does that count? <laughs> Shut, Hans. <laughs> Hans, I don't think that that counts. Also, in the car explosion, I heard that uh, one of your classmates, Jin, uh, had passed on um can an undead I... really pass on it's a setback <laughs> is, it, is it or is it just Temporary. a setback she <laughs> ponders but she doesn't say this out loud because she knows not everyone knows that he's undead i mean vicky didn't that's for damn sure mm -hmm. also it's the undead don't, don't always come back so you're making a lot of assumptions <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in I fact, guess... often we kill an undead. They come. They don't come back. Um, she didn't um, say anything about being him that I've been back. around Pluto for so long and having seen multiple incarnations of Jack. Yeah, they. they no. You, <laughs> you, you. No, you're fine. You're not. But you're not <laughs> seated with the with the students. You're sitting next to Pluto, <laughs> doing whatever you do. <laughs> it's like. It's a setback at most. He's polishing his gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not polishing my gun. Don't be don't be so predictable. I'm mounting Pluto's trophy bass on the wall. Ah. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Here's, what do you think Zod the, what do you think Zod was doing it a week off? He here's, went here, fishing here's the finally. supplemental <laughs> handout Polaroids of Pluto, Callus, and Zog fishing together. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong thing. I didn't mean to give you that. That's uh, those are personal. <laughs> what did that um, shit say? Fish fear me, women want me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't worry about the kids. <laughs> and why is Pluto say Pluto's photo tag say that great bass? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Callis shape watering fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's let's be honest. Yes. Is that, isn't that cheating? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't feel like I'm being completely honest. Don't feel like actually confronting her with it. <laughs> At this point, I just let her do whatever she wants. She's gonna do it anyway. I mean, even if I try to stop her. I mean, according to my brother, that's very much how that goes. <laughs> oh, your brother's in one of her classes. Um, she's the professor that leads his adventuring team. They report. Poor bat. He <laughs> says it his breath. Poor bastard. <laughs> 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 just a nod. Somewhere, somewhere looks... deep within her own office, her ears twitch. She goes, "Someone's talking shit." <laughs> <laughs> Someone's talking shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we'll be having some mock battles. I have one question. I'm sorry. I have this one is, answer. This is a. This is not a. Uh... Related to your game, but why, why would what? someone uh, make uh, this mod? What are you talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. Can you like uh, no, 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 no. just put we're, it we're in the Discord him. and I'm talk sorry. about it later? We're in the middle of something. You yeah, we'll ignore that. Go we'll ahead, ignore, ignore it. it. You're distracting you keep saying about reason. sandbagging and other things. Stop sandbagging this. Dan. How else are we going to ever get to be our friends? Yeah. <laughs> the same way everyone else does. Get a name fight started and settle it in real life. 
None of us have the same name. <laughs> what? The Josh fight. So what? There was okay. What? So don't worry about it. I'll <laughs> tell you. I'll tell you after. Just. A bunch okay, of people. You are all named Jin now. No, fuck <laughs> you. A whole bunch of dudes named Josh got together and beat the shit out of each other with pool noodle pool noodles to to find the the Josh that reigns supreme. The true, the one true Josh. There exactly. Could only be one. Exactly. <laughs> That's so dumb. I know. That's so dumb. Days, I hate you. Um, what? He, he, Darius literally announced we have a tournament arc. We need this. So, no, how, yeah. how, do do yeah. we have to draw lots, or how, or is this already set up, or? It's not already set up. Uh, we will be drawing lots. Um, oh great! I will be putting. I will be putting uh, each of your team into a hat, uh, and your team leads will be picking from um and two teams will pick from that and they'll sh that'll show who they're first mm -hmm. i will not be providing weapons no we're fighting another <laughs> team oh Bitch. Mm -hmm. you will also oh, not be I, no i'm not fighting i'm just not giving oh, yeah. you guns i'm going oh to... yeah no Zob, you will not be participating in this uh, no shit be... Lyra makes it, a little it would be under at you, Riley, like she's gonna punch you <laughs> <laughs> With, you know, It'd be a hugely unfair advantage if a teacher were to assist their students, but that was probably obvious for you. By the way, one of you still has a gun, and I forgot which one. It was Mofon. <laughs> it's me. I have a gun. It's not in my gun. inventory. So I I'm didn't hand him the gun. That. He stole the gun. No, you gave him and the gun. And it is student a gun. You did hand him a gun. No, someone else stole a gun while we were in the roller rink. No. No one else had a gun in the roller rink. No, I'm well, pretty sure you Juan gave Juan Jin a, a gun. gun because he I had the best decks. Gun, but Juan has a gun. Juan did not have a gun. I swear he All does. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. <sighs> anyway, um, choose one member from your team to be the team leader. Um, during the arena fights will be doing more than just uh you guys just aptly brawling at each other we'll be doing tests of tactics you'll be learning about team tactics and specifically how to work as a group to specialize your abilities and work together um to make sure that you guys you know are actually fighting together it's in it's good to increase your own skills but you got to work as a team sometimes um, before the, each fight, we'll give you some time to strategize and plan your combat out so that you can make the uh, best advantage against whatever team you're going up against. Please, not one day, Steve. He's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Look, every single member of that team scares the shit out of me, Darius. <laughs> what, what, wait, uh, wait, including Kelly, your boyfriend. I'm not. I can't like quantify this, but literally, we have. We, we might have like the highest body count out of any team at the moment, though. We're not no, looking you don't. To uh, kill. I mean, Monday killed a lot of people. Oh, actually, no body count. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, they were cultists, but you know, that's a little different, I guess. I mean. No, minus, Monday seems to be on cultists. Zon, participate what? minus one for Zon. What'd you say? Oh, if you mean body count as in uh, team members, you are also incorrect. Uh, Scott's team has the exact same number of uh, team members as you, and there's a, a fourth team that has six team members within Pluto's class. Oh, I meant body count as in things we've killed. Ah. And we're beaten up. Yeah, has, didn't Monday take out like an ass load of cultists? Yup. Monday and uh, Monday's whole team went after some cultists recently Sorry. and ended their careers and lives. Like I said, Christ. scary. Don't want to fight them for multiple reasons. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Everything was not. Like I said, will uh, one member of each team come up to me uh, for the mo- um, for the battle? We want to pick one of you to be the team lead, so you'll be the one representing your team and leading the rest of your party properly. Okay. Um. So which of us? So how do we want to how do we want to do this? Rock paper scissors. Um. We roll a D three. Hans, Hans is kind of like casually standing up and walking towards the front. Well, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, I, I was actually my other, my other question was Hans. I, I, I sometimes like Hans's addition. Well, there he goes, our tactical leader. <laughs> no, hey, what? Not, you can't really <laughs> doing this while you guys are talking, so like you have a chance to intercept. Hans, wait. Uh, uh, Hans. Yes. Hold on, there, buddy. Take two steps back. What? You guys need a what? You need a team slide leader. to the left. <laughs> yes, and we As should slide to the back. Causing a deafening screech. I, it wasn't <laughs> blitzer. I was. It was a song joke. Um. Well, you know, good for following directions, Hans. You're a plus in that. Yeah, you know the cha cha. I love that song as he starts clapping. <laughs> and, oh, oh my. Making oh, even more noise. I love well, him. We, we should, I know you're keen to, you know, go up there and be the leader, but I think we should at least find a small competitive way to settle this between all of us. Um, I don't. Um, I, I gr- gracefully kind of... bow out of this competition. I don't think I'm very much leadership. Uh, yeah, you see, Lyriel's out, so that would that Yeah, boy! Me. Uh, mm-hmm. uh Milton, how about you? I mean, I could see Mofon leading I'm the not... team. He's calm and composed. I... Most of the time, but um, yes, um, I, I don't mind, but I definitely will need advice from time to time. I mean, we roll... Well, I don't okay, mean to, so we're all in this together. Yeah, four. <laughs> exactly, we're all in this together. Well, Hans, how oh, about no. we make it fair? Then? And Lyriel sits down, pulls her, uh, pulls her arm past up her shoulder, and like flexes her arm, uh, elbow up on the table. I think Riley wa- uh, Riley wants to challenge you to arm wrestling. <laughs> arm wrestling? I mean, we do. We do, we do these. <laughs> I just, I can only imagine the other team just watching us. Like, Jesus Christ, this team is a mess. <laughs> They've already got established leaders. It's Veronica on Monday. Yeah, but we had to deal with the freaking. Veronica is not the leader of her team. Scott's the leader. I thought you said Veronica was the leader. I said a long time ago, Scott's the leader of their team. He's the oldest and the most wise, which is why he's the leader. So what do you say, Hans? Best of one? And what, a handshaking competition? No, arm wrestling, Hans. What's handshaking. that? Handshaking. Did you, did you just ask, what's that? He so you're going that. to put your hand in her hand, and then you're going to both push as hard as you can to try and make the other person's hand touch the table. It's a competition of strength and flexing. Ah, I see. <laughs> Gotta put it in terminology he, he understands. That's a word that he understood. Exactly. He over. <laughs> Can I do the countdown? Darius, how do, how do you want us to roll this? You're gonna be a doing athletics checks for damn sure. So, give me your athletics. See how it goes. I guess, yeah, Lyriel will count us down. Ready? Three, two, one! Hold strength. <laughs> oh. So Hans tried to strike a pose during it. And oh no. <laughs> he took, he took his time. hand off the table to, instead of anchoring himself down and tried to like... <laughs> Well, who am I? Um, j- uh, I wouldn't learn that one. <laughs> Mofan, do you want to go? Uh, see a man. Sh- sure. Oh, uh, 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 God, against Rayleigh, really? Well, I mean, Riley won, right. so yes. All right, Riley. 
All right. Uh, Ready? Yeah. Three, a, two, that's just an athletics check? Yeah. As, as, yep. Mofon, athletics. as Mofon sits down, like, Riley, like, glares at him competitively and just, like, cracks her neck, cracks her neck really quickly. Three, um, two, well. one, go! Damn it. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> His hand goes slamming into the Riley, table. Riley, Riley, Riley just turns to Lyria. What? I mean, like, your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you, she lifts her arm up and goes, "Hello." Limp noodle. No, she pulls her noodle. she pulls her shirt down over her shoulder to show off a whole shitload of bandages. No. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Cause that's the bite was over her right shoulder, which is where she's right-handed. So, Ariel switches arms. <laughs> <laughs> and Riley switches arms. Are you kidding me? I was gonna say. Wow. Wow. R Riley, I'm not. Right. I'm not going to arm wrestle you. <laughs> All right, thumb wars. What? Thumb war. <laughs> It's something we uh, we played at the monastery. Got, you try to catch you just. I've got an eight in strength. This isn't going to go well. Well, at least he didn't suggest the one where it's on. janking and then the all, loser gets smacked over the head with a mallet. Just the round robin. Just one to go. Come on. Uh, <laughs> fine. Pong, you count us down. All right. Okay. Three. Oh, Hans or Homo oh, Fun? Hans. Okay. Hans. All right. All right, three, two, one. Ow! <laughs> oh my god! No. Oh my god! No! <laughs> what? 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 Against all odds? Against what? All right, right. fucking odds! Yeah, that's what? Riley, what? After down, what? after taking down, after taking down, after having a, a tough time taking no, down odds. You do take him out. <laughs> After taking out Mofon as well, switching your arm and going up against Lirio does not work. <laughs> she summons up some strange animalistic strength from deep within her and fucking pile drives your hand into the table. <laughs> right, it's fun. Can we do a Blackfoot competition next? <laughs> right? Riley just kind of look and goes, yeah, that seems about right. Okay. Oh, do you and then she gets up from her chair, grabs Lirio by the shoulders, gently on her right shoulder, uh, and then just like start, starts pushing her towards, you know, towards to go pick the name. It's like, okay, see, there you go. okay here's the thing. I only won one, you won two, so maybe you should be the leader. Yeah. Is this what they mean by not tempting the, di the dice gods? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna, <laughs> hold, on girl, hold on. Let's see how this girl goes. Okay, Lyriel, Lyriel, uh, Riley can agree with that. I keep saying the wrong name. Fuck! <laughs> Call yourself uh, Lyriel. It's I know. Weird. I don't Damn know thing. why. I keep in the R's and the L's, and they just kind of switch in my head. I'm having, like, weird, like, uh, freaking... Besides! Uh, you I mean, we all know your character names are Lily, Lily, Lily and Ririel. Besides! <laughs> Lily and Ririel. You're, you're the fighter. You probably have more tactical knowledge. I sling spells. That's right. what I do. Yeah, but from the back, you could ta dictate, ta dictate tactics. Shut up, you. Uh, whatchamacallit. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. Riley, Riley will just kind of like then move Lyriel to the side and then just go up and pick the name herself. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, you make your way up to the podium uh, to begin. Uh, okay, does your team have a name and your oh, destination? Shit. We never named ever come up with a name. Uh, you don't have to have a name. Not all teams have names, by the way. Uh, it's just sometimes uh, helps to unify a team when you have to name. But we are requiring at least a We're going to come up with a name, but then... Um, team Zog. We're not Team Zog. You are We're not, not Team Zog. I'm not beat. taking responsibility for that. <laughs> team, team, team Bacon. Because everybody we, loves bacon. Came up with the name, but then uh, the thing with gin happened, Here, and you, just your kind of just broke off. my student's arm. That's not my fault. 
He yelled Team Zog so before he did it. Come up with that later. What they said doesn't apply. <laughs> Team Glitter Bomb. Oh no. Hello! Oh god! Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. You got it. I'm 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 I'm, I'm paying it forward. Someone did the same thing to my stream. Aww. And completed my sub goal. I'm at like eight out of fifteen on mine. Um, so I say we don't have a specific team name at the moment because one of our teammates died before we had that fi official talk. Yeah. Uh, team Jen. Team Jen. That's that's a little untasteful. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll just decide later. All right, fine. <laughs> Alright, like I said, you don't have to have a team name if you don't want one. Um, pick out of this... Um, he puts a uh, hat in front of you. Uh, pick out of the hat and let me know what you get. Uh, how are what you rolling for this? Yeah. Uh, roll me a d4. Two. Lucky you. Uh, he grabs. Um, he, you pick out. You grab out a name from the uh, from the grouping, and you uh, get another team leader because this team also doesn't have a name. Got Scarab and his team. Oh damn it! <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, either. Monday's team or or Scott's team, we, I was gonna be fucked. So wait, Fig is on Scott's team, right? No, that's uh, Monday's team. Fig is not on Scott's team. Oh, Scott's Damn team. it! I want to fight Fig. I want to walk over and be like high five. Yeah. Poof. Actually, no. I would really love to see that battle. Can he mulligan? <laughs> Maybe next time. This time you're fighting Veronica. Uh, you're fighting Scott and Veronica. And a bugbear and Nebit and a halfling uh -huh. bard. <gasps> I get to fight Nebit. Yeah, you get to fight Nebit. Nebit. <laughs> oh, this is going to be rough for some of you. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, we had a long rest, right? Yeah. Yeah, we all have a long rest. So make, sure yeah, yeah. make sure that you mark that long rest for your character sheets. Because I, yeah. I don't want you being underpowered for this fight. <laughs> well, I mean, I still don't have any fucking armor or anything, so... It's fine. Not everyone on Scott's team has armor either. How It'll be is fine. My long rest not doing anything. It does it on D and D Beyond. You have to just do it yourself. It does it on D and D oh. Beyond. You, you ha it does a countdown though. You have to hit the OK and it reset all your spell slots and your health. It doesn't reset charges though for some reason. Yeah, if it's equipment, you have to reset that yourself. Okay. Right, so Scott and Veronica. So oh, we've got Scott, Veronica, a polar bugbear named Grung, and a half-elf College of Lore bard named Donnie. Half-ling. Halfling. Halfling, sorry. Too many half-words. Uh, and of course, Nebit, their paladin. Mm-hmm. Nebit. Kind of rolls off the tongue. It's fun, Nebit. isn't it? Nebit's great. I love Nebit. Nebit Nereshi. Nebit. Nibbit in the well, they pulled our team. They pulled the team, so Lurel's just gonna go sit on Hazel's lap instead. <laughs> uh, when we were fighting, I looked directly at Nebit and just give her like a smiling thumbs up, like yes. Go fight, the bitch. <laughs> are th is this gonna be randomized, or are we just going ham as a team? Uh, you are going ham as a team. This is a team fight. It's for team building and team work is going to be part of this whole endeavor. Are we fighting another yeah. team after this? Uh, no. Uh -oh. For this one, you're just fighting the one team. You're gonna deprive Riley and... her chance to fight Fig? For today, yes. Oh. When the real big, when real big tournament time comes, maybe not. <laughs> uh, depends on how far Fig and her team gets. So right. this is going to be unarmed, or is this going to be free-for-all? Full-on 
um, full armed, you're going to have your weapons, you're going to have everything you will want or need for the combat uh, ahead. Hmm. Are we going to be doing this um, round robin style where everyone else watches and takes notes while the other two teams beat the shit out of each other? Yes. Nice. Great. Now I can't make, now I can't look bad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Gotcha. I have to actually like perform. <laughs> Judging look from Hazel. Obviously not. He is too sweet of a boy. To Obviously sit. not. Obviously no, he's also no. not a magic caster. So. Yay. Zero and Riley out on the field because you don't have a gin yet because Juan hasn't shown up. Yeah. I just realized that you're a 4v5. Maybe. Well, you could always just and switch it to the other technically team. Technically 5v5. Still me. I mean, you said Pluto's team had six, so you could, if it's unfair, you could switch it out and have the 4v4, and then the 5v6, and maybe have one of them sit out. Because we can't bring Zog, obviously. No, you're not allowed to bring Zog. Illegal. That is a flag on the play right there. Cause like Ooh. either way, I'm screwed for these two teams. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Veronica's kind of gonna fuck you up. <laughs> well, yeah, she's gonna cancel out everything I do. And they've got. Whenever more than... you cast the spell, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled the pistol out and slide it the slide it back. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Shame, I gotta shoot you down. You seem cool. <laughs> you guys seem chill, but now I gotta fucking slay you out. Gotta bring out the clock. Like, I'm sorry. I they love my a... team more than I love you guys. They've also got like a lot of utility between Nebit, their paladin, and abjuration wizard, a college of lore bard, a monster hunter, and a fucking thief. Well, rogue thief? Just a thief. thief? Rogue thief. Rogue thief? Thief. I mean, <laughs> might as well just say thanks for the thanks for the ass kissing. Uh, thanks for the axe kicking ass now. Kissing. You want to try that like three more times? No, or? ass kicking now because I mean they just have a numbers advantage. You do indeed, and they are all your level. I mean, I could just have Hazel's team instead. Uh, that's even worse. <laughs> but it'd be uh, but it'd be fair. That's the worst part because it's four v four. It would be fair, but I wouldn't enjoy it. Well, Lyriel wouldn't enjoy it. I am enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> also, I really want to see Riley and Fig go at it. Yeah. Honestly. Do it. Do it? Yeah, sure. This I is know, I mean, it's like, oh, wait, are we doing this, like, now? Yeah, right now. Uh, yeah, it's about, uh, I, before the fight starts, you do get a chance to size up your team and create strategies based on do um, for the fight itself. Um, so we're now against Monday's team? Um, if in yeah. essence of number fairness, in the essence of number fairness, because one's not here, I will put you up against one. Um, I will put you up against uh Hazel and Monday 4v4. Instead. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, so I know a bit about the team. Uh, what do you want to know? I know their classes, and I can't really say I know much more than that. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, Wait, yeah. How come I keep getting crumbs in my bed if I keep putting the entire Oreo into my mouth? Obviously, some of it's still getting out of your mouth, no matter how carefully you chew, because the entire Oreo itself is too much for your mouth. Anything else? Anything pertaining to Monday's team? Uh, yeah, what classes are they? Okay, so Monday is a blood hunter. Uh, order of the Go did, what the fuck did he say? Ghost Slayer? Ghost Hunter Slayer? Wait, so are we actually are we actually fighting yes, Fig's team now? We are. Okay. Well, okay. So when that happens, hold on. The scene that plays out between Fig and uh, Fig looks directly at you, 
and it's like, yeah, it's just points the, with both the hands scene, and the drops scene that down. plays out is this. So it's oh Your my god. So as soon as he says that that they've switched the teams, Lyriel just still sitting on Hazel's lap just goes, oh fucking hell. <laughs> just gives, and gives him like a side <laughs> eye, like why? Uh, all right, so we were at Blood Hunter and it, okay, so then we walked off. Okay, so we missed the rest. Okay, well, I, so I had I had to edit it. I had to edit it, so I got the <sighs> laughing. Okay, so obviously you've seen Fig do her Storm Herald stuff. When she's doing that, if you get close to her, you're going to get electrocuted because she does electricity zap zap stuff. Um, Josh is their cleric. Uh, okay, Storm. And I know he worships Paylor, so he might either be a life or a light cleric. And, well, Mofon, you know, Hazel is also a monk uh, who does Way of the Astral Self. Does monk shit. Does monk does cool monk shit. <laughs> Way of astral shit. I like that. That's the name of it now. <laughs> Way of astral shit. That is the official name for it now. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Bloodhunter, a storm. Nah, herald. no. A bloodhunter, a storm herald, an astral monk, and an either a light or a life cleric. I never actually asked Josh what his specialty was, but I know he worships Paylor. So Hans, go Paylor. go over there and pick Josh up. See if he's light. No, I mean light magic, not light as in heavy. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, that's, I agree. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know Catholic well, clerics have more mass. I mean, oh god. <laughs> I guess I could use. Lyriel looks at Riley and goes, "Well, I guess I could." Use this as a chance to try that thing. Oh yes, uh, you can do that on command, I th right? I, I think so. I think I talked to Novus about it this morning. Hey, phrasing. What? <laughs> God damn it! Anyway, hi David. Um, anyway, I, I guess I could give it a try. I mean, I could see if I can do it on command. Uh. And I'll, I don't want to say it in case there's ears listening, but you'll just have to trust me and see. Oh, I usually do trust you until you hurl a giant ball of fire at me, usually. I, I don't plan on hurling a giant ball of fire, but, oh, um, I did discover I have two new spells available to me that we could potentially make use of. I now have a wall of flames and ice storm. So we could potentially use that to turn the battlefield to our advantage. Ice oh, you have an ice storm too? Yes! Unfortunately, my deck save for that is only 14, so some of them are very easily going to make that deck save. <laughs> so, are we, okay. are we... Are we ready? Lyriel, guess, for half a second, Lyriel looks like she's gonna cry. Well, I guess I guess we have to be. So I'm obviously, you know, me, Fig, we go way back for like a week. A couple but, weeks. But you know, we're, we're we're going to do our thing. Mofon, are you fine taking on Hazel? Please. Um, I feel like it would be a fair fight if the monks were against each other, and I, mean, I would yeah. like to know more Here, about his. Here's the thing: can. they might. They've been doing a lot more team stuff. They probably ha are going to attack as a unit. They're not probably not going to be s sectioning off to do 1v1s. They're probably going to gang up on us. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's fair. Um, but most of team, my stuff are team strikes. Tactics. Yes. I do have a gun now. Besides, that however. would leave me fighting Monday, and that's scary, and I don't want to do it. Okay. I thought Hans would take Monday. I assumed Hans would take on the other cleric if the, if you're going monk v monk and barbarian and fighter. It aren't vampires sweet too? And she just kind of does like waves her hands, <laughs> as in in like a priestly do not, way. Do, do you not? I I actually order the ghost slayer. I don't know if he takes. I don't know. That's he's a bit of a mystery still. But 
I mean, he's obviously out here in the sunlight, so sun isn't doing anything to him. Yeah. I, I fight to make my friends succeed, not to defeat my enemies. So yes. I will help you guys all out. I mean, I will not be targeting anybody else. They've. Oh, the, the only downside is they've got three frontline fighters. Well, I guess Monday has a gun. Oh yes, by the way, Monday has a gun and a sword, so yeah. he can be midline, backline, or frontline, which is just horrifying. Well, then, honey. <laughs> well, yeah, I have, yeah, she yeah, gets a thousand yard up. stare just <laughs> yeah it's and fucked let's, up let's try, it, let's try it like this move on you're gonna have to take on hazel i will be dealing with fig hans can you do your best to distract the other cleric distract is my middle name you want me to fight the then blood hunter i thought it was george what no it's no time <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and that means Larry, unfortunately, you'll have to deal with Monday. I can't fight a blood oh. hunter! <laughs> <laughs> That's scary! Just, just we strong. will assist each other, my friend. It'll be a little less scary if you can do the thing. I mean, that's not a guarantee it's going to be any benefic like beneficial against a fucking blood hunter. Well, I'm just saying, listen, I'm not saying we shouldn't work together. But just in case, we should all have our each uh, each have our individual targets. Okay, but if they gang up on you, two v one, don't come crying to me. Well, that's still two v two, and it's like Ekmo just pops up. Right next boy, to you. <laughs> hmm? I hate you! I hate you so much! <laughs> oh my god! Look at that. You, you son know, of a bitch! You think? If you wanted to be cool, you could just put me against Hazel and we just stand there and stare at each other the entire time. I don't think he's going to do that. Do you honestly think he'd hit me? In the in the purposes of academic of, of, acade, acad, of academia? School, yeah. Academia. Of school, academia. Yes. yes, academia is the correct word. Yeah, Lyrio couldn't get. Lyrio can get through the whole word. I mean, Riley can. God fucking damn it! Riley can get through the whole word. You keep calling yourself Lyrio. I know. It's driving me <laughs> nuts. I don't know why you're doing that. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Imposter syndrome. Oh no. Maybe she's not Lyrio. <laughs> Obviously, oh, I God. am. Look, no. Look, Oh god. So I guess we head outside. Oh god. I don't know. In a stadium like setting. The whole no, school is just, watching. It's probably just the courtyard. Yeah, you know, probably. where Callus uh, had the dummies set up and they were slinging spells at them. Funny you should well, mention that. No, Pluto leads your way to a stadium. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> water the rock! You wanted this. <laughs> you asked for this. A stadium? I didn't ask for a stadium. Some of you asked for tournament arc, so I give you tournament arc. Oh, I just guessed. You... <laughs> you told me to stop looking into the future, so. Stop <laughs> looking into the future, Callie. Stop looking. Stop looking at my notes, more like. <laughs> what notes? <laughs> Fuck yourself. Christ. I don't know how you've gotten access to my notes. Stop looking at them. <laughs> Obviously, it's because we share one brain cell. Oh, God, no. One whole brain cell. Share one brain cell and you're high as fuck. Uh, Ariel kind of just trudges her way to the fucking stadium. She does not look happy. <laughs> she opens her bag, makes sure her bear's in there. Then gets upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Barry. Oh, father. While in the stadium, you can use any weapon that you see fit. Um, you can use um, the stadium is closed terrain, so the only um, the rules are you cannot leave the stadium at any point in time. You cannot do lethal damage; only knock people down until they're down to zero hit points. Um, once they are, they are KO'd for the fight. Um, and you cannot revive someone. You cannot bring them back to life. To They're not supposed life. to be dying anyway. Yeah. Like, when someone hits zero... The, the thing is, when someone hits zero, they're knocked unconscious, and they're, out of, and they're out of the fight. 
basically. So oh, good to it's know. really just to be, so that way you can't just keep healing or, you know, you can't just keep healing yourself out of a combat. You have to, if someone knocks you down, you're down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> For the purposes of this fight, don't get up again. But I want a tub thump. <laughs> Uh, I just gotta move you to the right scene. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, where's your character tokens? Here you go. Oh, it's very picky. because I don't have. The... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't have the uh, tokens for. I don't have good tokens for Monday and. I uh, could have made you. Uh, yeah, you I should have asked for them a while ago. I don't know why I didn't. I have I drawn you so many Mondays at this point. Yeah. I could have just made you one. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> I'll make you a Josh and a Monday token after this. Thanks. Oh, you got Hazel in his little beanie. Yeah. Oh, That's the only one I had. I sent you other I ones. I sent you one with his gi, didn't I? Uh, is it a token? I mean, I could just make you another one. I'll make you one with the new gi I'm gonna give him. Okay. okay. He looks good in black. Okay. But, um... Oh, did you make me a token for... that? Uh... Uh, uh, Weiss at Ezio uh, on the battlefield. Uh, <laughs> that's Josh. That's a cleric. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a cleric for now. Because I just, I just didn't have uh, it's Ezio on the <laughs> it's, it's Ezio and McCree. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> no. I wish I had. I, I tried uh, getting the images to work, but when I looked at, um, when I went to image converter, it just wouldn't convert properly. So I had to do this. Mm. Because I was just going to take uh, images that Callie actually made already for Monday. Josh was fucked. He didn't have enough images. The only I mean, image I, I saw that, of Josh... I had that Are You Nasty one. Yeah, the all that all that we had was the Are You Nasty, which I thought about putting up. <laughs> I'll draw, <laughs> you, I'll draw your tokens. Hilarious. Just make a list of all the characters you don't have tokens for. I will do them for you this week. Okay, thank you. Um, so for now... I need you all to roll your initiatives. <laughs> Don't forget to click on your character. Oh, well, that's oh, just right. Sorry. Oh, uh, damn it, Hazel. Oh, Hazel. <laughs> click on my. That click feels on my that's very that feels very right for Hazel, but also, come on, Hazel. All right, so <laughs> I didn't click my character, well, he... so let me a little. Do Maybe that again. his fighting spirit is matches Lyriel's at this point, which is which is to say it's not very existent. Ooh, yeah, Josh. that was expected, Josh. Why does he, he have an initiative move. of mine? Oh, he's not. Doesn't have he's any. Got, why? Yeah, he has very okay. very poor decks. He's got great everything else. Two shit decks. All right, let me let me see that. Oh wow, Monday. What the fuck? Why is everyone on my team rolling so fucking low? Where's Fig? I'm about to roll her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I hate this. What, Why do I hate this? What's the so radius much? of the fireball again? Um do you think I'm going to cast a fireball on Hazel? Yes. Riley Riley just gla Riley just glares. It's twenty feet. Fucking Christ. Um I could technically get to all of them. <laughs> Pluto you announce scream Hadouken when you do the fireball. Hadouken! <laughs> I'm going to announce first uh, that for the start of these battles, I want all of you to be prepared um, as possible. Um, though that is not how it would be realistically. Um, it is how we're going to do in this battle. So, for this combat, I need all of... Uh, all, for the first round, all of you will be... Um, taking any actions to prepare yourself. So take whatever actions you want to have yourself prepared before you actually enter the ring. So if you have an ability that you want to cast on yourself or something that you want to do, you can do it now. Just call it out first. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, Juan. Hey, Juan's back. Hey, Juan's here. 
Oh, I gotta move you around. You Ooh. are hiding behind Moonfall. I guess right I'm now. here, here, wherever here is. We are currently here fighting is. Monday's team in a mock battle. We're in a tournament arc, Juan. Tournament arc. Tournament arc. I'm still, I guess I'm not there, so okay. Well, you weren't. Right, so we it's... didn't want to bring you in because you weren't, you know, here, here. Um, yeah, so I just ruled it as they still think you're dead. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. That's fine. That's why I kind of oh, pictured. General. It was a lovely service. Okay, so then Hans goes, okay, I don't know about you, but I like to fight dirty, and so let's have a fifth member on the team. No. So I call, <laughs> for, I call upon my guardian spirit. Chattiest oh, list. son of oh, a bitch! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Well, in that case, could I have Novus with me? Uh, yes, you can have Novus with you. She pops out of my bag. So for now, I'm just going to give you one of the cherubim oh, that whoops. I have prepped. Oh, I just um, messed myself up. Oh, did, did you? you? Can you? I, I rolled initiative for my spirit, but that just made. It just re rolled my initiative. Chatty is the aesthetic. Oh. Yeah. Uh, chat. Chat. Wow, Novus. Um, your familiars go on your turn. You don't have to roll initiative. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Uh, right, Riley just looks at like Lyriel taking out. Uh, or bringing up Novus, and now uh, Hans bringing out a thing, and then she goes, well, I'm glad I could set some kind of trend. Um, is I there... do I do the same, but I forgot to ask Kelly to, like, draw me a little Mushu. Oh, yeah, I didn't even oh, know about right. that. You have a dragon. I have a dragon, but I'm going to be using him as my primary weapon right now, so I'm going to bring up Zhao's Claws. Alright, you got it. Was your dragon's name Zhao? Yep. Um, yep. give me one second to open some of these, uh, spells Novus has, because I have no idea what some of these do. I don't know how confusion works. Oh my god, she has polymorph. Yeah, of course she does. Oh my god, who wants to be a dragon? <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I mean... I mean, it'd be a very low-level dragon, because we're only level 5, and I assume she's working off my level. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be a Mushu, then. It would be a Wormling, at most. Okay. Mm. Well, I guess she could cast Sleep. Yeah, I guess. Okay, what is Confusion, and what does it do? Who is your daddy, and what does it do? <laughs> Who is your daddy? And what does he do? That's it! There is no bathroom! Um, <laughs> one thing before we start. Do you have the necklace in my... Equipment. I, I knew there was a piece of equipment that I was forgetting to give you. No, I forgot the next one. I will I just will keep it in it. mind. Also, I am yeah. at four. Um, Joshua will cast a shield of faith on Fig. Okay. I. No. Oh, no, no. Actually, <laughs> you're passing on himself because that'll help him out more than it helps big, especially when she gets raged. And this is something that we can do just on ourselves or to the others? Uh, just on yourselves. Mm, you can, only, you I can only do prep for yourself. I don't no want to cast that right now. Mm -hmm. I might... You can't start like, uh, casting uh, negatives on other no, people. No, I was, I was thinking about right. casting invisibility on myself. Oh yeah, and I'm also going to summon my spirit weapon. Boop. <laughs> just boop. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gone. Um, uh, uh, Ca Callie, just real quick, polymorph. I just read you. You can't turn them into dragons. Wormlings. They have to be beasts. Really? Read polymorph. Does that mean Anthony? We've been using polymorph wrong the whole time. Transformation lasts for a duration until the target <laughs> drops to zero. The new form can be any beast whose challenge rating is equal to or less than the target's, or the target's level if it's if it doesn't That's have. That's a lot of words. I must have missed it. <laughs> to be fair, I think you could still turn a person into a T Rex. 
I, I can kill, yeah. I can go up to five. I can do giant crocodile. Um, Triceratops. Who wants to be a dinosaur? Um, who wants to be a crab people? Crab. Be a crab, people. crab people. I can turn somebody into a hulking crab. Uh, be there, SpongeBob. I think I can do is um actually he can use yeah he's gonna summon his arms of astral self oh god that's hot focus focus what? get into what? a fighting stance what oh god i can't focus <laughs> we will both slap you if we have to and like me and the like me and my echo just kind of like thumb point at each other <laughs> i can't focus he's too pretty Monday loads incendiary rounds. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, indeed. <laughs> what? Did you think you wouldn't come prepared? For what? <laughs> to fuck you up. <laughs> he came ready for bear. I mean, I guess we don't, at least we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure there's a lot of people that would pay for Monday to fuck them up. <laughs> fuck me up, good fam. <laughs> oh my god. That's so good that action. You don't get it for free? Not for Monday. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, yeah. It's Monday. Maybe from Hazel, but not for Monday. <laughs> so I get fucked up good, I can promise you that. <laughs> um. Yeah, they cast spells on themselves and get themselves prepped. Anybody else Monday casting a here. spell on them? Can I can I ready an action? No. Okay, it's just going to be a normal round. Mm-hmm. I have to draw Thank this, you. where all of Hazel's team is literally just getting <laughs> ready, and then Lyriel's over there just like, mm-hmm, 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 can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a pretty boy. <laughs> God, how did I get so lucky? <laughs> yeah, you're yes, first. I All get right. the joke. It's funny. Ha ha. All right. We'll start off with Hans. Uh, here we go. Bell rings. Combat begins. Okay, so Hans is going to position himself right about here. Hans mm-hmm. does a lot of buffing and, and... stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's hold on, let me see what I'm gonna do. Healing and buffing is what he's best at. Um, Wanton destruction guess, is what I'm good at. Dex than I do. Oh, does he have a higher dex? Oh, he does go before you. So does Monday. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get off. I can at least maybe get a shot off. All right. So I can. I have a couple of options, Riley. Um, I've got entangle. Which will make it difficult terrain. Uh, I can block us off with wall of fire. Um, I'm I'm not casting firebolts. You can't make me do that. I'm sorry. I've got. I am going to just stare at this woman. Uh, I can do ice storm, which will also make it difficult ter- terrain. Or I could grab one of them with Maximilian's earth and grasp and grapple them and cause them damage. Do the ice storm. I'll put you guys 60 feet away from each Just other. saying, yep. I can only cast Wall of Fire Ice Storm once because it's four charges and I've got four charges. Unless you want me to cast a fourth level fireball. Sure. No. D- <laughs> this is our team versus their team. You're not supposed to. You've never, you've never seen another person have a conniption fit, but you're quickly seeing it on Riley's face. Oh, and um, I probably should have mentioned this earlier. Monday will also use his um, Crimson Rite because I forgot that you can activate that and it just lasts forever. Motherfucker. I thought it wasn't until he reloads. Hmm? Uh, Crimson Rite. Crimson Rite. Oh, no, lowers uh, the weapon. Huh? No, it just adds a D6 worth of extra damage of a, of a certain type. Uh Yep. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna bless everyone. Super. Get blessed. Get blessed. I also feel like Bane could have helped in this situation. Okay, so we add a d4 to the number rolled to the attack? 
Um, I think it's two. Yeah, I just it's Add a D4 to attack, attack or four saving throw. Mm -hmm. Attacker saves. Uh, and and uh, my spirit weapons manifested there. And it's just a big fist. Yeah, it's a. Fist. I can. It's a I bicep. can. I'll draw you a floating bicep for a token. How does that sound? Good. Okay. So, how much health did uh, Monday lose? Four. Crimson, right? It doesn't cost him health. Yes, it does. Doesn't it cost accuracy or something? So I remember when you, when you activate a right, you lose a number of hit points equal to one roll of your hemocraft die. Ah, I didn't even realize that. I don't ever recall Blood Twitch Hunter, losing health like you that. You used up life for a lot. Yeah, of time. like um, what's it called? Um, yeah, I don't recall Twitch ever taking points of damage for using. Yeah, he never takes damage. I just he rolled probably a one. Forgot. He probably forgot. <laughs> I just rolled a one. Yeah. <laughs> He takes one point of blood damage. Right, yeah. That sucks. Oh well. It's fine. He can regain health when he bites you. Huh? Yeah, that's my turn. Vampire. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine if he loses blood because he can just take it from you. Vampire or damp fear? Isn't he's he a damp fear? Yeah. Yeah, he's a damp fear. Level question. Um, I'm we're all level five, yeah. But I'm dual classed. I'm a monk four and fighter one. Uh -huh. Is there a benefit to me being monk three, fighter two? Mm, other really? than whatever you get at second Not level really. oh. fighter, mm. you'd have to take. No, he, he, gets, and... he gets action surge at level two. Yeah, you get action surge at two, but other than that. It's not really until like third level that fighter is kind of worth it if you're going to go that far. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to stick to monk for one then. Well, you've, you've, got, right. you've got a lot more um, levels to think about it. You can yeah. always talk to Dan. He is playing a fighter. Sounds okay. good. Sounds good. So he's using Crimson Rite of Dawn, which imbues his weapon with 1d6 of. Radiant damage and does an extra d6 against an undead creature. If Jin were here, he'd fuck him up. Mm. Oh, yeah. That would yeah. suck for Can Jin. We... Okay, so maybe not fight dirty then. <laughs> <laughs> and let's not let's not summon Jin to the field. We yeah, no, if Jin, you can't. He just can't. Uh, if Jin <laughs> were if Jin were here. He'd have a hard time fighting Monday. Monday specifically crafted to fight other, um, to fight undead. Wow. That would definitely out uh, Jin to the rest of the school. Yeah, because right I'm now, assuming I'm only a couple I'm of people a know. I'm paladin, so that's the other thing. Yeah, because right now the only people in the party who know are me and Zog. And well, Novus. She's the one that smelled the death on him. Okay. Uh, Hans, you were done with your turn, or do you have any? Other uh, yeah, like my oh. little cherub moves on top of me. Gotcha. Uh, Chadius. I'm sorry. Chadius. Uh, Chadius. Lyriel, your turn. Uh, okay, and we want the ice storm. She looks at Riley. Yes. You really want me to cast fireball on them, don't you? I prefer you not to hold the team back with your feelings. Look, I've got a complicated relationship with fireball right now. We're in the middle of a fight. Your feelings are useless. She, she would appreciate. Right, Riley, Riley's got it, like really like sharp eyed. Like we're we're supposed to be fighting, so she's in fight mode. She doesn't mean to be mean, but she's just being like you know. Yeah, but Riley should know that Lyrio has a very complicated relationship with fireball right now. Yeah, after murdering a team member. That means L L L Riley's taking this seriously. Seriously, that means nothing to her at the moment. That's in the past. It has nothing to do with this fight. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. While this is happening, Zog, you're sitting in uh, the the pews with uh, Pluto, just having snacks. So, 
L Lirial's gonna take aim and she's just gonna have like this super upset expression. She's like, I am so sorry for this. Jesus H. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Um, I'm, that's 20 feet, so I'm centering it right here so it hits all of them. So basically, yep. she whips uh, out her staff and then just starts glowing this awful <laughs> reddish orange color. And then she looks oh. really upset. Oh my god! Uh, the only one who failed was Hazel. Oh my god! And boy. He, takes half, he takes half damage because he's a tiefling. Uh, oh, thank god. Everybody's taking 20. Yeah. Everyone takes a 20. Uh... Yeah, but everyone takes a 20 to start the fight. Quick in and do it good. again. No, do it, in a, do it in a ghost voice. Sor <laughs> sorcery <laughs> points. I do don't have any more. Again. I can't. I don't have any more charges. But I will yeah, use... Yeah, that doesn't come from her naturally. That, that didn't come the... from me. That came from the, the staff. But I can do... Th what's the range on this? I can do take two sorcery points to... Twin spell and cast another twin spell. spell a, twin spell and AOE spell. Mm, oh, what is it exactly the same? All right, then I will you use. You cannot twin spell an AOE spell. Then it has to be on a single target. I will use quicken spell to turn one into a bonus action. Okay. <sighs> mm. As long as it has a again. casting time of one action. Okay, so. Uh, just a quick question, guys. Um, only Riley and Lyriel and um, what's her name? Fig uh, have health bar showing up on them. And myself. Got mine. Is that normal? I don't even see your guys'. You should be able to. Let me see. You see, you see Hayes. Um, wait, did you see their hit, um, health bar? No, I can only I see, can see Fig. I can see Fig's I can see health Fig's. bar. But that's it. I am removing their health bars. You should be able to see them. But I, can't, yeah, I, I also think, can't I think see... I know why. You gave me access to Fig before. Well, yeah, no. Also, yeah. Fig was oh, in I the... I was able to see her, too. No, because Fig was yeah. in the derby, and we had to see her health. Right. Yeah, that was my bad. And... You and... Be able to see that health bar. I can't see Hans's health bar, but I can see Riley, uh, Mofon's, and mine, but nobody else has numbers except me. Oh, actually, no way. Oh, yeah. No, wait. She takes less damage. Ah! I keep forgetting. What, did Fig start raging before the fight? Yeah! Okay. okay. It hurts some of them. And it fucks. Alright, well, she only took half damage. I'm going to you. um... Took half, half damage. She's, yeah. she's doing well. She took ten. So... As my bonus action, I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb on Fig, mm -hmm. and it's going to be Acid Damage. Okay. Because I'm not about to cast Lightning on Fig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, Lightning wouldn't help you at all. The roll it. Uh, it's a 9 to hit. Are you serious? It's a miss. Is that a d4? Oh, I can add a D4. Oh, yeah. Add a D4 to the roll. Yeah. A 10. Nope. Nope. Fig's AC is much higher than that. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to play this off as Lyril is far too shaken up about having to cast Fireball again that she just couldn't do any kind of follow up. Oh, wild magic. I'm up to five. Okay. And then I'm going to move back a bit. Fig's turn. She's in a rage. Of course. Yep. Uh, her movement actually changed when she got to this level. Oh Jesus, no! And she's full ball oh, raging. Too. <laughs> <Fast> <laughs> her movement. Her movement. Oh, yes. oh gremlin! Oh, oh what? <laughs> she was already fast because she's a satyr. Now she's faster and angrier. <laughs> Oh, right, Riley's a little bit upset that she's not the victim. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is what you wanted, isn't it? <laughs> what you always dreamed of. Yeah. Um, also, uh, your boy is about to take two points of lightning damage just off. Oh no, three points of lightning damage off the bat. Me? Being, yeah, because you're yeah you. you're in her area. You're in her radius. Uh, 
Like she I, is sparking electricity off of her skin. I told you anyone about this. Near, anyone I'm, with uh, or takes takes electric damage yeah, automatically. Uh, can I spend uh, a no, uh, no save? Started. Wait, no, uh, I thought that's at the start of the turn. Is it? Let me read her character sheet again. Uh, 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 no, she expends it at a, as a bonus action whenever she uh, wants to. So yeah, um, she runs uh, up to you, bonus actions, the two of you take three points of lightning damage. Um, There's no save against this. There he is. Uh, I have... Yeah. I have a patient defense I can use. And, uh, and go back and, I mean, uh, Juan, I know you're going to say that uh, it's a different element. Uh, she has storm, but I've just flavored it to be electric. No, no, no. The, the rage half damage is only for slashing, bludgeoning, or piercing, not magic yeah. damage. Only oh, then she, takes, damage. then she does take the full uh, yeah. 20. 20. Take the extra 10. So yeah, she only is, bears the one that does everything except psychic. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, Masik. These are my little PNG tubers. Also, Mofon has been trying to say something for like the last five minutes. He's been trying to do his whole thing. Sorry. Uh, say again? Yeah, okay. So I can actually spend a key point as a uh, dodge reaction. Not a, not, a, not a reaction, but hang on. It's under my feet, my race features, uh, my class features. Uh, basically, I can do um, patient defense to spend one key point and take a dodge action. Oh, but that's on my turn. Never mind. Fuck. Mm hmm. And it's on your yeah. turn, and I yeah, think that's that's before, um, and this is unavoidable damage. It's not, yeah, so, okay. it's not like an attack that's coming in at you. All right, so how many? Uh, three. It's just three points of damage to start. Right. Uh, also, yeah, you take it as well. Uh, then she's gonna take her swings. That swing is multiple. Oh yeah, no, uh, level five multi attacks. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's uh. Yeah, pulls out her notebook, ready to take the tally for number five. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Wait, do spirit weapons get attack of opportunity? No, no, no. I don't think so. Um, let me just Mine make does. sure she doesn't get advantage. Does she? You add plus two to your melee damage. You have resistance to those. Uh, rage ends. No, she doesn't get anything special. Um, I will have her use... Oh, no, wait. She already burned her bonus action to do that, so I guess it won't. Yeah, I'll just have her make her two attacks. Uh, eight and sixteen. Does a sixteen hit? Uh, the sixteen does hit. Yep. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. From her axe. I guess she just asked me a question. Uh... Oh no! no wait, it's, uh, nine points. Actually, it's plus two from because she's raging. So it's actually eleven points. Fun. Mm hmm I am a squishy monk. Me? And Me? They will call him squishy uh, and he it's... will be mine and he will be my squishy. <laughs> it's now your turn. <laughs> oh yeah, it's my turn immediately. Uh, wait, did yeah. you, wait, did you, wait, Mofon, did you do the plus two bonus to your AC? My what? We get plus two bonus from shield. Oh no, wait, that's Joshua. Never mind. I thought that was Hans. Yeah, that's just Joshua, and you can only yeah, add no, no. Yeah. We uh basically you can add a d4 to whatever roll, uh, the attack roll is because I'm assuming that's still in effect the uh, blessing. Yeah, as long as he's concentrating. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm assuming he's still concentrating. Yeah, uh, he hasn't done. Right. He hasn't uh, taken damage or cast another concentration spell. Oh. Okay, I am gonna. Just do yeah, my attack. Fine. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, there's 20 foot range. I'm gonna just. Uh, I, I do have a 20 foot range on these things, so I'm just gonna move. Uh, one, uh, two, three. No. That's okay. about 20 oh. feet away, right? No. Oh, oh no. man. Is there an attack of opportunity? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, you okay. would. Yeah, you get an attack. Oh, you, you know what? Well, opportunity if you do that. Well, you know what? Fuck it. You gonna take them? That. Was the wrong choice. 
Oh, you, yeah, are you standing? Uh, are you staying in range? I'm staying in range. Uh, I, wait, she's lightning, isn't she? Yes. Yo. Uh, ah. Fuck. So I'm fucked either way. Wow. Okay. This is a shit on Mofon week. Hello. All right. So. Well, I already rolled it, so I might as well take it. All right, 19 to hit. That hits. 10 points of damage. Oh, no, wait. It gets half. Keep forgetting. Barbarians. Barbarians get what? Oh, half? Right. Yeah, she's, she's raging. Half damage. Yeah, she's raging. Right, 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 half. right. Okay, and then I'm going to... And see. actually, she doesn't... Um... She she doesn't half the whole thing because some of that's force damage from your wind. Um, okay. So she only has the piercing damage. So yep. three? Four. Four. Takes four mm -hmm. and seven. Th seven? So, no, she takes three and three, so it's six damage in total. You said four. Yeah, she resists four. Oh, okay. From the, from the piercing. Is All right. what and then um, as my bonus action... Uh, I'm going to use, uh, use burn a key point and you step of the wind. Uh, it actually increases my jump distance. Okay. So I'm skedaddling about 80 feet that away. <laughs> um, well, I want to stay as a team, so. Uh, fuck. Wish, uh... Remember, if you move out of her attack range, she's going to get a swing against you. Out of her attack range, though. No, when you move away, when you move out of her attack range, when you disengage from her, anywhere from here, she's gonna attack you with an attack of opportunity. No matter how far I go. Yes. Because, no, she's getting that. Okay, so as soon as you move away from her, she's gonna take the chance to attack you as you flee. That's what attack of opportunity is. If somebody moves past oh. you, unless you're gonna dis, but you would have to t if you took an action to disengage and then jumped away, then she can't attack you. But you've already attacked, so you can't take a disengage action. Actually, he can if you spend. I can. I have a. I can. I have a. It's a class feature of mine. Oh. Yep. I spend key points do to do it. Yeah, you can spend a key point to do it. Yeah. It's up to you. Oh, God. I had to be up against Storm over here, huh? Yeah, Riley's mm -hmm. big sad that Fig didn't come right for her. She would have, but uh, unfortunately, that would have been too far away. Okay. So uh, she went to the person that was closest. Also, I made a terrible mistake uh, in not using Fig's better ability. Um, I used Storm Aura when I should have just used Charger to get a plus five on her attack rolls. Mm-hmm. Which would I mean, have been uh, fucking does, devastating. Does the, charge, does the charge have to be in like a straight line in front of the person? She couldn't have gone like here. She, as long as she moves ten feet, um, she gets a plus five to her attack, and she knocks the creature back by ten feet. I was about to say because it's oh, fifty-five uh, feet to both her, both me and Mofon. Oh, you were right. She could have charged you. Christ. Um. Oh well. Okay. Question. Answer. Can can Fig fly? Absolutely not. She's a satyr. Oh. Okay. Uh, I as my uh, bonus. <laughs> uh, you're gonna crack up at this, but I'm gonna levitate her because I can't. I I I don't. I can not just levitate myself. I can levitate another target. <laughs> Send that poor girl <laughs> up in the air. <laughs> Is so she I'm going to toss her up 20 feet. Angrily swinging her axe in place now. Pretty much. Yeah. Wait, I'm is that her axe feet. or is it my Straight axe? Up. It's her axe. It's her axe. It's her axe. It's her, axe. Okay. her axe is actually try... very different from yours. She has a uh, mm -hmm. very powerful axe on her hands. Uh, Just making mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So um, I levitate her straight up and kind of. Um, let Riley know you got ten minutes. Is that concentration or is that just timed? It's concentration. So, right, so as soon as sure she drops you... down, Riley can do whatever he wants. Well, I mean, as long as you don't get attacked and drop her by accident. Yeah, that's well, fine. As long as I, Riley will, will Riley will be well within range by then. Tactics. 
Street smarts. Let the one that's actually equipped to deal with the person deal with them. Now who? All right. All right. Your brutality well, and cunning may not be a match for my comes. cunning and brutality. Okay. Is that a concentration spell, by the way? It is. It literally it said that. It is. I just said That's that. That's who's getting shot. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> fun. Right. Uh, <laughs> remember, remember you have deflect a plus, bullets. You have a plus four. I can catch bullets, too. You have a D4 for... You can um... catch bullets? That's great. Um, this attack is with advantage as he uses his blood maledict to give himself advantage. Uh -huh. uh, which means he also <laughs> takes an extra damage. Like he doesn't damage. I, I, I can't hear. What? He takes a D6 of damage. Hurts himself a bit. I never so, pegged Monday for a masochist. It's part of his. It's entirely part of his combat style. He has to injure himself to deal extra damage. Huh. Uh, yeah, but he will move up just Hot. a bit, <laughs> and then he'll take his attack actions. And actually, he has a very good movement speed, thirty-five feet, just naturally. Mm. One, two, three, four. Oh god, Monday's scary. Yeah, he is. He is very scary, honestly. That's a better shot without having to say that would have hit. I mean, literally, just the but the benefits of being a down fear makes him increasingly scary too. <laughs> so he rolls this with advantage, and he gets to attack twice because he's a fifth level. So we'll see how the first attack goes off. Uh, does his twelve hit? Uh, no, it does not. All right. Second attack. Still has advantage. Does dirty a dirty 20. hit. Does a dirty 20 hit? Uh, yes, it does. Uh, he... Roll your deflect missiles. Uh, not yet, because he still have... I still haven't rolled his crimson right or his, uh, um, his extra damage from fire damage. So... Oh, yeah, he I loaded roll... incendiary rounds. He loaded incendiary rounds, and he did his crimson right beforehand. So, he rolls an extra 2d6. That's 1d6, that's 2d6. So, total damage is 19 points. 19, okay. Uh, gonna roll the deflect. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to add and your d4. Oh. Can you roll another? 19. Can you add a d4 to that? No, no, I can't because that's not an action or a oh, saving throw. I mean, yeah, technically it's an act. It's a reaction. Hmm. Every target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends. Mm -hmm. uh, 19 to deflect. It's, mm -hmm. You deflect, but you you only and deflect I... the amount of damage is how it works. So you Yeah, so I have to... Uh... You're deflecting uh, six points out of that 19. So 8, 11, 13 points of damage. You still take the damage there. you take from attack is reduced by 1d10 plus 7. Mm -hmm. you, you rolled Am it. Am I supposed to? No, oh, I didn't. no, you rolled, you rolled to throw it back. You have to roll. You first have to roll your deflect. So it should be your 1d10. So you roll that instead. Don't roll Don't roll this. You're, that's your deflect missile attack to send it back. All right, nine. You, so nine out of 19 damage, so you take 10. Yeah, it says nine, nine plus, plus seven. seven. So it's 16. So he only takes three. Oh, yeah, the, oh, there's a plus seven to that. It doesn't, take, it doesn't do the math for you. That's annoying. Yeah, Look at it. yeah, yeah. it is. So three damage. Mm hmm. Yay, move oh, on! God. Woo! <laughs> cool. I'm not going to make another tally today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I stare at her like. She gives you a thumbs mm. up. <laughs> I give her one back and be like, and turn, I, I go from the thumbs up to the middle finger. <laughs> I'm gonna With throw a, smile. a fireball at your ass next. <laughs> uh, that's gonna hurt all of us. Look for them. Uh, oh, um. That would have broken my concentration, Riley, just so you know. No, you have to no. make a con concentration save. Oh, roll. I have to make a Make a save roll. Save. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you can I think add your D4 be... to this. It's um, beginning of your turn, or is 
He has to make it immediately, doesn't he? No, it's immediately. You make it immediately. And what's Whenever the concentration you... roll? It's con save. Uh, yeah, just make a con save. And Ooh, it's... and I get to roll a four, a d4 to add to that. Mm-hmm. Isn't it DC 10 plus spell level? Uh, Wait, is it a spell? No, it's DC 10. What is it? Let me look up concentration real quick. I'm pretty sure it's DC 10 minus the amount of damage. I just did a constitution save. Roll a D4 just for funsies. And a D4. Yeah, because you roll it anyway as many as long as it's up. Uh 34. I mean I, I, not a 19. Four. So you probably <laughs> made your concentration save. Just right, guessing. Cool. Yeah, you made it. Uh so, yes, yeah, so you're fine. You still have your concentration to levitate. Fig uh, still floating eight. around up there. Alright. Fig's turn. I mean, not Fig's turn. Uh, Hazel. Uh, Hazel. I can just imagine a Fig like, up there like, You son of a bitch, get me down from here. She's probably holding her skirt down because everybody's going to get a real oh my good God. fucking look, you pervert. <laughs> Take He's a picture. Perfect. It will last longer. I think if you took a picture of of under her skirt, you would literally wake up with an axe in your head. <laughs> yeah. These toe prints on your chest. <laughs> All right, so it's it the boy's Hazel. turn. Trip falls. Uh, constant. The constitute uh, concentration thing is DC is equal to ten plus half the damage. Yeah, which. He only took three. Does he? Is it the three or is it? I mean, he saves either way. But is it the three or is it the? Uh, it's the is three. It he's, only taking, the he's only taking three damage, so it'll be half of that. Okay, half I got of that it. plus ten. Sure. That's the that's the DC he has to be. Got it. Just want to be clear on the. Yep. Make a note. Oh no! Sorry. Wait. The DC equals ten, or, or yeah, or half the damage, whichever one's greater. I yeah, remember. Yeah. If the damage is like massive, then it's half that. Um, yes. He's not going to be able to have enough movement to get to someone. No, wait. Forty feet of movement. That's wow. Not going to be enough. They're a very mobile team. Um, Hazel will... <laughs> I swear to God, if it's me again, uh, I'm about to run up to your house. You're fucked. You're fucked. What, what, what's mean? happening? You're literally being mean. He literally I mean, is. I'm only doing it to you because you put um, one of his team members in the air, and I need her back down so that she can actually fight. Um, hmm. I wrote it down here somewhere. Uh, Hazel takes his action to uh, cast something on himself. You see that um, one of the uh, what's it called? One of the uh, constellations on his body begins to glow. It's in the shape of a cup, um, and he gets healing for it. So let's. He gets what? He gets healing. healing for it. Yeah. Wait. What? Yeah. Does a chalice have... on his body begins to glow. Wait, where's... and he starts to heal. Where's that? I don't remember putting a. Ch- I don't remember putting a chalice on him anywhere. <laughs> I wrote down all of the constellations that I needed him to have for this combat. Send I've me all the constellations you wrote for him, then, please. You want to draw them all? Well, obviously, if they're going to be canon. Because uh, I've already so... put constellations on his body. <sighs> if I have to change them up, I might as well do it now and have a list. You can do it afterward. And he's then going to take his action to... Uh, we're going to hit... Darius, in, in the back of the arena, the real squinting going, I don't remember that constellation. <laughs> 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 mm. Ah. 
God, he doesn't have much at when he's out of range of his opponents. Besides his boomerang. <laughs> Cute. Is, is Hazel the little, literal equivalent of Sokka? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> On a different oh, being completely fucking honest. Kinda, yeah. Um, oh, but he can spend a key point to take the dash action as a bonus action. We'll just do that. Oh, no, wait, but he's already used his bonus action to heal. Uh, Where did he heal? I swear, Hazel and I would make the perfect, like, avatar team. Wait, who did he heal? Himself. Himself. Oh, right. Oh, no, I hit him for 20. Yeah, you hit him for 20 fucking points of damage, and he's a glass cannon. I... Wait, he took half because... I thought you said Abyssal doesn't get fire resistance. Uh, Oh, no, does he not? Didn't he make the save, though? No, he didn't. He, did he was the, the only save. one that no, he failed. Didn't make the save. He, he was the only one who failed. Uh, no, he, he also has fire resistance. Oh. I marked it on his character sheet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will um, make a new note, then. Yeah, we're just going to have to boomerang. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to try to boomerang... Uh, Good old Mofon at this point. But there's nothing else he can do. To get her to get uh, him to drop Fig. At this point, yeah. Having Fig and having the tank in the air is not good for him. I hope Fig doesn't get motion sick. <laughs> <laughs> We're about the other team. We're fighting them. No emotions towards them. Only hate. There is no hate in my heart. Too bad. For Hazel. Yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, that will only hurt. Uh, I didn't mean to roll that out of advantage. Take the first number. So it's an 18 hit. Wait, hey, what? 18. That's an 18 hit? Yeah. Yeah, it does an 18 hit. Eight points of bludgeoning damage from a boomerang. <laughs> okay. Uh, deflect. Wait, hold on. You can, you can redirect that. Yeah, you can deflect and re-erect. All right. Uh, okay, so I Motion. have to roll the... Uh, okay, so... My, so the way it's set up is... You have to spend a key point for it every time you do it, though. So make sure you're yeah, marking your key point. Yeah, that's fine. I've got I've already used oh. one, so I can use another one. For... Oh, no. Wait. No, it's def he, he spends the key point to redirect the damage to the attack back, but yeah, yeah, he, doesn't yeah, have yeah, to, no. he doesn't use key point to reduce the damage. Yeah. And you... Oh, no, no, no. Actually, you can't do that at all. You already used your reaction, so you can't use another reaction to deflect. You just yeah. take the eight. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's one you per round, use right? your reaction to deflect. Yeah, you can only do once per round. You're yeah, just taking yeah, a yeah. hit. Okay. So, uh, eight yeah, damage. So eight damage. He's gonna attack again with his boomerang. Uh, roll a con save D10. Gotta DC hit that 10. ten. You can it's do not it. Not bad. You can do it. Con save uh, with a D4, right? No, yeah, yep. add the D4 to your con. Well, you don't really have All to. Right, got <laughs> yeah, you're fine. <laughs> uh, I'm fine, right? I don't have to, right? Yeah. Ooh, you're still taking eight points, though. Yeah. And 14 to hit? Uh, 14 is my armor class. And it does not hit. He whacks you in the head with a boomerang, and then uh, it looks like you're still fine. Uh... At the end of his turn, Lyriel looks around. Her I look there. at him. I'm like, I look at Hazel. I'm like, you're lucky. I like you. <laughs> at, the, at the end of Hazel's turn, Lyriel looks around real quick and then blows him a kiss. <laughs> Just making sure nobody else Riley? is looking. <laughs> Quietly <laughs> catches it, it, puts it in his pocket for later. Uh, oh my I go, god! I should forget big and go straight for Hazel right now. Don't you dare! <laughs> Probably. <laughs> like honestly, I mean, Fig is. Technically immobilized, so yeah. I mean, unless yeah, if you have a ranged attack that could hit her, wouldn't she, wouldn't it be an advantage to hit Fig if she's immobilized? She's not. Feet, well, she's twenty feet up. So. I'm just saying immobilized. Or like, she can't move. I, I'm pretty sure you get advantage if you're attacking her, but she's twenty feet in the air. So unless you don't, um, so you have to use um, you have to use any action that has range. You can't really hit her on the ground. 
which is too high up. Uh, just okay, as a fun on. note, by the way, just as a fun note real quick, um, as the effect of levitate is such that anything that hits her or she hits something actually causes her to move in the opposite re as a reaction. <laughs> so you will literally make her float away if you hit her. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, um, I echo will walk over to Hazel. Uh, oh, and actually, uh, fuck you, Mofon. I have to. <laughs> I get to make a con save against your levitate. Oh, okay. It's like way yeah. too late. I don't know why I didn't see that. I should have been making that con save much earlier. Mm. Twenty-one. She doesn't get levitated. She's still on the ground. I feel like way too late for that, but fine. I totally forgot. I, I, I was looking through yeah. Levitate again, and I was like, there's no yeah, way he's like able to Levitate over Andrew. Sure. That's kind of bullshit. I mean, I feel like... You I mean, she's definitely not in her. I didn't yeah, I, know it. I didn't no, know. No, I, uh, I was it, talking it was, to Chris. He should have mentioned that there's a con save. Yeah, I didn't even sure. know there was a con save there. It would be at the bottom yeah. that the enemy can take a constitution saving throw. And An there unruling be... creature that succeeds a con save um, saving throw is unaffected. Yeah. Mm, well, she, yeah, I didn't see that. Right. Yeah, so probably should have... Well, we've been operating in the assumption that it worked, so... But that's mm. because you usually cast it on willing creatures. Unwilling creatures get a con save against it. Mm. But if you're willing, Here's... you don't have to make a save. Okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take my... My Echo's going to take my two swings at uh, Hazel. Okay. Make your swings. Okay. Ooh. That hits? You handed, by the way. Okay, that hits. 19. Okay. I said that hits. Roll your second attack. 19. Uh, that hits. And you knock him down. Okay. So Hazel's out. Hazel is out. And then I'm going to um, action surge. And we're going to use some ice magic. Okay. Sleet storm. Where? Uh, where? Uh, it's a forty foot radius, so I believe I centered it here. No, wait, here. Okay. So and that gets is... all of them. Okay. So they all make DC fifteen deck saves. Let's see. Until the spell ends, freezing rain. Um, hold on. Um, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or the start of its turn, there it must make a dexterity saving throw on a failed save. It falls pr on a failed save. It falls prone. If a creature starts his turn in the spell area and is concentrating on a spell, the creature must make a successful constitution saving throw against your spell save DC or lose concentration. Okay. Do you have any other actions? That's my... That's it. Okay. Uh, it's John's turn. I mean, Joshua's turn. <laughs> Pretty garbage dexterity, so this is probably not going to go well for him. Oh, oh, Josh. Oh, ouch. Negative He two. falls on his ass. <laughs> and, uh... and his, whatchamacallit, plus two AC is gone. Yep. Uh, it didn't, it didn't matter. The only person that mattered to, I think, was Mundo. And that's the end of my turn. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's Josh's turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's going to use his movement to get up. Dust off. He's going to cast Bane on all of you. Uh... There's four of you, so that's a level two spell slot. Can you see us? Yeah. The area is heavily obscured. Oh, it's obscure? It range 30 feet. Until the spell ends, freezing rain and sleep. Oh, 20, foot tall, 20 foot tall cylinder with a 40 foot radius centered on a point. You choose within range. The area is heavily obscured and exposed flames in the area are depths. Oh. Okay. I read the first oh. Okay. I guess that means disadvantage on attacks or ranged attacks. Yeah, plus, plus like, a range of 30 feet, so. Yeah. Yeah, and you're right. It does have a range of 30. I thought they had a range of 60. Right. 
So disadvantage on attacks at range. Uh... So Josh currently can't see you. He can do something to help himself and his allies. He's going to cast Fairy Fire since he dropped his first concentration. And now he'll use his other concentration, Fairy Fire. Um, and this one is 60 feet. Can he reach? No. All he can reach is the Echo. Eh, fuck it. We'll just, uh, do what you did. You'll cast Fireball. 150 feet radius. He can hit whatever he needs to. And he doesn't have to be specifically able to see a creature. He just needs to be able to hit the area. It says flames are doused. Oh, it says exposed flames. Exposed flames are doused. But this is throws the thing, it's in the Fireball. Middle. Yeah, but as soon as he throws it, it's in the middle of a sleet storm. He's not throwing it in the sleet storm. I mean, no, he is throwing it through the sleet storm. Regardless, it's a magical fire. It's not going to be extinguished by your sleet storm. Unless your sleet storm specifically denotes that any no, fire of the I'll give you that one. Exhausted from it. Um, it just said exposed. Uh, 20 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. I don't want to hit Fig. So... Let's try to make certain we don't hit Fig. So, yeah. No, he can hit all of you. Perfect. Uh, as long as he lands it over here. All right. Uh, all of you give me deck saves. What do you see? DC 15. Or take 26 points of damage. You saved. You're only take taking 20. Half. I'm going to use a luck point. I'm going to use that uh, deep. So I'm, you're taking. So I'm gonna use another first, luck point. <laughs> what the <okay>. fuck? <laughs> Hold on, I need my actions. Uh. I tied the save. I tied the save. There we go. Uh, Hans, did you make your roll? Yeah, I rolled a. I got a um, dirty twenty. Twenty-one. Was up there. Where did you roll? It's above the spell. Oh, it is above the spell. Okay. So you're all taking 13 instead, right? Yep. Did Riley save? Riley did succeed, you said. Yep. So take 13 points of fire damage, all of you. Okay. I kind of... And I, I, kind of I, have to make, I have to make a constitution save. Mm-hmm. I kind of like sigh and like <laughs> call out to Lyriel. Better take that notebook out. That's a safe. It's okay. You've yeah, got you've safe. got Hans. Uh, and he's gonna use a bonus action to healing word. Uh, you can only healing word someone within thirty feet of himself. He cannot reach his friend, so he will healing word himself. Uh, we'll just healing word ourselves at third level at this point, or no. We'll save a second fireball, a second volley, volley fireball. If he gets a second round, that's a big if. Let's just heal. Let's just fucking go for the healing. Might as well. Yeah, and I notoriously roll terrible on healing rolls. Uh, so that's... okay. Relax, Hans, your turn. Well, fun. Are you out, or is that a sliver he's, he's got of a health, sliver of health. I'm down to one. A I'm sliver. Ooh. Okay. He's at a sliver. He's still okay. Yeah, we can't see the oh, we fairly. can't see the numbers for just, anyone's health. You should. Yeah, I was just making sure. I thought I saw a magic pixel there, but um. Okay, so I'm gonna look at Fig, and I'm gonna look her up and down and admire her physique. <laughs> Very strong. Very strong. You can only achieve that body through rigorous disciplined come on 
let me see you strike a pose. And so when I say pose, I cast command. And so now he has to make, uh, Fig has to make a wisdom saving throw or follow my command. And my command is pose, which I'm going to say functions the same as drop. And so the target drops whatever it's holding and then it's turn. 18. Uh, that was my 16. Okay, he passes. She passes. Yep. She does a bit of a flex. <laughs> but doesn't drop anything. <laughs> Lyriel's, Lyriel's giggling in the she back. She doesn't enjoy this. She just <laughs> smiles and flexes. Yeah! I have been working out a lot. Doing Lyriel, my best. Lyriel just smiles and claps. <laughs> you guys are the best. Oh, by the way, should we remove the roller skates from our thing? Yes, 100%. Do you still have them on? Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> no, I took them off a while ago. I haven't moved, so it hasn't mattered. I haven't moved like longer than thirty feet, so it hasn't mattered. All right. So now, uh, as a bonus action, I'm gonna mass healing word everyone. Okay. Wait. I thought that was an action. No, it's a bonus action. So everybody gets healed for twelve. Bitchin'. There you go. Your turn. All right. She's gonna like shake it out a bit. And then she's going to do her first ever wild shape. Okay. Yeah, do you go. want do you want to flavor this for Ooh. me, Darius? It's gonna be the Okami, obviously. It's the only one you can turn into. You can't wild shape into anything right now. Mm -hmm. Other than the Okami. Um uh, behind you, uh, you hear in the midst of the flames, um, a snapping and a cracking sound as bones shift and flesh morphs, um, followed by Wait, an what intense... fire, babe? Huh? You said amongst the... the fire? You got hit with a fireball, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Does that set the area on fire? Yeah, it okay. does. Which becomes perfect for when um, you begin transforming. Uh, a flame sparks from the top of your head as you become a sort of strange wolf, an okami, uh, white fur with red stripes, uh, with um, red marks all through your skin. Um, know that using wild shape does cost you an action. I know. I have a bonus mm -hmm. action, though. Gotcha. You are now in your okami form. I will don't have a good representation of this. I'm literally looking through all of my little uh, characters to puppy see if dog. I have something, if I have a puppy no. dog. Oh, yeah, no, For she, now, she, she, absolutely, she absolutely howls after she's done. Ye. A big husky growl and a howl to the moon. Well, well to the sun at this point. Well, yeah, it's a so summer fair. deity. Yeah. I do have, let me, actually, for the stream, I did do a little doodle of Okami, or what this Okami looks like. Um, because I actually never played Okami, so I didn't really know what Amaterasu looked like, so I just went with something weird and fey looking. So, yeah. Amaterasu is officially the black flame, isn't it? No, Amaterasu is that white wolf thingy from the video game Okami. Thingy, huh? I like He's I said, I, but yeah, this yeah, it's the sun god. Yeah, yeah, Amaterasu yeah. is a sun goddess. Goddess. But this one, this this looks like a very elongated kind of wolf. It also has horns and overly long ears, and there's a flame that kind of just perched on the top of its head. It's a dog. It's a wolf. Dog, 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 dog. Are you going to rub my belly? <laughs> um, <laughs> as a uh, healing word is a bonus action, so I'm gonna healing word Mofon. Hey, because he kind of needs it. <laughs> uh, squishy, I, <laughs> squishy. Yeah, I can't really cast anything from this, so I'm just I have healing words. So I'm just gonna do it for my own spell thing. I don't think that's going to... Uh... It's a level spell, isn't it? Yeah, I, ha I was going to cast it at first level. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the only 
level I have of it. I don't know how many. I do have up to three. I have one slot for third level, but it's for one spell. So um, it says first level fairy fire healing words. So I'm going to cast it at first level. I didn't know what else to okay. cast it at. I'm pretty sure I can't. You can cast that. it up to, your, up to your third level, but yeah, it would burn but... your third level spell slot. Yeah, and I could use that for something else. So take six mm -hmm. health. Does not wild magic? I don't know. I when I cast in my Okami form, Darius. The answer is yes. Okay. Here's your D twenty. So so before the heal. Nope, I saved. Oh. She's good. Okay. Then you heal. Do you have any other turn? Yeah, um, yeah. Are you gonna take any movement or do any other action? Uh, I'll move a little closer after I have to get that. Let me see. I have a I have a range of forty. Yeah, no, you can move fast as a wolf. Wolves got big movement. Big movement. Just remember, there's a. I think it's. Yeah, I stopped right here. I'll stop next to you, and wag my tail. <laughs> she has to make a deck save too, doesn't she? Yeah. Fig? Fig. Yeah. Oh, She's not Fig. Grown. In fact, she uses all of her movement to stand up. Doesn't um, that get, get rid of her rage? Does it? Because it's not a concentration. If you're not rage. If she can't attack, no, right? If you, if your turn ends without attacking or being attacked. Yeah, but she's not ending her turn, right? Wait, how does Sleep Storm work? Does it? Can it just knocks you prone? It doesn't take your whole turn to remove yourself from prone. It takes your whole movement to remove yourself from prone. Uh, in the, on a failed save, it fa it falls prone. If the creature starts to turn the spell area and is concentrating on a spell, it can make a successful constitution. That's, yeah. Yeah. To and get out of prone, all you have to do is lose all your movement. Terrain. Yeah. Yeah, you can use all of your movement to break prone. So it just stands back up. Um, so she just stands back up. And actually, no, she gets advantage. Oh, because she's a fucking barbarian. Barbarians always get advantage. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting about that. Come on, Darius, you gotta remember some things. There you go. This is, is that a success? Yeah, DC 15. She is going to walk over here and get out of the sleet storm. And she's gonna take some swings. Uh, can she do anything else with her bonus action right now before she begins the swings? No, she would have to charge at a creature to do those. Advantage on what again? She just, I didn't say advantage. Okay. She has advantage on dex. Uh, advantage it's on dex strength. saving throws. Strength and... saving No, throws. it's dex. Advantage on dex against effects you can see while not blinded, deafened, or incapacitated. Oh, you mean danger so, sense? Yes, danger sense. She has danger sense. Mm -hmm. It's obscure, but I wouldn't say that's blinded, so yeah. I also should have. I also should keep remembering that because she's a satyr, she's advantage against all spells and effects. Keep forgetting that. She's a fake huh. creature. Yeah, fake creatures just have advantage to all spells and effects all the time. They're Wait, dumb. does that mean <laughs> I do an Okami form? Huh? I'm a fake creature technically right now. Yeah, you also have advantage against spells and effects. Okay, I didn't see that on the chart. That's all. Oh, um, okay. I'll make sure to add it again. I mean, I, can't, I definitely can't be charmed ever. <laughs> cool. Um, so, yeah, no, she's just going to take her two swings against Mofon. Oh, also, just for funsy flavoring, um, ev literally everything about Luriel changes when she wild shapes except her eye color. Any animal that she wild shapes into will have her heterochromia. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Move on. Uh, yep, it hits. <laughs> Thirteen points of damage. No, <sighs> fifteen points of damage. I'm sorry. I keep not adding the plus two from her rage. Fifteen, you said. Yup. I swear to God, man. You should be your uh, three. Bonus action. You take an extra three. <laughs> Just for right. opening your mouth. <laughs> bonus action. You take an extra three. Remember, she's okay, still. Uh, she still has her rage. 
<laughs> Extra three? Three lightning damage. Oh, shit. Staying within her range is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, but this attack of opportunity. Or look, are you sure that's a wise decision? If you Fuck move, just move, you're about to get fucked up. <laughs> if you move, you get hurt. Also, if you move far away enough from her, for her, she gets her charge, and her charge is worse than her normal attack. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> Your turn. Back to uh, one hit points. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Back to one hit point. Jesus H. It's been a ride so far, hasn't it? Uh, taking uh, taking anything consumable is uh, an action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fuck it. I'm burning one potion. How do I use this shit, though? There should be a button to roll it. Oh, I also forgot about that, too. I am not utilizing these characters to the fullest of their abilities. That is my mistake. Well, it says I regain six. Uh, what are oh, you doing? Oh, fuck. No, shit. I have to re add it to my equipment again. <laughs> I hit remove instead of use. God damn it. Well, when you use it, you have to remove it too. So that's fine. Yeah, but I had two and it took off both. Oops. Well, six points of healing. Six points of healing. Not. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody just played the Titanic theme song on my stream. Nice. Was it with a kazoo? Yeah, because I'm dying. That's why. Well, you're not dying, you're just going to be unconscious. Again. Yeah. Uh, getting real tired of your shit, man. <laughs> I, mean, I, I should have like gone for a different class. I just need to attack the weak. I'm just trying to attack you because you are annoying enough to be a problem. I also need to get rid of all of the rest of you, mind you. So this is already not great. I'm trying to focus down one so that I can take out the rest. Since we already oh, lost Hazel to begin with. My boy. <laughs> Hazel's a glass cannon. He didn't have that many hit points to begin with. He couldn't <laughs> I just whack him. I almost and you took were him out of range. I almost took him out myself. <laughs> yeah. Like, you started the fight dealing 20 damage to him, and he doesn't have that many hit points. Alright, well, she um... She felt so bad about it. How no, much... No, Wait, how do I not... Oh, oh, Excuse I forgot me, to add did my, you just tell me that back. she didn't feel bad about smacking him for 20 she points of damage? Oh, no, I was telling uh, Danny didn't. I thought Danny did it. I take it if I hit her, I'd actually get damage, too. No, 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 no. If you oh, hit her, you don't. Um, she doesn't get. You don't get damage. It's just she has a rage, so she's gonna take half damage from uh, any of your punches. All right. Uh, gonna do. Uh, I guess that's my bonus. The unarmed strike. Okay. Not much I can do. Wait. That's a. That's a twenty-one hit. Quickly looking at something. Because I want to make sure that this is also doing the right thing. Did you take an attack beforehand? No, you haven't done anything. Uh, no, I literally just used Can't the unarmed of strike. Can't unarm strike. Uh, you can only unarm strike when you use your attack action. Uh, uh, when you use your attack action beforehand. You then can make bonus actions to start unarm striking after you've taken an attack on a creature. All right. So I, but I can use flurry of blows, can I? Uh, after you take an attack action. They're both after you take an attack. So they're supplemental yeah. to an attack. You have to hit yeah. first before you can do that. <laughs> and well, you burned your action to heal. Attack. Yeah, you burned your action to heal instead of attacking. Alright, so... I you really can can't do anything to disengage. Yeah, you can yeah, use I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the disengage, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe back um, the char char All right. So charging, literally, she'd have to be within my line of sight, right? Like if she charges me, like there has yeah. to be nobody in between us. 
if she ta- if you are ten feet away from her, she can charge you. Yeah, but if there's somebody between us, will that then charge hit, work? Then she'll hit someone else. Mm-hmm. You only charge at a creature in a straight line. So anything that's in a straight line from her right now, she can charge at. Personally, 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 I would even though you're low on health, I would like for you to stay there. Uh huh. So, so what? You, so I can, so I can get advantage on my attacks. All right, I'm yeah, gonna. Wait. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna hold position and kind of just like raise my arms. To, well, you obviously, can, I'm in defense shift, mode right you now. You can shift to her side so Riley can go right at her. I mean, I could literally just walk around. I have enough movement. You can go. Yeah. Plus, if I move, uh, move, she'll get an no, attack of opportunity. She, no, she, move move she only gets attack of opportunity if you move out of this five square. Yeah, you can literally just box. step over here. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. You can do All dodge right. action for a key point. Can you? Because I, yeah, I was I looking at it. It says disengage and dash. I didn't see dodge. Oh yeah, patient defense for dodge. Yeah, you get the dodge action uh, for patient defense. Yeah. Uh, Da, 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 spend a key point. That's unavailable. Uh, mm-hmm. Patient defense and how f- dodge is like how far? Uh, it's not a distance thing. It's a you don't get hit. Uh, it's just a thing. Oh wait. It's a. I think it's a disadvantage on the next attack against you, right? And any attack roll made against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And that has to happen on my turn, right? Yes. You have to use your dodge on your turn. Yeah. You have to call out that you're doing a dodge for him. Right, well, yeah, so this so it's basically a preemptive dodge. Yes. All right. Well, I'm gonna do that then I guess. Uh okay. that, that movement I just did is just a preemptive. Okay. Uh Monday is going to have to make his saving throw. A twelve I'm guessing doesn't save. Dan, hmm? 12 doesn't save? Nope. Thought not? Mm-hmm. Still has his attacks, and though he's shooting through a storm, he can give himself he advantage. As long as, he can give himself advantage as long as he deals damage to himself. Yeah, so Which then it's it even. Normal. It becomes even, yeah. He takes one point of damage from his Blood Maledict. To give himself normal shots. He's going to take normal shots this time at a... Hmm. Probably at Riley. Getting rid of her is going to be useful. So not have to deal with... uh... Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. So he just rolls normal. He's going. He's adding his crimson right and fire damage to both of these. Rain on you. I just need to make sure of something. Yeah. Yep, he'll make he'll make his uh next attack normally. So let me roll this. Um Chris said his Discord just disconnected. And he attacks twice. Yep. Yeah, he's regular. Oh, so a twenty-five and a twenty and a nat twenty. Okay, uh, I'm going to stone and... endurance that uh, the second one. Okay. Uh, you're still taking twelve, and then you're taking. Oh no, no, wait! You're taking more than twelve because he still rolls a d six, uh, two d six for both because he rolls for his fire damage and his blood maledict damage. So the first one is twenty points of damage, and the second one is 27. So, so 
12. 17 and 20. So you're taking 37, uh, 37 points of damage. 20, Minus 12. 20. So no, 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 no. It's all, I already did the subtraction. Oh, okay. Because it's 20 plus uh, 27. So it would be 47. Minus 10. So you're taking 37. Okay. Told you. That Monday, it? Monday's scary. Monday is lethal. Monday is very lethal. Is that everything? Uh, that was his action. It cost a bonus action for him to do the... You're not undead. How many points are you at? Actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, he wouldn't oh, know. I may have hit the wrong button. Uh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> hey, um, Discord has actually completely stopped working for me so for some weird reason. So I'm trying to like re reestablish connection there. Okay. Well, we're not at your turn yet, so you've got a little bit if you need to reset. Mm -hmm. Free action, he is going to... Hmm. Okay, as if... Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's it, because... Uh, he can only use his last blood maledict for that. Uh, but he doesn't. Does he have a? He doesn't have a bonus action anymore because he expended it to uh, get the hit off. So yeah, your turn. Okay. Um. Okay, so bonus action, second win. Okay. Hoagie. So that's 13. 13? It's uh, that plus 5. Okay. Hush yourself. Okay, and so now I move, now I'll do my movement, and I will walk around Fig to here, and my echo will proceed up to here. Okay. Uh, know that you are now in a sleet storm. That's and only a it means... magical object. Huh? Magical you object. are in a sleet storm. Oh, am I in the sleet storm? Yes, yeah. because where Fig just once oh. was was where it was in the sleet storm, and then oh, she moved right. one feet Probably away. From put a radius I don't know. I don't know if it affects me. I should have put a radius on it. Yeah. Yes, it does. It affects any creature that's within it. So if you enter there, you're in a sleet storm. Okay. Well, well, Mofa moved to the wrong place. He moved off to the side so you could come right next to him or something. I didn't need him to. I could have walked around him. I told him to go here. I don't know why he only went here. Hello? 40 feet radius or 40 feet diameter? Radius. Hello? Okay. Hi. Sure. We can hear you. Okay, okay, yeah. For some reason, it was giving me a 502 cloud flare. Uh, <laughs> like, did I just get DDoS attacked? Yeah, 40 feet radius. Okay, I'm weird. just going to an object and then mark it as 40 feet. So, where did you okay, want so... the object to be? It was 40 feet from about here, if I remember. Yeah, that yeah right that's about there. right. Uh, could you put a marker right there for me for a sec? While I go grab uh, something to, a tool to go mark it. Thank you. Uh, since Mofon's not in the right position, I guess I just have to attack Fig normally. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have uh, you have advantage if I'm like near something. Well, no. if we're or on, if you're on opposite ends. Her, I get flanking, but I can't step here since I'll be in the I'll be in the sleet storm. Oh, gotcha. So, so you moving there actually hindered me. Oh shit! Sorry. <laughs> I'm just like super squishy, so I'm like <laughs> that's yeah. it. Okay. I'm going to take my two attacks, and I'm also going to burn uh, one uh, Unleashed Incarnation to use one attack on Monday. 
uh, that costs a bonus action to use an ingress. No, unleash incarnation is just part of my thing. When you, uh, whenever you take the attack action, you can make one additional melee attack from the echo's position. Okay. Yeah, it burns one of your slots, but make sure you're marking off your slot. I did. Okay, so the first two are for Fig. Fifteen and a sixteen. Believe it or not, neither hit. Great. Sixteen uh, matches her armor class, so nope. Okay. Uh oh, wait, hold on. Um, I'm oh, gonna. D four. Do we only get yeah, one? Yeah, D four. Yeah. 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 Is it for both or just one? You could use it for both. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Because you can use it's it for every, every single attack. Thing. Yeah, it's every single roll. It's not. It's not based off turn. It's based off of whatever you want to do. So a seventeen. And a 17. <laughs> uh, both hit. She takes half damage from the uh, slashing. So 20 plus 23, 43. Um... No, no. Uh, do the slashing first. So it's 15 plus 13, which is 20. That's 14. Uh, it's 28 into 14, and then half of, and then it's 15 yeah. on top. So 22. 22. Okay. 17 plus uh, 5, 15 plus 7, 22. Yes? No, wait, hold on. Five she plus... doesn't take half damage from the cold. It's, it's, it's 21. 21. What? No, okay. that would be if it's 4, because 7 plus 4 is 11, 7 plus 5 is 12. Well, no, it's 14 plus 7, because 7 plus oh, 8 equals I heard 15. 15. Yeah, 7 plus 8 equals 15, and that rounded down is 7. Right, what? Darius? Yeah. Uh... But you... Like I said three times, don't have the cold damage. Oh, okay, then never mind. That's that is cold damage. That's just fifteen, so that's total uh, twenty-nine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and the one and here is one attack on Monday. Okay. Roll me your attack. That's a miss. D four. Yeah. Does your D four work on your? Um... It's okay. technically an attack from me. 16? That still misses. No. Jesus Christ, I told you Monday was scary. Um, other than that, uh, oh, since I now attack, the Sleet Storm is poof. Okay. Okay, Joshua doesn't need to make a dex roll. Here comes another fireball. The wipe is all out. Well, he kind of can't unless he wants to hit Fig. <coughs> I mean, I guess he could aim it somewhere else. He absolutely can. Okay. He can still hit right there. And that would get rid of some of you, which would be very useful right now. So he will do that since he didn't burn his second. Uh, he didn't burn the other. Did I have him burn the other? Do, do, do. I did. And I got a very. Yeah, he said he, he cast a healing word. Yeah, he casted a healing word at third level because uh, I wanted to try to heal, and the game rewarded me by literally bending me over and fucking me. So that was great. Uh, angry about that one, but it's fine. He can still yeah, plop in a flame angry. Right Don't be angry. We're kind of tied at the moment. Not at all. You have. Taken down one of his, um, one of my players, instantaneously, and these guys yeah, are just we're, trying we're to recover at this point. No fun. We can't do something about Fig. Fig is very hard to kill. Who goes next? Hans goes next. Yeah, Hans goes next. Yeah. There's no way to take out Hans, but I should absolutely get as men get rid of as many of you as humanly possible. Make sure it's in there.
He is going to cast Scorching Ray. Uh, no. It's three fires that go out because it's three hits from him. So I roll it three times. Okay. Do I roll it three times? At level five? It's Scorching Ray. It's a second level spell. Hmm. It says you create three rays of fire and hurl them at targets within range. Hmm. Does each ray do 2d6? Yeah. I'd say yeah. So I'll roll two more times, even though the character sheet's being all weird. Uh, also, that was a terrible fucking roll. 15 and a 9. So the 9 becomes a 16. That one's aimed at Mofan. Does 16 hit? Uh, 16... Yeah, it does hit. Alright. Uh, here's 2d6 fire. Nine points of damage. Yeah, I thought you would roll it more times than uh, I I am, uh, I guess I'm down. You are down. And then I'm gonna... And then the other one is a 15 plus 7, so it's a 23. Uh, I mean 22. Does that hit Riley? Dumb question to ask you. Five points of fire damage. All right, Hans's turn. So I'm gonna move here. Ten, oh, um, and she's Three. and she's gonna use this bonus action to healing word. Um, to healing word on Fig. Because uh, she has not been doing well. That's uh, 10 more hit points. That's great for Fig. That's very good for Fig. Yeah, I man, we were about even. You can't just let us have an even fight. You have to be stupid about it. <laughs> nah, fuck you. You're pulling out all the stops to kick their asses. I will pull back. Oh, the... I will you. Then you okay. can't complain. Then you can't fucking complain. Oh, I can always. Complain. It's just whether the complaining is right, which it isn't. <laughs> it isn't. Hans, your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna healing word Riley. Okay, that's Riley your bonus, bonus action. Action. Take heal for nine. Wow. At first level. Yep. I'm a life cleric. And wow. So I'm gonna look at Monday. I'm gonna go. I like your form. Let's see you strike a pose. And so I'm going to command him. That's a wisdom save 16. Oh, I want to see this. That would be funny. Oh, wait, I'm unconscious. Lyriel sits anything. down in her tail wags. <laughs> She's just waiting. Oh, man, Lyriel can't write in her notebook. <laughs> She makes a palm mark on the ground. It's a tally. She makes five. God damn it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> also, you owe me an ara ara. I do? Yeah, I redeemed uh, it. Ara ara. There you go. I can <laughs> on, off, on, off. Ara, ara. Exactly. Every time. Every fucking time. <laughs> what is it? Does it catch you off guard? <laughs> yeah, it does. I know. Uh, it's, it's just such a... Say it? It's just a, it's such a shift, isn't it? Oh my god! He oh my god, he failed. He strikes a pose. He failed. Yeah, he does strike. Okay, so he, yeah, so he drops his weapon and he ends his turn. Okay. Serial, your turn now. Wait, no, no, no. And so then, yeah, Chadius, Chadius is going to cast Bane on Fig. So that's a DC twelve Charisma save, Fig. What? What? Wait, Bane has a save. I didn't think Bane had a save. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a save. Yeah, it doesn't have a save. You oh, target sorry, three creatures and then they get yeah, a D4. Looking at that, uh... Yeah, they get a uh, D4 against their rules. Okay, I was just reading this yeah. page. Bane has no save. And you pick okay. any creature, um, any three creatures within range. Yeah, so Fig is okay. Bane. Okay, she's Bane. Egg, fig, and fig. Go ahead. Uh, 
My turn? Yeah. Yeah, my, my, my oh, answer. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to have Novus, who is probably, like, riding on my back or something. She's going to pop up and cast Entangle. Okay. From here to here. I can actually cast that from mine so you can read it if you want. Sure. Um, where is Entangle? It's going to be... I think her DC is similar to mine. It's Strength. Um... Vines sprout from the ground in a 20-foot square. I think that hits both of them, right? Yeah. It is difficult terrain. And they make strength saves at the start of their turns or during the... A creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants. And Mm -hmm. they would have to make another strength check to free itself. It's going to be, I, I mean, I guess Monday's already kind of making a strength show, so. <laughs> 10 and 12? What, 10 doesn't make it. Okay. Does it 12 make it? Uh, where, what is. It says her... DC 14. Is it DC? That's... Yeah, it's DC 14. Yeah. So it's not safe. And then I. <laughs> How does this work? I've never, u- I've never even seen this spell before. Okay. A five-foot diam- diameter sphere of fire appears in an unoccupied space of your choice within range and lasts for the duration one minute. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet must make a dex save throw or take 2d6 fire, half as much on a successful The bonus action. You can move it 30 feet. Okay. If you ram the sphere into a creature, it must make a saving throw against the sphere's damage and the sphere stops. So I'm going to create a flaming sphere. And then as a bonus action, ram it into Monday. <laughs> uh... Monday, does, Monday does save. Okay. Because I'm looking at Novus. Her DC is not your DC. Her DC is 12. Okay, so he saved? Yep, he saved. Then I'm going to actually do it against... No, let's still do it against Monday. Fuck it. Uh, What are you doing? So I can create a sphere within five feet. Of someone in an unoccupied space. Um, it's not. Oh, so maybe about here. What are you casting? Flaming sphere. Oh, okay. And then as a bonus action, I can ram it <laughs> into somebody and cause them to take two d six fire damage on fail or half as much on success. Okay. Uh, what do they roll against it? Um, dex it save. Dex? Yes, it's dex. dex Gotcha. Here's a deck save. 22. Oh, yeah, well, he definitely makes that. So let me roll the 2d6. He takes one. <laughs> one point of damage. Holy shit. And then it's... I don't know. What does what happens to it after that? Um, blah, 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 it, stops, it, it stops moving. Yeah, it's a concentration spell. At the start of um, whoever's near the orb, uh, they have to make a deck save again. Yeah, so Monday's gonna have to make another deck save on his turn because it's stopping. It's on him technically. If he Doesn't was... he not turn? Or how did the command work? It's at the start of your turn. Either way, okay. So at the start of his turn, he must make a deck save. And then there is oh, bright. Uh, there's bright. So um, Riley, at the start of your turn, your echo must make the same deck save. Yeah, because it he it, it the fireball is on him technically. So anything within five feet of him must make the deck save. Oh, okay. What what's the deck save? Uh, my deck save is as Okami is thirteen. Mm-hmm. Spell save DC thirteen. Not oh, it's not your. Oh, now we're on your turn. Oh, sorry. I said it three times. <laughs> we're going so slowly. I'm like, bleh. Cal, are you done? Um, action and a bonus Good action. Novus did a thing. Then. Josh is restrained. I rammed a fireball into Monday. <laughs> oh, it's fixed turn. I wag my tail. Okay. Uh. I will be right back. Oh. I'm just going to go let Hoagie out. Bonus for lightning damage. So take three. Mm-hmm. She takes two swings. Yeah, she's probably going to kill me this turn. <laughs> Maybe not. She does get a minus 
1d4 to these, right? Yep. Okay. Do either of those hit um, nope. uh, on their own? Nope. Okay. Then, uh, then uh, you're fine. Sweet. I feel like something's off. That's because something is off. Oh. I marked her strength wrong. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, it's Monday's turn. Is it? Yeah, oh, we don't have Mo Fun. Oh, shit. No, but Monday doesn't have a turn because he's also posing. Turn. Yeah, he's posing, so he can't move. Monday's turn. Deck save. Can I not? Oh, yeah, he I makes a deck save on his turn. That's the only thing he can do. 14? Just hit it. So, Ty goes to the defender, roll your 2d6, and he takes half. Darius, can you please roll me 2d6? I'm, I'm taking Hoagie out. That's fine. Uh, half of 8 is 4. Come on. Come on. Let's... Do we still have Bless? Yeah. You have okay. Bless until um, he drops his concentration. Actually, no, no, wait. No, you did drop your concentration, because I'm pretty sure to command, you have to break your concentration. Right? Command is just a regular spell. Is it? Yeah, it's just an action. Oh, she's not concentration or anything. Oh, she's. Um, you don't have that many. Uh... All right. Yeah. Nice. I thought command was a concentration spell. I thought mass healing word was a full action. Holy oh, it's a bonus. Holy shit, you are strong. All right, the so mind is dedicated to everybody else. My turn. Yeah. That's where his strength comes from. Yeah, it's your turn. And D4. Uh, that's a fail, so 2D6. No, D4. Uh, you she gets my saving throw. throw. Yeah, but it's still 2 for half damage. No, okay, so you're still taking the half. It does destroy. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, either way, uh, bonus action. Poof. Oh, where'd she go? Oh, I got rid of it. My bad. Uh, you can just grab it from their sheet and yep. bring it back out. Poof. Okay. You're poof. Uh, Remember, you can't get advantage on this. Yeah, I know. I can still get three attacks, though. Mm hmm. Uh, I'll burn the last point of Unleashed Incarnation. Okay. Uh, here we go, Finn. Her, her, her health is marked incorrectly. She shouldn't have that much. She should have that much. It's... That's, gonna, that's still not going to hit, even with a d4. What? Oh, wait. No, that hit. Oh. It's a 19. It hits. It's, I it's, not, it's not, it stopped rolling at an 11 on my screen. I forgot I had a plus 8. Uh, she's still up. She is still up. And she's down. Because what is that? That's uh, 5 plus 4 plus 5. That's 14 plus 14. Plus eight, yeah, four, yeah, six plus eight is another 14. Yeah, that's 28 points of damage. Yeah, she's knocked out. Cool. As she goes down, I kind of like give her like a, a warrior's nod. Uh, Josh is restrained. What does that mean? I think it's just difficult terrain, she said, or something. It's entangled. No, he's restrained. Oh. Yeah. It would be a shitty spell if it just made the area difficult terrain. <laughs> Attack rolls against the creature is advantage. The creature has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Okay. You can still take all of his actions. Just can't move. You just can't move, and that's totally fine. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that as well. Man, I wish I did this from the start. Oh well, do it now. And uh, be mad at yourself later. He is going to bonus action, bring out his chair. But up bump. Because I can I absolutely forget that all of these guys have special things to do. 
and I'm the worst. I am the worst ever. Uh, That's horrifying the sheriff looking. Is going to use bless on both him and oh no wait can you reach? Can it reach? Yes, it can. He's going to use bless on the both of them. So now they're both blessed. Uh, and what's at this point, Darius is like, <laughs> And then I realized I actually have shit I can actually do to you people. Why haven't I been doing any of it so far? I am stupid. That's probably why. It's because I'm stupid. <laughs> you are being nice. I have been being nice for far too long. You're being nice since they're short long. one person. That's not true. This no, we actually team. switched to fight. You, you almost, they person. almost fought the 5v5 against um, Veronica's team. 5v4. A 5v4 against Veronica's team, but they wanted to fight these guys instead because they wanted it to be a fair fight. I wanted to fight Fig. I didn't care about a fair fight. <laughs> Did it roll properly? No, it didn't. Let me roll it again. Um, so he's casting... Casting his uh, last one of these. Scorching Ray. 25 to hit, starting with you. Does a 25 hit you, um, Riley? Yeah. Okay, take seven. And then I'll roll it two more times. So a six plus seven does a thirteen hit. Riley. Riley. Nope. Yeah. And Again, nope. nope. Okay. Hans's turn. Okay, so I'm gonna move five, ten, fifteen. And so now I'm gonna look at both of them. You know, I just go keep the train rolling. Come on, let's see you strike a pose. And so I'm going to use level 2 command against both of them. So then they go DC 16. Oh, I love Hans. Okay. <laughs> I'm he's, saved literally, from he's literally turning this into an episode of JoJo. <laughs> uh, he can save easily. Um, he's Monday. not. Monday is still uh, stuck in a pose. <laughs> oh, no, Monday. Oh, Monday. Got any bonus no, action? No. Um, and yeah, I'm going to Healing Word, Riley. Again, level... Oh, wait, no, I'm out of level one spells. Um, so I'm going to send my spirit weapon over to Monday, and I'm going to attack him with my spirit weapon. Okay. Sixteen? Nope. Roll your d4. Right? Because you blessed yourself, or did you not bless yourself? Uh, I am not blessed. Okay. 16 does not hit. My cherub's going to move up next to me, and he's going to bless the three of us. How much uh, movement does he have? 40. Yeah. All right. And what? you're blessed now. Callie, you're dead. I know. Oh, are you still walking the dog? No. Okay. I am going to take an action to re unshape myself. Okay. So you're back to yourself. And I'm going to bonus action a healing word for Riley. Okay. Donka Sean. Hmm? It's a Donka. It's only four, but it's better than nothing. I take out my notebook and make a proper fifth tally. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you can't have any. It's fish. And then I'm going to move back just a little bit. Uh, roll. Huh? Well, 
right? No, that was a druid spell, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Healing word's a druid spell. I thought you were rolling uh, from sorcery. I thought it was different. That's my bad. That, I'm just confused because you had me roll as Okami. Uh, that's... Oh, no, wait, no. Eee, no, roll wild magic. You're right. Why am I being dumb? Still made it. Okay. He has to... Your fire is still there, right? Yep. Because you're broken concentration. So he has to roll dex save. He gets a plus four to the roll. Or one No, he's fine. Uh, 2d6. He takes I... half. Three. I mean, I could have rolled that. I am here. I'm sitting right here. Oh, my bad. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, and he still can't take any action because he's still in a pose, right? <laughs> yep. I, um... <laughs> I take out oh, my man. phone and I snap a picture. Riley's turn. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my echo move. Six. And then I will swap places with my echo. And then... And then <laughs> move up to Josh. Okay. And Josh. double swings. Put your hand, on your hand on his shoulder and go, hey. That's a miss. D4. No, nope. I'm gonna tell you right now. Even with your D4, that's a miss. Yeah. Cleric wearing he's heavy armor. Cleric. He's a cleric. He's wearing heavy armor. It's going to be hard to hit him. Uh, roll your D4. Tie. Yeah. It was a tie. It was a tie. Now no. it's not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and just that's like that, that, it's not a tie anymore. Uh, that's thirteen. No, that's fourteen. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah. Still standing. And it's Josh's turn. <sighs> and I've expended most of my spell slots. Holy shit. He's gotta make a strength save. Yup. Or be restrained. Or continue his life being restrained. Oh wait, wouldn't he have had advantage on hitting Josh? Because he's restrained? Yes, you do have uh, advantage on hitting him. So you can reroll that 12. Are you rolling? Wait, when does he get to... He makes it the start of his turn? Yeah, the start of his turn, he makes a strength save. Uh, roll the d4. Damn. Nope. nope. <laughs> hey, at least I remembered. Mm -hmm. I could roll one more to see um, if I hit a critical, but I won't. He saved against it. He is no longer restrained. Nope. Uh, Josh is... How close is he to you, some of you fucks? One and two is within range for that, but I can have. Yes. Yes, you've come into range. Okay. And, uh. Uh, what Bip. is. He's already blessed someone, so he can bane someone, and then we'll start doing some swings on people. Uh, his cherub moves. around you to get advantage. Oh, so it counts as a thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Familiars do. He can swing with his greatsword um, with advantage. Does a 21 hit. Yep. Take 17 points of damage. As a fucking sword slashes through your skin and rips you up. Wait, are we doing actual damage to one another? Because like, it's... I mean, it's not—it's not doing actual. I mean, you're still going to end up with a few scars from this combat, no matter what. But it's not it doesn't scary. seem entirely thought out. If this thing actually cut me, I accidentally cut the other people. You did end up cutting some people, but. It, your your swords were blunted, so you're you not. Scarred uh, my boy. They're blunted. They don't cut. Yeah, they, they don't. Cut. They bruise and contuse. Foin, 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 foin. Uh, how about you also give me a motherfucking deck save? Oops. Oh, just take the first roll. 
you don't give me a deck save. It's just guiding bolts. So 27 Either points way, of damage. Okay, there's nothing I can Wait, do about uh, that. 30 damage. points of damage? Done. Yep. You're down. Uh, and he's going to... Healing word. I have to unclick advantage, for fuck's sake. Five points of healing for his buddy. <sighs> Hans, your turn. Uh, 2v2. Uh, Finally, it's... No, it's not fair. You guys have both had full health, and they're nearly dead. They have been surviving on hopes and prayers and wishes and dreams. All right, they're so... fucked thus far. Um... Are you out of spell? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sacred flame Joshua, so he has to make a deck sixteen saving throw. How are you sacred flaming? It's a cantrip. It's a, yeah, it's a cantrip. Oh, it's a cantrip. Okay, I was like, I was looking at your spell slot, going, it's like no spell. You have one spell slot left. Yeah. Uh, you absolutely attacked the right stat because he does not have good decks. Uh, yes, was, I know. What's the save? Type? What's it against? I mean, what's the uh, the DC? Uh, it's, there's no DC, just the uh, 16. So it's it, four radiant damage. It's DC 16, okay. Yeah, four radiant damage. Okay. And Stop. I'm going to Spirit Weapon Monday. What? 17. To hit. Yep. That hit. So 11 force damage. He's still standing. And let's, um, Mr. Cherub is going to go over to Monday. And he's going to attack. Chadius is going to attack him with his great sword. Go ahead and take the attack roll. Chadius. Uh, no, that wasn't, Chadius. that wasn't it. Uh, Nope, that's just for the angelic uh, weapon damage. Which, you if you roll the weapon damage, it, you scroll all the way down, it should be at the bottom. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. It rolls automatically, the uh, radiant damage for you, so yep. you don't have to roll it. 18 to hit, that hits. And so it's not a great sword, he's just punching him. <laughs> punching him? Um, oh, I mean, it's a great sword, but it's like, I don't know. It's, it's shaped like a fist. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a fist shaped great sword. <laughs> Monday still stands barely. Like 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 the the hilt is like a hand and it's just a giant middle finger. No, it's an entire bicep. Come on. Uh, <laughs> the tip uh, of the sword is the fist. Johannes Canem isn't about mockery; it's about acceptance. Can it be, can it be like one of those like foam fingers? Now your turn. Okay. <sighs> okay. Cat is in shape of loaf. Loaf cat. I'm going to use a luck roll on that. My last luck point. Gotcha. Roll your luck. Cool. That's it, Monday. Okay. Ooh, and then down. I'm going to use my last two sorcery points to twin spell. Can you quit twin spell chromatically? It's a single target. It's okay. instantaneous. Uh, you twin spell? Uh, I think you have to roll again. For I know. I'm getting to it. I have to choose damage types. Nope. Not one. Nope. Uh, give me your uh, mag wild magic. Nope, that's a wild magic table. Let's go! Yes, I know. The wild magic table! Hooray! Actually, no. You know what? I absorb it with my staff. Yeah, I forgot. Also, I <laughs> use Tides of Chaos to get advantage. When did you absorb before? I expelled, it. I expelled it in the parking lot and grew two meters, remember? Oh, yeah, sure you did. You did. You did. Cheater. 
I know, I get <laughs> so so I'm gonna I'm also going to tides of chaos to get advantage. Okay. That will uh trigger another wild Yes, I'm aware. At your DMs I yeah, I'm aware. Nope. Nope. Two sorcery points. No Monday, no Riley, just Josh, Hans, and Lyriel. Okay. So I've got one in my and staff their, and, and one... Chair, and their respective little winged things. Oh yeah, Novus is going to... What can she do? All three of their respective little winged things. Oh. Because let's be frank, they all have winged things. Yeah. Um, Novus is going to cast Sleep. Uh, on Josh. Um, it would affect both the. Um, you can hit both these creatures with it. Oh, um, it doesn't. Rose. Darius, it doesn't say what spell it's at. It just says one a day. Uh, once per day can cast. Oh no no no! It's one per once per day. She can cast one of these spells. She can't cast multiple. Um. It says one per day each. Oh, Shiza! I didn't even say the each. Okay. Oh. Uh, sleep? Just roll. Uh, I'll just roll sleep because it's 5d8 worth of. Uh, I can just uh, roll 5d8s. Yeah, go roll, uh, roll 5d8s. 22. Josh is asleep. Does Pass that the... technically count as down? Yes, that counts as down. Woo! We win! <laughs> It was an utter thrashing. Let's be fucking honest here. Victory backflip. Lyrical. I'm willing to. I would have declared the victory thrashing. God. He does a backflip. Uh, he just landed land on his face. He's still, he's still blast <laughs> Oh my god. He landed on your neck. Pass out. You need to go to the infirmary too. Lyrical's Everyone is covered up to the infirmary except for Lyriel. No, Lyriel's running Lyrical's over last... to the infirmary. Lyriel runs over to Hazel and casts Healing Word. <laughs> um, he is... Eventually, after I get okay. up, I'll go over to Fig and I'll like give her a hand. <laughs> he, she just you puts do... his head in her lap. She, you know, she just straight up like hops into your arms and is like, "Carry me like a princess to the infirmary." <laughs> I love Fig. <laughs> I'd be like, "You say that again, and I'm dropping you." <laughs> <laughs> Lyriel helps up Hazel. <laughs> okay. With with Josh. healing kisses. Josh and Monday get up on their own. Because <laughs> I already know none of you fuckers are gonna do it. I was gonna offer a hand to Monday because he's right there. Yeah. Chadius helps Monday up. <laughs> Chadius helps Monday. Chadius helps Monday up. <laughs> <laughs> She's and got, you guys make your way. She's got another shoulder. She can, she can to, uh, both. To deal with the bumps and scrapes. Later that day, you see... Uh, let me just roll a D100. Oh, you watch... Um, you watch Veronica's team absolutely fucking thrash the other team. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, it was a massacre. I rolled a D100 to see how well they did. They got a 98. Oh, maybe I should have let that wild search go through. I would have been able to fly. Yeah. That would have been nice. Oh, after I drop Hazel off, I step outside the nurse's office and expend my wild magic surge. I want to be close. That's not how it works. Out of uh, my staff. Oh, out of your staff. I was going to say for your Tides of Chaos, that's I, my... I know. <laughs> I am quite aware, Darius. Okay, roll me wild magic! 83! Let's see what the table has to Every say! Every creature within 30 feet of you takes 1d10 necrotic damage, and I regain hit points equal to the sum of the damage dealt. I stepped out of the room, so there shouldn't be anyone around me. You're in a hallway, Callie! <laughs> There shouldn't be anyone around me. I stepped... I, like, I'm pretty sure the beds aren't right next to the door, Darius. If I walked out away from the infirmary... If you walked out of the infirmary, you're in the hallway for the classes. 
So where are you going? I want <laughs> to. People Obviously. walk back and forth through those hallways. If it's if classes are in session, nobody should be in the hallway. Then I'll walk away walk away to where I can can't see anybody. It's fine. I was just giving you some uh just being <laughs> a dick. I'm just being a dick. Just to be a dick. Uh mm-hmm. yeah, you expend your wild magic roll. And I'll also trigger your other one just just to have it out of the All way. Alright, hold on, let me roll the one hundred. Thirty five. Let's see. Roll a d10. You age, you age changes. <laughs> oh, I age again. You age in one again. <laughs> Not again. You're all the way back to aging. Oh, you gotta love it. <laughs> okay, wait. No, if the roll is odd, you get younger. If the roll is even, you get older by d10. And whatever the number is, that's how much you go oh by. <laughs> roll a d10. Let's see I what get you get. Ten years older. You're ten years older. I'm twenty-eight again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, all the hair is back. All the hair is back. You have grown you've gotten older. I you walk got back a in, I walk back into Whoop. the nurse's office, I go, I need to go to the hospital again. <laughs> dragging like because my hair was already kind of long, it's now dragging on the floor. I need to go to the hospital again. <laughs> She's like Dear, this is this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> How are we back here already? It's been Look, a week. one week. Ma'am, I don't control the table. It just happens. And, and is, she just, she's writing in a notebook. What what if Hazel is cool with this? <laughs> it doesn't mean, <laughs> it doesn't mean oh, Hazel's just waiting. Hazel's just waiting for it to. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he likes longer hair, but Lyra doesn't want to be twenty-eight. She wants to be. There's a difference between longer hair and just being engulfed by hair. That's natural. Maybe Lyra doesn't want to be twenty-eight. Hey, hmm. I can we get? It. Can we get back hey, to I roll for it. it. Hazel gives you a thumbs up. Oh my I'm god. <laughs> <laughs> Is he into horror movies? No, absolutely not. He is terrified oh god, of horror movies. Horror movies. <laughs> he is a, he is a demonic abyssal tiefling who is terrified of horror movies. Yes, because I thought that was a fun character. That is trait. fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> His best friend is a domfear. He is a demonic line tiefling, and he hates horror films. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she rolls her eyes and just sits on his bed. She's like, you know, I got to actually de-age myself, but if he wants, I'll keep the hair a little longer. <laughs> yeah, it works. Ugh, men. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be updating Luriel's icon again because I'm gonna change her hairstyle again. So, while the students are going out to their combats and doing all their things, you and I have a little discussion to have ourselves. Um, Pluto mentioned. Um, Pluto uh, sits next to you in the stands, uh, observing the entire show. game. <sighs> He's not deafened, though. No, he's fucking deafened. No, he's deafened. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what a dipshit. His parents probably called him for because his aunt is or something is there. Isn't his sister uh, still there? There he is. There was loud noises. Loud noises. Darius. All right, well, I'm I'm, I'm gonna oh. call it a night for myself because mm-hmm. like we're done with. Yeah. You are done with the Oh, we it. just got no, something with there. Pluto and Zog, and then Lyriel has something to get through. Yep, and we so need to get Hans, we get Hans is resting off his Hans is resting <laughs> off his head injury. <laughs> oh, poor Hans. We need to get back. He's doing so, subs in the hospital bed. I'm still, I guess, in the morgue. <laughs> no, we probably wandered back on the Ooh, campus by this in point. Fact, we need to have uh, something no, that we can he's back. No, in fact, that's that's part of what I was going to discuss. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't worry, I I have it all planned. Actually, Darius, did you I see the things I, I sent you? Yes, I did. I'll uh, take a look at them in a moment. Um, so, good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Sorry about your head. Congrats on being the only other person to survive with me. <laughs> don't worry, he'll be better. <laughs> that's a very hard head. It's fine. God damn, you guys take a lot of damage. Look, Jesus. I didn't take any damage. Well, I took a little bit of damage no, they from the fireball. They weren't, 
focusing you down. They were focusing down your fighter, uh, your close line fighters. Yeah, well, that's that was your first mistake. I mean, you guys did the same. I mean, they're all all of them are close line fighters mostly. The only one that and you did take your time to take out um, uh, Josh, who is their only backline fighter. I mean, well, if they had got, Josh and uh, if they had gotten close to me, I just would have missed he stepped away anyway. <laughs> yeah. Fig, Fig survived for a while and survived through a lot just on Ooh. her, just on how much uh, she could resist. All right. So the big question is, was this exactly what you expected with the battle or were you expecting like a complete route? Uh, no, I was expecting, uh, if I'm being completely honest about the battle itself, I was um, expecting things to go right, and I was expecting things to go wrong. I was expecting that these guys would put up more of a fight. I thought that Hazel would be able to get in a little closer and actually be able to hit someone. All he did was... Can, can we talk about this later and get the party member back first? Yep. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so, um, Zog, you are yes. sitting in the stands watching this whole battle unfold uh, with Pluto. Um, Stop. Afterwards, they take uh, some of the kids to the infirmary, clean up the field, and then you see uh, Veronica and Scott's team get onto the field against the other classmates, and you are watching that now. Uh, during the time, Pluto uh, mentions to you, so I heard you're uh, currently working with some of those students to discover the attack on the school and the attack on me. Uh, What's your progress on that, by the way? Well, like I said the last time, there's a shapeshifter that is being Stop. a real thorn in my ass. <laughs> yeah, but... Is he doing anything specifically dangerous, or...? I mean, threaten your ass, threaten the kids... Right, getting a rise out of me and just being an overall shit. Wow. Seems like a challenging adversary. How goes replacing Jack? I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> right now, I'm not looking for replacements. At least not for a little bit. I'd need a corpse first to begin with that. I don't want to go make a corpse right now. <laughs> uh, damn. My infusions are eaten up for the moment. Uh, I mean, I could disable one and activate one for his personal use for a day. <laughs> Give him a little homunculus. <laughs> it's fine. It's not the same. <laughs> it's not Jack. You follow not his orders for now. <laughs> it's not... It's not the same as my um, um as uh, Jack. He was very handy. Um, I do have a bit of a lead. Um, after I got out of the hospital, I was given a tip uh, by someone um, who said that they were working with you guys in the police department. Um, they mentioned that uh, the um they gave me a bit more information on uh, how the uh, road de um, members of the Road Devil escaped, as they were the ones who were part of the attack, but they were and assisted who by... Who is this? Um, they were assisted by um, another... They were assisted by... Um, what's it called? They were assisted by uh, a company of the Sword and Feather, um, a sort of boating agency that uh, works out of the harbor. Um, thinking that should be your next step. It looks like the uh, harbor master, his um, the uh, captain of the ship you're looking for, is named Captain. Uh, is named Captain Featherbeard. He does not go by any other normal name. It seems uh, he does trade between. Balestone and Merlane. Um, we're also seeing that um, he is current. He he and his group have not been able to be 
uh, no. probably caught by the authorities or the authorities don't have enough rights to search their ship and, you know, uh, take better action against them because uh, they are under the, um, they are currently um, sponsored by Nathan Navaris. Um, he is a local, um, he's a local millionaire, a collector and archaeologist um, who uh, collects and sells rare artifacts to the highest bidders. Does he by any chance have the middle name Drake? No. Though I get your joke. <laughs> Though I get your joke. <laughs> <laughs> Does he uh, expect me to talk, Mr. Ba? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but who the fuck is he talking about? Because the only person we're working closely with, and I'm putting the biggest I air quotes told, I could possibly I was, do. I was told this by an Officer Mills. It's the other officer you spoke with, Anthony. Okay. I'm just checking. Because if job. it was that asshole in disguise... What asshole in disguise? I mean, <laughs> you know I mean it could be that asshole in disguise. Pluto wouldn't know. <laughs> like I said, he better never be the fish on the end of the line. <laughs> I'm very confused, but let's keep going, please. Um, it seems that uh, Nathan Navaris, uh, I've done my own research into this captain. Uh, and his sponsor, Nathan Navaris, has uh, traveled all over the entire world, all over Rook, um, and has made a fortune selling artifacts. Um, the artifacts themselves are strange in origin, and the ones who buy them, let's just say it doesn't end very well for Did he cut out for anyone else, or... No. Oh, did I cut out? No, you didn't. You said that the ones who buy them don't end up very well. Okay. The ones who buy um, the artifacts from Nathan Navaris don't get out very well. I think he's finding and selling cursed artifacts. Hmm. Cursed items, basically. And making a hell of a profit doing it, selling it to the rich and stupid. I once remember a wizard that used to do the same thing. You'll have to tell me about him sometime. It was a self-righteous piece of crap. It wasn't not really worth the time reminiscing about whatever his name was again. I just remember he had a big chest of cursed items. Um... I think last we were aware, um, Captain Featherbeard had, uh, before his new career as a courier, was also a uh, infamous pirate. But under um, maritime law, um, under the laws of free marches, uh, because he was a, um, a pirate in other locations and was, uh, you know, doing his pillaging and killing in other locations um, beforehand, and has since renounced such um, actions and now such uh, deeds. He is now considered a citizen and we are called, um, and most people call him a sailor rather than calling him a pirate, even though he still takes the name Captain Feather. So he's more of a privateer. Yes, indeed. Um, he is also assisting Nathan as of late. Uh, in the past year and a half, with actually discovering um, uh, different artifacts and selling them to the highest bidders. Um, I think uh, last I heard, uh, so they're, they're going to be, they're, their people are uh, going out to uh, other locations to go find uh, treasure and to bring back. And when they find something cursed, they sell them off straight up. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
he's a very careful captain with a very careful crew, and uh, this man, Navaris, is a very careful man. I could only find some of the smuggling um, and the and some of like that kind of activity, but I wasn't really able to find too much about Navaris himself. Um, he before this, um, before he became, um, before he started selling uh, artifacts, uh, he actually was just a collector of them. Uh, he would collect many artifacts from all over the world. Um, and he was well known for it and wasn't really dealing in uh, any sort of shady business, but maybe he's just been hiding it very well because it's always been sh it's always been a question of how he was able to make his money. Mm -hmm. So sketchy pirate always been sketched about how people how he get his money and this guy isn't exactly helping because he is equally sketch with how he's, he's been getting his money. He is equally sketch and quiet about it. And they are very good at staying silent about what they're doing. Um, both of them should be pretty high up on uh, on the priority list right now. Uh, my suggestion would be to take them on if you can. Probably starting with the pirates. They'll be easier to get to. Uh, we can only go the political route with Navaris. He is very well protected by the laws of Veilstone and the Free Marches. And... Um, Going after him would be difficult, to say the least, at this time. But if we can expose him for being a rat bastard, we might have an in. And if Sorry. we can expose, um, and if we can expose enough of, um, and if we can expose, um, if we can get proof of um captain featherbeard uh you know um helping in selling off these artifacts finding and selling these artifacts we can take him down too so your grand master plan is to pretend to be pirates to sneak into the smuggling ring i mean that wasn't my plan if that's the plan you want to go with sure no no no, no. that's why i <laughs> thought i heard when he said like get our way in i was just like no, talking to Featherbeard like is our way plan. in. I mean, taking down Featherbeard is our... Well, taking down Featherbeard while he's in the act is our way in. Because if we can tie him to Navaris, we can take them both down at once. Tie a noose around both of their necks. Mm. And, say, and sink them with the same cinder block. questions well considering he already probably knows we're on to him we're not going to be seeing featherbeard for quite some time why would he Master think heard they were coming into port for supplies i mean they just looted the school and if we've been going around chasing road devils i know but it's been about a week they can't be um they're they're not getting that many supplies when they go over to merlane they have to return here to get their supplies. Yeah, I saw them in the port when I was on my date with Hazel. Mm -hmm. They're still hanging around. The balls on these guys. <laughs> well, Wait, they know we that they're in the same room together. No, 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 no. It's a talk between Zog and Bruno. Um, they know that even with all of the suspicious things that they've done, they're still protected by um, Navaris because he has a lordship. So he's covering for them. It's very hard to, to get them Damn it. direct. It's very hard for the police to make a move on them. It's very hard for us to politically take him down. But if a group of adventurers would you stop a group of pirates from stealing an ancient artifact or something, that would be completely legal. And if we just so happen to find out that that pirate captain, um, that that pirate captain was connected to Navaris, we'd have to bring him up on charges for that too. Hmm. It sounds like you have a plan for something here, but you're not quite 
I am just giving. I'm not giving you a plan. I'm giving you. A plan. Well, no, no. It sounded like Pluto's been putting a lot of thought into this, but. I, I'm I'm telling you all the information that I've gathered, the things that I know, and I'm what I'm saying is the plan would be if your team can do something about this, we could be blah blah. So I'm asking you to look into this. That's my plan. My plan is you. <laughs> Pluto just doesn't want to be responsible for it, does he? Pluto can't come with uh, us because he just got out of the hospital. That and I'm still recovering. <laughs> okay, Honestly, Oracle, a lot whatever of me you say. Still a, long, a lot of me still recovering. I'm a literal... I am literally walking on a cane right now, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I'm not really in fighting shape. He, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. Obviously, he, he has legs to legs. stand on, but... Okay, come on. He does have both his legs. Yes. One is injured. I've still got dumb shit questions? to do. <laughs> any other questions? Anything else you want to ask? No, just... Gotta figure out how the hell we catch a sneaky ass pirate in the act. I mean, a... you said it before. Maybe pretend to be pirates. Get on this group. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I want to earn more shit points with the headmistress. <laughs> mm. Ass. I don't know. It was an option. <laughs> so maybe uh... sign up with the maybe sign up with another crew um, with another privateer. I hear the uh, Lockhart Circus is coming back in town. Oh, sweet Christ. You did not do that tie-in. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> uh, I hear the Lockhart Circus is coming back in town. Uh, there should be a captain among them who can assist. Sure, let's hope it's not Lockhart himself. I mean, he's the only captain in that circus. I know! <laughs> <laughs> If you're looking for a captain, there's your captain. My brother knows his daughters. <laughs> what? When the hell did Lockhart have Moving kids? On. Moving on. Don't, don't ask. Move on. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have really anything else to right. ask about. Moving on to Lyriel and her shenanigans. Um, sidebar. Wait, no. You should reintroduce. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, one more thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm forgetting to smash myself in the head. I'm looking at the thing and it says introduce Jin, and I literally skipped over it. Oh, I'm sorry, Juan. Um, while you're uh, in the nurse's office, you do see Jin just walking by the nurse's office, um, just walking into the nurse's office, kind of looking like. Did he walk Where past me? No, he walked into the nurse's office. I was walking like, out of the for... nurse's office. I thought you walked back in because you, uh, remember? You... Oh yeah, I was talking to Hazel. I'm giving Yee. some smooches right now. Yee. And I thought, uh, when I woke up in the morgue, you, the doctor, or the mortician, not the mortician, but the person there Dr. called Dead? up. It might not, I don't think it was Dr. He Dead, called. But... He called the school, and he made them aware that you're still alive. Yeah. However, the students weren't made aware that you were alive yet. Yes, so I would have assumed that they would have sent someone to pick me up. Oh, yeah, no. You're, um, you did come to school. You were sent with, um, with Dell, the vice principal, um, and she's just asked that you come to her office, so you're just walking on your Stop. way there. Um, but you kind of lost her in the crowd. Okay. So you're just looking for the right room. So I walk into the, the nurse's office at that time? Yes. Um, yeah, so I walk up to the first person that I see in the room. Who was that person? That would be Lyriel. Um, excuse me. Uh, do you know which way to, uh, the vice principal's office? Oh, holy also, shit. Uh, also, for everyone else, you're all there. 
Oh, holy shit, you did come back. Yeah. I, I, can, I can hear Nova's complaining about his smell in my bag. You've, <laughs> you've got dragon legs. That's new. Um, is, is it? Okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay, I'm, you I'm have, good, by the way. You have no memories, do you? Okay, this is. How? Okay. How do you know that? We know you. Um. It's kind of weird you ended up in the infirmary when we're all here. She points to each person. These are your teammates. Um. Yeah, we are. Well, we know a little bit about you. You're pretty mysterious then, and I'd say you're even more mysterious now. Hmm. I have teammates? Yes, you're on our adventuring team. You're kind of like our leader. Okay. Hey. I mean, Jin was the most responsible and knowledgeable out of all of us. He was like the de facto <laughs> leader, let's be real. Just because he's the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Scott's the leader of his team and he's the oldest. And most wise. Yeah, but I'm talking, I'm talking a different class of old. <laughs> No, he was, no very, he was very much like our de facto leader. I am still sitting on Hazel's lap, by the way. <laughs> mm. um, um, but to uh, Also, Hazel just goes, Weren't you dead? Wait, aren't you dead? Wait, what? She <laughs> What's she, happening? She leans over and whispers into, into his ear that she'll explain later. Um, yes, I was dead. But apparently I got better. Check it <laughs> out. I mean, <laughs> oh my god, I, I got better. Oh, yeah, no, Mofa, like everyone's in this room right now. So, if anyone wants to interact with uh, your dead friend returning, go ahead. I mean, uh, right, Riley just like walks up and goes, Huh, glad you're back. Does she just like she almost like, like almost non plus, like almost non plus, like not surprised, even though she never knew you were undead. I guess it's good to be back. Novus pops Since her head I have out no of my... frame of reference. I can't really say either or, but yeah. Novus pops her you head hear... out of my bag and is start and is yelling at you and Sylvan to get away from her, but you don't understand. <laughs> you hear you hear someone from behind you, Jin. That's the bitch who killed you. Kill her back. Huh? <laughs> I turn oh, behind me. Cool. Who was behind me? Of course you know Courtney, who's uh, you. It's Courtney Cowell. Sidebar, <laughs> how the fuck did Courtney know I was the one? Because she was driving and looking ahead. Who else here can cast Fireball? How does she know that? She's seen you on the track cast magic because you were racing around the track. I So, just and there's not cast... many of you that are casters. Just because I can cast <laughs> magic doesn't mean she knows what I can cast. Because after I cast Grease, I disappeared into the astral realm. Could have been either way, you that... did cut. Either way, you cast Grease. That's enough to be like, yeah, but she's she dangerous. Also, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, no. Jin told you. Jin told her because Jin told her in the uh, Hereafter episode. I thought he didn't remember anything. He did remember that. I <laughs> you, did remember, you remember in the beginning. I remember, remember my memories. Oh, yeah, you had to give crash. all your memories to Persephone. Yeah. Yes. You remember everything into when you she, you lost everything when he met Persephone. But he didn't tell her details. He didn't say my name. He did tell. He did say. Uh, he did I, not. I, did. I was there. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you that. I will give you that. She is like, this is the team that fucking killed you and me. These friends killed you. By the way. Um, also, none of you can hear that. Only uh, we know. Yes. Well, I uh, know. We're like, Shh. okay. Um. Are, are you okay? So... Lyra's looking I around like, know. what? Don't worry about it. Um. Sure. Just, just uh, real. Don't you don't worry about me. Real quick. So I was told I was in a car accident. You uh. I was also told. Car that you guys caused the accident. I just kind of, I just kind of look, uh, Lyriel's way, just like slowly. I like, I don't like smile or anything. I just kind of look her way. Don't fucking start with me about this bullshit again, Dan, because I'm getting fucking tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not 
saying anything. This was not like, a right? one-man fucking operation. It was mostly. No. Mm. It was a team effort. You all killed Jin. <laughs> Jin I didn't. Al Jin also killed Jin. Jin also killed Jin. But you also well, all let, killed let's Jin. Let's be clear here. I did not kill Jin. That's fine. You're not in the room, so you're not one of the people getting uh, blamed for this. <laughs> yeah, but you said we all killed Jin. I was like, I was driving. <laughs> yeah, you're not at fault. Everyone I else have a is. dick! What? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. I you? forgot to mute the Discord. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. That was meant for my stream. I'm gonna need some explanations here. No. Oh, <laughs> I'm let's, confused. Let's after the camp, but the session. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, did you guys kill me? Uh, well, no, the crash actually killed you. Uh, I'd say... All of us may have tried to stop a car, and you were in the car, and then... They caused the crash that killed us. Well... I just want to let you know that. It's also... And to be fair, we don't know why you were in the car, and then... Yeah, that was weird. I did a thing... I... Right? Lyriel did a thing, and then I did a thing, and then the car, it's like... It just kind of went sideways, we... but I don't think it was because of the two things. There was another thing that we didn't see. It might have had to do with I, you being I inside the car. <laughs> I don't know what you did in there. It must have been something. But... I want to say next time if you decide to jump into a car, do make sure to jump back out. Or let us know. I'll remember that. <laughs> Or maybe next time they can just not try to kill us both. Not try to kill everyone in that car. I mean, we were trying to fight against some sort of assassin. Wait, was she dead? Could she call her an assassin? No, um, no. Only one member of her crew was an assassin. She was, try she was a usurper. She was trying to take the throne at most. Yeah, but so she had vital information that you killed her for. Oh, well, I mean, Courtney, that bitch. Oh. Yes, the one that was trying to overthrow um, Wanda with the assassination plot. Oh yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, oh, that was because of you, Jin. You, you stopped the assassination plot by wrestling Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln. You saved You saved Wanda's life. Can we make it canon that there was a, at one point a president of the free market named Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> Please. You know what? Hell was it, yes. Hell yes. So now was apparently it before I have a story after it was called the free where marches I, where I fought a former president to save someone's life. Yes. I yes, yes. please. <laughs> I love this. Uh. Oh lord. So I turned to them and I'm like, wait, I, I fought a former president. A, a, it might have a been dead. It might have just been president. somebody who looked like him. You know how you get those copycats every now and again. Actually, one of the people we're trying to find as part of our mission can shape shift into other people. But, I mean, we can always catch you up on that some other time. Since I guess you kind of have to. Oh, see as, the as soon as Lyra says that, Riley becomes suspicious and she just like bonks Jin on the head. Um, no, that's that's Jin. No, make an attack roll, unarmed, unarmed strike. No, don't. It Novus told me it's him. Nope, we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> misses. That's a miss. Okay, okay. You hit his head. Um, you hit his head, but he's. You, um, you try to hit his head, but he is quick enough to at least move out of the way. He sees you moving. He sees you coming um, towards him. Riley. In retaliation. No, no, it's okay. Um, I get between them. Like, no, 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 relax. Novus, okay? Is he gonna go for the throat? <laughs> he just punched me in the back of the head. That's fine. Because I step between them to get them to stop fighting. Oh, Roll wait. damage. Oh. Three points of bludgeoning. Okay, ow, fuck. It's not my f- Okay, look, Riley, Novus told me it's Jin. He smells exactly the same. 
Well, how am I supposed to know that? I didn't know what I the was little trying fly, to... dragonfly, whatever it is, is saying. I was trying to tell you before you tried to bop him in the head. At that time, you everybody's, could have done something. Everybody's just a little too rash. But it's fine. It's This I... is Jin. <clears throat> And I she, don't have a rash. I, she, I have a great skin. She does the Will Smith thing. I don't Smith think I can thing. get a rash either. Hmm. She does like the Will Smith pose. <laughs> this is Jin. It's uh, it's Jin Jin. <laughs> um, <laughs> I somebody... think it's just one Jin. I thought his last name is Do. It is Do. At least that's what he told so us. Jin, Jin Do. Um, but that's pretty much actually all we know about you for the most part, other than you're a warlock. I think that's all I remember, too. Duh, it looks like we're all back at square one. Uh, we actually didn't get to know you too well before you passed. And now we're all the way back at square one, but we didn't really lose much progress, did we? <laughs> um, how, how long did we know each other? About two weeks. weeks. About two weeks. So I died within a week. About, <laughs> yes. That's um, of knowing you guys. Pretty much. Uh, I mean, adventurer school. Shit happens. But to but to be fair, it was a really nice death. Really great way to go out. Um, Courtney looks over to you. It was not a nice death. You got cut in half. Points for, points for style. Put it. Um. At Turner. Good point. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think it was a good death since I I don't think these are my legs. Well, to be fair, uh, mm, she's gonna hold her tongue. Uh, <laughs> Riley looks. It's like I don't think those are either. No, the tail is new. Um, do you get any cool bonus? Do you get any like? Can you do tricks with your tail? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure because I just got them. Oh, haven't really worked it out that well. Well, if you need somebody to take you to the vice principal's office, there's a couple of us around. I mean... At least you can still walk. Yeah, I... I, I wouldn't mind having my memories, though. Um, well, you always used to write in a journal, but I don't know what happened to it. But your room... Oh, you roommate is, your, your roommate is Hans, but he's not here right now. He might know a little bit about you. I mean, you were roommates. He's unconscious. He's unconscious. <laughs> he got, uh, he tried to do a somersault and landed on his head. Oh. Yes. He does. We just had a mock battle today, and it was a very hard fight. Did you guys do well? We won. Me and Hans swept up the last two. Well, Novus put the last one to sleep. And she points at the pixie in her bag that's holding her nose at you. <laughs> if if Hans, if you and Hans beat them, why is he passed out? Like I said, he tried to do a backflip and landed on his head. Did he land on them? No, it was a victory backflip. A failed victory uh, backflip. Oh. Okay. It's okay, he's got I a very you. thick skull, so he should be fine. <laughs> it's a common trait of X-Man meets. <laughs> but um, you can pick, one, if you want, one of us can take you to the nurse's office. Uh, We're in the I'm sorry, nurse. the vice principal's office. Yeah, if 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 you wouldn't mind. Does anyone? Yeah, I guess who's, who's not hurt, I guess. There you are. <laughs> oh, well. She she looks at Hazel and gives him another kiss and gets off his lap. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I can do this before my next bit. That's fine. I mean, only me and Hans were the one were the only ones who were unaffected, but Hans affected himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, Muriel, uh, I mean, uh, Muriel, uh, Novus tugs at your arm. Yes. He smells more dead than last time. Well, I mean, he was dead again, so obviously he would smell more like death than before because he died again. No, like two people died. No, he smells like two dead people instead of just one. Oh. Well, before he smelled like a few dead people just because of the rotting body part. But now he smells like more death. Well, I think 
I think it might be the dragon bottom. Mm. I remember there being a dragonborn mm. that shot at us from the back of the buggy. It might be his parts. Dragon dick? P more than likely. Uh, I don't want to think about a <laughs> dick. This is, you guys can't hear this. This is in Sylvan, by the way. The only person who would be able to understand is Zog and Fig. <laughs> Does Lyria blush at the mention of dragon dick? She gets, like, upset looking. Like, she doesn't want to think about that. <laughs> I don't want to think about his dick. There's a and passing thought. I, I just had to ask. It's, and as it's... they're talking about this, my tail is, like, wagging back and forth and just, like... Meh. Okay, well, um... Sorry about that. Had to have a little sidebar with Novus. Um, I can take you to the nurse, so, uh, blah, 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 vice principal's office real fast. If, you, if you, you wouldn't mind, yeah. Not, a, not at all. Do you need me to take you back to your dorm then? Um, no, I think I think just to the principal's office for now is fine. I think you're. It looked like you were, you were busy. I just had a little something I wanted to do. It's uh, this is fine. I can take you first. <laughs> Shouldn't be too... you. That was a hiccup. Oh. It shouldn't take too long. <clears throat> I had to try not to hiccup again. <laughs> okay. I I wave by and I take Jin over to the vice principal's office. How far is that it from? Was, it was it was nice meeting everyone again. Apparently, uh, okay. I guess I'll be seeing you guys again. I mean, you got apparently, a homeroom tomorrow. And mm -hmm. uh, Hans can show you where that is. He's a little short, so you might. How tall? How much taller did he get? Oh, uh, I uh, think Dragonborn are usually like six plus. Yeah. So yeah, you're now at least six foot two. You were like five eleven or so before. Yeah. Like oh, no, no, no. We we said you were you were six foot one. Oh yeah, you gained one. like three inches. That's fine. You should be able to see him just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I already let off my wild magic surges. Wouldn't want you doing that right now. Mm. But um, okay, let's go find um, wait, what's her name? Della. Del. 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 Like the computer. Oh, uh, Vice mm -hmm. Principal Del. Yeah, I, I just take him over. Or, yeah, most people call her Del. Her full name is Del Five. Yeah, checks out. Del Taco. Okay, so All we right. make our way to the <laughs> principal's office. You do indeed make your principal. way over to the vice principal's office. Uh, vice principal Dell is outside of her office, kind of looking around, like, "What the hell? How hard is it to admit? How do I miss a fucking student who is basically a walking Frankenstein?" <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I, think, I think that was in her brain. No, no, she said that out loud. Oh, sorry, sorry dear. I that, did not mean to say that. Somewhat uh, hurtful, I... even though it's very accurate. <laughs> yeah. So, I see you've already met one of your other team members. Yes. The the team members. Oh, um... Mm -hmm. the, the Goliath was, is Riley... The uh, Ganassi is Mofon. I'm Lirial. Uh, the unconscious one was, well, Hans. And we're just missing our TA. His name is Zog. Yes. <sighs> I'm going to have to fill in uh, Pluto that you're alive again. And Zog. Yeah. Well, that at least uh, um... helps with the introductions for your team, and maybe hopefully dispels all that awkwardness. Vice Principal Dell, I had to go find Professor Pluto so I can fill him in, if you like. That would be great. Thank you, dear. Of course. Um, real quick, Darius, does the name? I know I I forgot everything about every all of them, but at any point with my discussion with Persephone and also the. Reviewing the book. Does Pluto's name ever come up? Give me history. And you can add your past life stuff to it. 
Oh yeah, I gotta put three damage on myself. Three damage? Yeah, Jin popped me in the back of the head for three because I stepped in the way between him and Riley to get them to stop fighting. 17, babe. Oh, Are you sure he wasn't a freaking imposter? That's fair. <coughs> Has to protect. Oh no, there's an imposter among you. Oh, stop. Um, <laughs> um, Jin, you do actually remember Pluto's name mentioned in Perceptionist's Guide to the Underworld. Um, you don't, except it's not Pluto. It's never mentioned as Pluto. You do remember that she talked about someone that she was uh, married to, um, and she calls her Airman um, instead of Pluto. The name Pluto is not, uh, does not seem synonymous with, uh, it, it's the name Airman, it's not the name Pluto. She only calls her Emran. So then I wouldn't remember any... I wouldn't recognize Pluto. You wouldn't mind. recognize Pluto. Uh, no, you wouldn't recognize the name Pluto. But okay. um, she, um, for you to know, um, Persephone um, calls Pluto Airman, his real name. Wow, we learned that before we ever learned that in the other fucking campaign. Mm-hmm. Because you fuckers never ask. He well, he introduced himself as Pluto. Yeah. How are we, like, you think oh, Pluto's a real name? What the Christ? Why would we ever assume he was lying? <laughs> um. But yes. Um. You have now. Um. You have been made aware that Persephone um has a husband named Airman somewhere in the material plane. As okay. far as he, as far as he knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So, I, what's the what does the discussion with Dell encompass? I guess. And Lyra, I guess, is gonna let Zog and Pluto know that I'm. Um. Yeah, I was back, actually I for my little bit. I had a few things I wanted to do before the main section, just pass in passing, so I can just mm -hmm. tell Pluto, who is probably with Zog. I'm done for the night. Yep. Night Have a good night. One stop night. shopping. Night. Okay. Um, Dell brings you into the office and she sits down. And it's just like so. Classes are going to be difficult as we have a funeral for you, so people are going to give you odd looks. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I will do. I'm my... assuming no one really knew I was un uh, undead previously. I mean, some people assumed you were undead. No one assumed that you could come back to life. That took us all by surprise. You, you and me both. You and me both there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's a weird one. Um, so, because of that, um, it'll be a little hard for you to get back into, you know, making friends and such, but we will do our best to help you out at any point in time. Um, I was told that you returned much of your uh, stuff, much of your equipment, uh, as it was in uh, the custody of Police, uh, after you passed on and that returned. Um, so you should have your room key with you. You are room uh, 304. And your roommate is Han. Wouldn't he be 204? No, you're on the third floor. He's on the... Uh, oh, it's not separated? Okay. No, you're all on the third floor. I said it before. Uh, it's, it's four common sections. Actually, I'm 302. No, I'm 302. No, I'm 302 with Hans. I wrote Let it down. Let me look at my notes again, because I may have given Kelly misinformation. Because he told me. Oh I was no! Right, he told me I was right above Monday and Hazel's room in 302, because they're 202. Yeah, is it bad that I only? <laughs> no, I'm I just I'm dumb. A... Lyriel and Riley are 301. Jin and Riley's uh, not my well, roommate. I mean, sorry. Liriel and Veronica are real one. 
Uh, I'm a 303, where, right? Yes, you're 303. Mofon's the 303. Jin is 302. Riley is 304. But Callie, you're 301. That's my bad. God dang me. I wrote See, it down. The only reason I remember 303 is because of the band name. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Uh, I wrote it down. I'm so dumb. Sorry for the misinformation. No, oh, now I can't meld into stone into Hazel's room. Nope. You'll probably pop into someone else's room. Yeah. <laughs> Mofons. No. <laughs> Who's 301? Oh. <laughs> You're in 301. You're looking for whoever's in 201. Who is in 201? You know, what? I haven't... you know what? I haven't assigned Grung in room, so let's put it at Grung. Is it Grung and Donnie? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So if you ever feel like wild shaping into their room, <laughs> I mean, uh, stone shaping into their room, That's all right. just to freak I'll... them out. I'll just wild shape and fly out the window. It's Gucci. I'll turn into a pseudo dragon. It's cool. Um, and I guess as part of my discussion with uh, with uh, Vice Principal Dell, I ask her, um, did I? I'm a. Uh, this is so weird asking you about something I did before I died. Um, did I ever discuss this symbol with you? And I take out the amulet. I believe you did discuss this with me before. Um, I asked you to go uh, find Professor Pluto, as he would be your best, uh, as he is our researcher, and he would be the best person to look into something like this. Um, I believe uh, after I believe I discussed with Pluto the same symbol as well. We had this discussion with you, and we came to a conclusion that it was a symbol for some sort of cult. Hmm. Okay. Have, have there been any further developments since? Not much since Pluto has been in the hospital for the last week. Well, last oh. two weeks. Yes. Okay. So there wasn't much in the way of research. We've done our own academic research on our side. Um, we're finding only the understanding that whatever this is, it's, and it's of some sort of being of order. We are also finding out that um, this thing is old enough to, it finds itself, uh, we're finding history about this in the Badlands um, and having some connections to the clove and the actual, uh, the religion of the clove, which is strange. Why is it strange? Because, well, if it's a, some, something about order and it's some sort of god of order, you'd think that'd be more prevalent in a place like the globe. Oh. Yeah. Um, like, why would a I... deity of order be so hidden, so, you know, quieted amongst the people? Wouldn't make much sense. I, I guess I'll take your word for it because again, I, I just don't remember. Mm. All right, off you go then. Um, which which way is the dorms? Ah, uh, crap! I wish the real was still here. I'll uh walk you over to the ministry. And then Dell uh, gets up and walks you over to um, walks outside with you. Um, as you both walk outside, uh, you um, a small halfling bumps into you um, and goes, "Oh, uh, sorry there, buddy. Uh, didn't mean to bump into you." Uh, oh, it's okay. Ah, Donnie Dornace. Um, can you show 
uh, Jin to the dorms. He's in room. Uh, he is in room three hundred two. Uh, yeah, sure, I can help. Uh, come on. And uh, Donnie leads you back to the room. Okay. Um, as I guess we're walking there, um, I turn to Donnie like, um, this may sound weird, but do we know each other? I know you were dead, and now you're back to life, and that freaks me out a lot, and I'm trying not to be freaked out about it, and I'm sorry if that was rude. That's perfectly understandable. <laughs> um, I was freaked out too. Uh, when I woke up from being dead, which sounds odd when I say that out loud now when I think about it, but that's what happened, and I need to um yeah are I, you gonna... I know this might also be rude, but are you gonna like eat do you eat brains or something or like... <laughs> i I don't know I'm. I'm not that uh, hungry right now, but maybe. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this, All right. Maybe this is new for the me right now. He kind of like steps five. This. He like takes five feet away from you. <laughs> that's that's yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna stop that right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Again, nothing, nothing personal against you. Personally, I love horror novels and stuff like that. But um, in fact, writing I'm the book club. in fact, currently I'm writing one right now. Uh, oh, really? But, uh, yeah. What's the what? What's what's it about? Uh, I'm still working on it. It's uh something about uh right now. It's uh, something about a terrible corrupting infection uh, that's running through an entire uh, college campus. Um, Good job, Donnie. You know, because I'm a college student and this, you know, use my environment to uh, add to my storytelling. Um, the corrupting infection uh, are these like uh, bugs that are getting into people's skin and infecting them uh, and making their homes inside of people. Disgusting. And then, you know, infecting other people as well. Disgusting. That sounds interesting and horrifying. Yeah, so I thought that, so. <laughs> I guess that means you're doing a good job. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you, you read much? You wouldn't know, because... Yeah, I, mean, no, I, I don't know. You don't remember something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to, like, hang out, um, read some stuff. Me and my roommate, uh, like, my roommate likes to read some of my, uh, drafts every once in a while. Uh, if you want to hang out, read with us. Yeah. Join the book club! You fucked! Sh sure, I mean... Apparently, I have teammates, but again, I, technically, you're the first friendly person I've met so hey. far. <laughs> I mean, honestly, again, the whole Under you the might be, again, you might eat my brain thing is, is worrying. Yeah. But if you're down for, if you don't, my brain, uh, Books. I, I think I can do that. I, I'm pretty sure I don't want to eat your brain, so I I don't really feel that hungry right now, so I think you're safe. Wow. Hey! You punched Lyriel in the back of the head, and she still treats you nice, and she's not friendly. <laughs> well, considering you guys were still actually involved with the cra car crash that caused my first, uh, uh, again, my death, I'm like, iffy with you guys right now <laughs> like i know you're my teammates and everything but still the fact that you guys were involved with my death whether it's intentional or not is kind of like a negative like a negative mark on your guys 
Jin's got to find his own friends now. <laughs> we weren't even all that close uh, to begin with, so... I'm going to have my own friends with blackjack and hookers. Hopefully you're friends with hookers. <laughs> okay. Um, Darius, while you're still doing this, I had a sidebar question. How much did we get paid? Ah, yes. How can paid? I forget this? Yes, you were paid uh, during the week off. In fact, the moment you guys uh, were able to turn to the um, return to the police offices, you were given um, you were given a lump sum of two grand each. Excellent, that each. works for me. Because I need and, to go buy some stuff. Uh, the sheriff even threw in an extra two hundred for a gratuity of losing a team member. You hear that? You're worth 20. 200 gold, Jin. <laughs> oh I mean, and between five people, it's a thousand gold. <laughs> oh, my life is worth a thousand gold. I mean, think about, it, think about it this day. One copper is worth one dollar. One gold is a hundred dollars. So it's like a hundred thousand. Yeah, you're worth a hundred thousand dollars. That's some good life insurance. That's a help on insurance. <laughs> yeah, that's some pretty good life insurance. Right? Get out of my brain. Arguably, yeah, that's some pretty good life insurance. Hundred thousand dollars? That's serious. Nice. I wanted to yeah. double check. You said the restorative ointment is twelve thousand gold. Twelve hundred uh, gold. Yes. Even though it's only like a three use thing. Um, because of its effect. The one D eight healing and r get rid of illness. Wait, is that it? It's... Oh no, never mind. Let me bring that down, babe. It's only the... like one D eight healing and it cures illnesses. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. When I looked at the original cost for it, it was like three thousand, and I was like, let me bring that down because it doesn't seem like it would be worth three thousand. It's like barely a cure wounds. I think it's. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's 1d4 yeah, I... plus 1 doses, um, oh. It's 1d8 plus 5. It yeah. works as a light cure wounds, and... Uh, and it cures any disease in that area. Yep. It is a fourth, um, normally it's 4,000 gold. I'm giving you it for 1,200. Oh, okay, sure. And yep. you 1D8 said... Plus five. And that's the proper ring of protection, right? The plus one AC, plus one to saves. Because you put it, because I was going to buy that since you put it down for a thousand. Yeah, I brought it down from three thousand to one thousand. Okay, because I, I have some stuff I wanted to buy before I do the thing. Yep. And I will be, I have to take another look at this. Uh, uh, let me also mention that in the chat, uh, everyone except for one gets uh, twenty two hundred gold. I mean, you think he'd get at least a back pay? Forty off for the gi. Um, sixty gold for the earrings. Yeah, considering like all I have on me right now is the armor that I died in. I mean, until and two thousand gold. Oh, you didn't, you didn't say I had two thousand gold. Yeah, you get two. You do get the two thousand gold. You just don't get the extra two hundred because the two hundred was. Oh for, yeah, you were in the you were in the police office. They would have given you. <laughs> yeah, you're in the police office. You get two thousand gold. You just don't get the two hundred for gratuity because you're the one who died. Okay. No, no tip for you. What the fuck? <laughs> no tip. If anything, no they tip. should be taking money from you for for having to pay gratuity to your party members. <laughs> if if they didn't know that you were just gonna come back to life, fuck. Give the coroner a scare. <laughs> I can so only imagine that scenario out. now. Just sits up straight, suddenly has dragon's legs, and the coroner has a massive coronary. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Um, so I guess as Donnie brings me to my room, I actually also ask him, like, um, is there... Which, which way do I go 
to the gym, actually, because my my body feels pretty stiff. The whole because of the whole fact that I I just came back from the dead, like I guess this morning. Uh, uh so, I'll be honest. Morning, it kind of was kind of setting in a little bit. I'll be honest. I don't often go to the school gym. Uh, I don't really often go to the gym. I'm a bard. I don't really need to. Um, but I know Grung goes to the gym, but he doesn't go on the one on campus because they don't have a lot of good exercise equipment. She usually goes to the man meet gym. With Hazel. <laughs> man meet. Why does that name sound familiar? I think he's one of your party members. I, when I, didn't I give the last names? You did. No. Oh, no, 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 you didn't. You only gave the first names. Oh. Yeah, you only sent him Hans, Riley, and uh, uh, Molpon. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure he's one of your party members. Short dwarf guy. Oh, my roommate. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, yeah, maybe I'll join him, I guess, one day. If, mm -hmm. if he doesn't kill me in my sleep or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your party... Yeah, did they really kill you? I don't know. I just Courtney looked at you. They killed you. <laughs> Shut up, you biased there, source of information. Been, I, I turned to her, like even though I'm like speaking Donnie, I turned to her. I turned my head physically to her. Like there could have been extenuating circumstances. Uh, what you looking at, buddy? Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we just no, get like I'm... a graphic of Jin, like just saying, "Don't worry about it." Yes. <laughs> Don't well, worry. He's about not it. even looking at the at, at the screen. He's looking off to the side. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> All right. I have added notes. I have added an item. But uh, so d uh. Okay, so you don't know where the gym is. Okay. My roommate Grung should know where the gym is, so I can go ask him. Why don't you head to? We can go to my room first. Sure. Your room is just above mine anyway. Oh sure, yeah, that that works out. Yeah. Uh, you go meet uh, Donny Dornays and Grung, and because it's already twelve a.m. and I want to get to sleep soon, do you want to continue? Yeah, we can do it next time, then. Uh, yeah, want. we could do it next time, or we could put it in a side story. Even I can create something fun for you if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So that will close out the session for today. Curious. Uh, Cal, did you still have anything else you wanted to do? Yes. Just so I don't forget, because again, I was I was thinking to myself, wait, I still need to do Cal's thing too. So, all right. Um, All right, let me rapid fire this one part for you. Okay, awesome, perfect. Let's do it. Uh, a few days. I'm gonna argue because uh, in game we'll call it uh, the same day. It'll be May 10th. A few days later, his birthday comes up. All right, that morning, first thing she does is cast comprehend languages. Okay. She is going to t put her hand on the note and write down what she sees in common beneath the letters. That's what note? Of, the note Hazel wrote for her. Oh, 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 okay. So that so that Pluto and Callus have a bit of a cipher to go off of, just in case they need that. Also, she makes a copy of it for herself. Well, she makes a copy for Pluto and Callus because she's keeping the original. <laughs> Okay. Um, is there anything he wrote in particular that would be a note? Uh, he wrote, you know, the alphabet, um, and then he said you're really pretty. Oh, my God. You got beautiful eyes. Oh, God, stop. I'm actually... <laughs> Aw, I'm overwhelmed by emotion. She, um, leaves the bottom part blank. <laughs> she <laughs> translates the alphabet. <laughs> 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 she takes that to Pluto and well she goes to Pluto um, okay. and she says hey Professor Pluto 
Uh, I know you're... Hello, Tiny Callus. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Brain is not working. Hello, Tiny Lyriel. Actually, I, I kind of needed Professor Callus's help with this, too. Um, I know you both uh, have been at the school for a while, and I've heard you're both very well read. And then she shows him the note. She hands it up to him. She's like, um, do you think you could help me figure out what language this is? Oh, that's weird. I wrote, I used uh, comprehend languages to at least decipher the top part into the alphabet for you in common. Hmm? Pluto sort of looks at it for a minute and goes, Ah, yes! Oh, and he goes over to one of his bookshelves and, uh, pull, um, I knew Pluto was the right bookshelves. Yeah, <laughs> he goes, she goes, like, digging through a few books, he's like, no, not this one. This one's for uh, Infernal. No, 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 no. Uh, no, nope, that's Primal. Uh, there we are. Uh, old Chaotic Languages. Chaotic uh, Language? Let's see. Yeah, from uh, one of the uh, Planes of Chaos, it seems. Um, hell? It looks to be... <laughs> this is Abyssal. This looks to be abyssal. What's that? Demon plane. Play the Avernus is the plane of hell, the plane where devils live. Mm -hmm. uh, and the abyss is where demons live. Uh, Do you know what the difference between a devil and a demon is? Um, well, I think one's objectively worse than the other. Demons are uh, objectively worse than devils. Lyriel starts biting uh, her nails. Devils are, um, devils are creatures that, they're not, they're considered lawful evil, mm -hmm. but through, um, many writings and many understandings, we learned that they're kind of like, their evil is kind of, in, um, only meant to punish those who are wicked. Uh -huh. They don't punish the innocent or the good. Uh -huh. They don't harm the innocent or the good. Um, they make deals with those who are evil, so that they can, sh um, so that they can prove to you know who, um, the celestials on high that that person is evil, and then take their soul and punish them in in avarice. So the goal of a devil is kind of in concert with heaven, uh, uh, with the celestial plane, as they're both sort of working to you know. Help the good, punish the wicked. Okay. Demons are creatures from the abyss, and their only want is strength, power, and hung. Uh, they're only fueled by power and hunger. They devour all things around them. They look upon other creatures as if they are weaker and pathetic things, and they destroy them without any mercy in their heart. There is no love amongst abyssal, um, a love amongst demons. In fact, the word love does not exist in abyssal language. Lyril, I, I don't know if, how good Pluto's insight is, but... Oh, it's very good. <laughs> okay, well, she looks distressed. Even, even his passive insight is a 19, Oh, so... yeah, no, he notices. I don't even want to... <laughs> So I'm assuming that that's not great. You on a mission or something? Um, kind of. Uh, see, I'm dating this boy who, he's the one who wrote that for me. He doesn't, well, neither one of us knew what it was. So I, I offered to help him figure out this language he's known since he was born, since I figured it'd help me help him figure out parts of his heritage. Are you saying that he's a tiefling? Um, yes, he is. She actually takes out her... Can... She clicks her phone to show the lock screen in that picture of Hazel on the lighthouse. I... Oh. I had a book on a tiefling like this. On a species of demon like this. Um, he goes through his library again. Um... He's like, it's missing. It's, it's gone. It was just here. I swear it. 
must have been from the books that were stolen. Uh, I can remember something about these uh, types of tiefling. <clears throat> or at least the type of demon that they're based from. Do they have starry skin? Yes, but they're... Um... You know the zodiacs, right? Yes. The zodiacs? I mean, I know yeah. my zodiac sign and his. Um, so there are 12 zodiacs in the sky. Mm -hmm. um, and do you know the origins of the zodiacs? At least in this world. Uh, I know. Not, 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 Cal, not asking Callie, asking Leo. Um, oh. Roll. History? You can roll a history or a religion, whichever you want. History is higher. I have a grasp. You have something of a grasp. Um, <clears throat> you've heard stories about the zodiacs. They like they have to do with your astrological sign, of course, and like there are like astrological quizzes you can do and whatever. Um, but the like legend of the zodiac is that each of those were some sort of creature at some point in time. Mm -hmm. um, could have um, expounds on it. The zodiacs each were abyssal uh, demons. Each and every one of them. Um, they ruled the stars. Um, they were very powerful creatures that uh, could cause great chaos and havoc. Um, it wasn't until the um, the celestials came down. And they had to handle them themselves. The gods had to come in to take down these abyssal creatures because they were incredibly powerful and incredibly dangerous. They fought on the side of some other uh, being, some other, uh, um, and they were working to uh, unmake uh, reality, as it were. Um, but they had this sort of starry pattern. Um, when each of these abyssals were defeated, um, they could not be properly killed. So instead, their forms were captured in the constellation. Like in the actual heavens? Yes. So, so that they can be imprisoned there forever. So the stars in the sky are demonic prisons? Some of them, not all of them. Oh. Only the 12 zodiacs. Only the 12 zodiac signs. She just keeps looking more and more, like, stressed. <laughs> uh... Do you happen to have an idea of, I guess, which one would be connected to him? They all had starry skin, so I'm not entirely certain. Oh, okay. Um, I, I guess telling you the constellations on his skin won't do much then. No. Oh, do I even tell? When was he? How about this? When was he born? Today. So he's a Taurus, probably connected to the Taurus demon. I mean, he does kind of have bull horns. <laughs> That's probably his demonic heritage. Goes all the way back to that line. A bull demon. Mm-hmm. Do you have a name? Think no. You, do you think you could... Uh, again, my books were stolen when the, I mean, uh, could you not find it on the internet? That. No, this is deep lore. I mean, this is, to be completely honest... This, Oh, stuff. There's, there's got I to thought be... you wouldn't actually find them on the internet. I, mean, I would have to. I would have to spend some extra time searching the internet. Would you mind? I'll do my research, of course. I'll look into whatever I can find and let you know if I find anything interesting. I mean, because there's got to be some loonies on the internet that are obsessing over this sort of thing. Maybe. I mean, with all the middle-aged, with all the middle-aged mums that are so obsessed with their own constellations and zodiac signs, <laughs> do you know what demons attach to cancer? Don't know them by name. 
Just know that they're a cancer demon. Oh. And that they probably look like a crab. Oh. That, oh, that's my astrological sign. Haha. <laughs> mm. she, mm. she looks like she's... Oh, by the way, between those two times, those two days, she probably went and got de-aged back to her normal age. Okay. But I'll redraw her sprite with new hair, because every time it happens, I'm just going to change her hair. <laughs> also, within those two days, she would have gone shopping. I have already subtracted the entire amount from my page you can even check it okay. i even subtracted the amount for the ghee um i'm going to do this i did okay blurial baked a cupcake <laughs> <laughs> survival it, it was oh, well that's what he had me roll for cooking the after their oh. date yep survival is the cooking is a good skill for cooking yeah i don't know how else to <laughs> um so when she gets back to her room she'll send him a text seeing where he's at i don't know what about what time it is probably in the morning somewhere so he might be working out or at the gym or something uh just in back from the gym what's up oh just um let me know when you're in your room i want to come by yep i'll be on my way back soon she immediately just jumps down and waits outside the door she's unnerved a little she doesn't know why she is so unnerved um I mean, this is what they wanted but she uh, almost feels like it's gonna make him sad well that's what he wanted so she's gonna have to do it anyway well actually let me try something real quick uh check roll a d100 or wisdom what you doing? Shit, she's gonna tell him. Okay. Okay. I was gonna- I was rolling a d100. Lower than 40, she was gonna lie and say she didn't know. Higher than 50, you know, half and half. High, low. She's gonna tell him. Okay. Uh, he walks back in. Uh, hey, what's up? Happy birthday. She just- Oh. <laughs> and she launches Pretty herself cute. at him. Oh, you get a nice, warm hug. A slight sweaty hug. He's sweet hug. Doesn't make it any less warm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's fair. That's real fair. She'll pull him into his room. She's like, I got some things for you. Oh, awesome. I I mean, it's your birthday. Why wouldn't I have something for you? Well, thanks. And she'll sit him on his bed. Okay first and she'll pull out um a bag i already subtracted the copper for this and she hands him just it feels squishy the paper oh, what's in ever's in the paper it feels squishy okay he uh is like can i open it um uh, yes <laughs> tears apart with his claws oh um it is a i don't i'm pretty sure when it comes to ghee you want like a firm uh fabric i've never really took martial arts so i don't really know much about it you so, do want a firm a firm fabric so it's someone who did take karate oh okay so it's dyed dark black with like a silvery almost silvery blue trim mm. and wow. right on the right leg under the pocket is a tiny ladybug that was sewn in there haphazardly oh cute this looks nice thanks <laughs> you can try it on later if you want. Or now. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> sure. Well, I should probably take a shower first. <laughs> and then she has a smaller box and then another box. And she holds them in her hands. Which one do you want to open first? Hmm. The one in your right hand. Okay. She hands it to him. It is a green box wrapped with blue ribbon. He opens it. And inside is one very shiny uh, jade earring tied with red string. But just oh, one. Nice. But just one. Oh, nice. Uh, just one? Ah. Uh, uh mm. And she'll pull her hair back over her right ear, and the other one is hanging off of her ear. Oh, nice. We can match. <laughs> yes. Um, 
they're supposed to be good luck jade stones oh. and i figured it'd be easier just to split one pair than you know buy two pairs plus your left ear is not pierced yeah i'll have to get it pierced i mean you could just remove one of your uh one of the studs on your right ear silly yeah Darius, are you tired or something? This isn't really the reaction I was expecting. I am very tired. Like I said, I, I was planning to start to bed soon. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Uh, we can keep going, though. I'm I sorry have, that I'm not giving you the more. best reaction right now. Yeah, I only have one other box. And then this is the last box, other than this um, cup cupcake. I, uh, it's a little um, burnt. Uh... <laughs> He uh, looks at the cupcake, looks at you, looks back at the cupcake. Um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Just absolutely <laughs> scarfs it. Delicious. Uh, she wipes some of the fucking <laughs> <laughs> wipes some of the fucking uh, icing off his face. He kisses you in on the forehead um, oh. and leaves some frosting. Oh god. Damn it. <laughs> well, actually, she probably doesn't even notice. Uh, she'll find out later when Novus is licking her forehead. Um, and then there's one last thing. Um, I mean, I know we always end up going all separate ways for missions and everything, and, you know, I have a tendency to worry, so I wanted to get you this so I didn't have to worry so much. Um, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, oh. what is it? Aw, thanks. <laughs> Mofan lays in the infirmary wondering if he needs more training. <laughs> Always. <laughs> We're gonna Always. Do, let's let's do a side story. Maybe you can get a, a bump to one of your uh thingies. Um he opens it and inside is a ring of protection. That's where oh. like a thousand of my gold went. The other thousand went to a ring of protection for myself, because goddamn I need AC. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Um, a ring? Yes, it's called the Ring of Protection. It makes you tougher, and it makes it harder for things to hit you. Uh, plus one to saving throws, plus one to AC. Alright. Oh, this is a nice gift. Thank you. <laughs> she looks at her feet for a minute and kind of, like, kicks at the floor. Uh... All right, what's wrong? <laughs> well, wow, your insight is uncanny when I least want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> she hops on the bed next to him, and she just, like, takes his hand and goes, Remember when I said I would help you find out more about your heritage? Yeah. Did you find anything? I did. Um, Great, I what'd you find? I've been wanting to know forever. <sighs> Ever since I was born. Please really. stop making this any easier. Okay, darling. Uh, and she'll take both of his hands. I spoke to Professor Pluto, and I gave him the note you wrote me in your language. Thanks for the messages, by the way. <laughs> of course. I can comprehend language at occasionally. Oh, actually. Boop. Okay, I'm fine. Comprehend language is actually a spell. Mm hmm So I'm fine. I had to reset anyway, so So I took it to I took it to um Professor Pluto and he actually had a book on it. Uh I guess it's very serendipitous he came back from the hospital. Apparently Apparently the language is called abyssal. That doesn't sound nice. It... She kind of like, her face kind of twists up. Like, she's not sure how to say it. So she figures ca being candid is the best option. <sighs> and again, whatever trying to teach, usually teaching language isn't really very nice, is it? Infernal isn't that nice. No. Um, well, they say Inferno is the language of devils. Your language is the language of demons. 
Okay. What's the difference? She'll re basically regurgitate everything Professor Pluto told her. Mm -hmm. And then she'll so, go on to explain demons about... Demons are the nasty ones, not the devils. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a backwards, don't you think? I always thought devils were so much worse. I mean, it's the word devil. <laughs> and then she'll go on to explain about the um, chaos abyssal demons that were yeah. imprisoned yeah. in the stars. So one of those is related to me. Somewhere back in your genealogy, I suppose. They say it could be generations before anything like this ever pops up. Mm. And according to when you were born, well, it must have been a demon relating to Tauros. Hmm. Explains your horns, and she gives them a quick rub. Huh. I never would have expected that. Me well, that's either. interesting, at least. Oh. Took it, taking mm -hmm. this a little better than I thought. Thank goodness. I mean, I'm, an, I'm a tiefling. I always knew I was going to be the son of some sort of horrible creature. Well. At least I didn't know which kind. Well. I must say, you're the furthest thing from a horrible creature I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Do you need some help washing your hair? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then the bow chicka bow. Oh god, Everyone yes, was... that was definitely yeah. part of the plan. Let's be real. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> part of the plan. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I Ending hope, the session I there. hope Monday, Monday is not in the room. No, he's at the shop working. In the morning? Yes. I... Oh, no, no, no. He wouldn't be at the shop. He'd either be in classes or in his room. I hope he's not. Probably percent now to see if he's in his room. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I, th class. I thought you there. wanted me to roll the percentage. Nope, I rolled in my sail because I got dice right in front of me. <laughs> and I need more excuses to roll these tiny, um, these tiny, tiny little bits of plastic. Dice Goblin, you must roll dice. You must uh, roll more dice. There is. Yes, one. Um. How much would it cost? Because again, I'm I'm saying I'm figuring the armor that I have is kind of wrecked at this point. And the only reason I'm wearing it is because I have no other pieces of clothing with me. So I would need to order new armor. Um, how much does mithril? How much would mithril add to the cost of an armor? Uh, it adds 500 gold to whatever piece of um, armor you're looking at. Okay, so I guess I'd probably want to order mithril plate. Yeah, that's about so 2,000 gold. 2,000, yeah. Since I figured, mm -hmm. since I made 2,000, I figured, yeah, I figure it's about time. That's all your gold, though. Yeah. <laughs> to warn you. Oh, Darius, just so I can make a note of it. When she gets to the part about the abyssal language not having the word for love in it, what would a response from him be about that? Because she would probably look really upset about that. Like, It's okay, babe. I have other words to say love. Gotcha. I am going to absolutely put that in this comic. But yeah, um, what are you so doing? as part of, like, the whole thing for next time. I'm just going to have, or I guess I'm going to order some mithril armor, I guess. Mithril plate yep. made. If you guys have anything specific that you want to buy, let me know uh, um, within the next week so I can already be aware of it. I, I got your ring, so that's 2,000 oh, okay. gold already from you. Yep, don't forget to add it to Hazel's page. Oh, I'll do it, and you'll have a higher AC, and that'll be great for him, because he is a glass cannon. And a plus one dollar save throws, so when it comes time to actually 
fight in the tournament, I just fucked us over a little slightly. Yeah, yeah he'll be stronger. I mean, I don't think he'll have that much issue. Um, and also, Darius, if you remember, I think you were going to work on adding AC to the my weapon. I did try that already. Uh, I was looking into adding AC to your weapon. It doesn't look like I can actually add the AC myself. I wrote it down into your uh, weapons uh, sheet so that we both are aware of it. Uh, when it turns to shield form, you get a plus three to your AC, and I will automatically modify. Um, and when you do that, we'll just keep in mind to each other, you add plus three to your AC. Cost of bonus action to shift whatever the um, weapon is, though. And no, you can't um, use your reaction. Um, just out of curiosity, what would it take for... Because um, remember, Zhao's Claws is technically a magical item. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a shape-shifted form of my dragon. Uh, would it be much for my dragon to be able to shift it, shift into like other weapons or stuff? No, it wouldn't. Yeah. I'm already thinking, thinking about I, that kind of thing. Yeah, either you know a weapon that ex you know like an extended staff, like basically he could become a staff a or he could staff. become a shield. Yeah, you can exactly. Do both yeah, he's looking for something more expensive. Yeah. Oh, there was one other thing Lyrio probably did while she was out. She would have taken two of the flowers that she got from her date because they're starting to die a little bit, and found someone mm -hmm. to cast them in a resin ball. Oh. So now she's got. I actually put it in the notes. It's just like a palm-sized ball, and she had them like entwine the flowers together so they sit in the middle. And like, I'll draw it out so you can see what I mean. Okay. But she just wanted to keep at least one of each because I mean, it was each of their colors, <laughs> blue and red. But um, yeah, I don't know. She can't do that herself. Resin is not her forte. She would have like ended up cementing her fingers together or something but um also if we uh persuasion persuasion Partially, yeah persuasion persuasion um because it should be knowledge local but i'm not sure what to use as knowledge local other than just charisma or persuasion nope yeah you hurt someone oh no 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 no, no. i use my luck points oh you use your luck points uh, Fifteen is good. Yeah, no, you find someone. Super. Yeah, I'll. Mm -hmm. I actually wanted to start drawing that for you because I it, I've never actually drawn like a clear item before, so I thought it'd be interesting or bubbles for that matter because resin sometimes has bubbles in it from what I've heard. Mhm. Mm but um, I'm gonna need yeah. your help to help find because I don't know what kind of medium armor druids can wear. Yeah, I'll have something planned out for you. Oh, okay, I, I super. I'm already thinking about uh, just making a homebrew item. There used to be a sect of armor called Druid Plate, which was like stone plates. Stone plates? It shifted into any kind of weapon yeah, suit. It was pretty Preferably cool. claws, bow staff, nunchucks, and a shield. Yep, 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 yep. Um, actually, I do have an upgrade planned for Mofon in, uh, in this next act, Act 3. I have an upgrade plan for. I have a big upgrade plan for Mofon, and I hope you do enjoy. Oh, Hazel's twenty now. He can almost go drinking. Also, uh, fun fact: uh, the um, the other campaign I'm in uh, every other Friday, uh, we went up against. I don't know what level she was, but she was an a vampire, <laughs> and we went from <laughs> level we went from level five to level eight. Yeah, no, vampires are CR 13. Yeah, it was nuts. Uh, I mean, oh, yeah, it we fought a vampire all... lord in our other campaign. I hit yeah, him. We... Kill. At level 5, you fought a, a vampire? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. You're a 13 creature. Did you full yeah. kill it? Because uh, uh, when they yeah, reach zero hit points, they turn into gas. And... Yeah, no, uh, one of our one of our Party members literally blasted her away before she could escape at, in her ethereal form. The ethereal form can't take damage from you. The only I don't way... know what. Uh... The... Oh no 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 yeah yeah I mean, no no basically. The like... accepted the, you know, 
Yeah, yeah I think he might have made an exception there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he, he didn't want us encountering her again. But the fun fact, mm -hmm. was, the funny thing too, was that it was, it was the meter maid uh, that had ticketed the airship we were on. And she literally slapped the ticket inside of the boat and the DM fully expected us to question it, but it turned out to be a tracking device. Mm. So our fault for not noticing that it was a tracking device and her encountering us later and now the ship has been scuttled. Thankfully it's a rental. But yeah, it's a it was it's a very weird campaign. Uh, I'm a half elf rogue. Yeah. And that actually just sounds pretty standard to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no. I didn't want to I didn't want anything like super unfamiliar and I've already played a half elven rogue before, so and now you're playing Mofon. I mean, the Air Genasi monk. Yeah. To be honest, Heck. there To be honest, there was a character that I've always wanted to play, which was Rakshasa, but 5e kind of took away that option. Oh. You mean the is that the tiger people? Yeah, that's the tiger people with the backwards hands. E e. Like They're I like said, like I told sorcerers. you from the start, I said you could just be whatever character you wanted. Listen, you I was locked into Zog. Zog. You <laughs> chose to bring back Zog. Let's be fucking frank about that. I gotta put Zog in the world myself and let you do some talking for him the same way uh, Callie is doing talking for Dallas. You chose Zog. And that's totally fine. Zog is a good character anyway. Oh, I mean, there's there's now Tabaxi in 5e. I'm not playing a fucking Tabaxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's Leonins then. Uh, Lion people. I'm going to be yeah, changing. Leonin is literally just too close to being a Jani. And don't we already have a Leonin character in this campaign? No. Oh. No. You have the Rakshasa. Uh, Rakshasa. Uh, Rakshasa. Bleh. No, I thought I thought someone had a girlfriend who was a Leonin. No. In this campaign, hell no. I could have sworn that came up somewhere, but I don't know. It was not in this no. campaign. Dan has um, a Drow girlfriend. A girlfriend who's a Drow, hmm. and his teacher. Or was someone's ex that was a Leonin? No, we haven't even Rock spoken Sasha. about people's exes. Huh. Okay, uh, so uh -huh. guys, I'm just going to actually uh, head off because I actually got to bring in some furniture in before it rains and then, yeah, pass out. Oh, good night. Nope. Okay. I'm going to be... Yeah. Uh, Chill next week? Yep. <laughs> um, yep. Maybe, depending on if Darius uh, figures some stuff out, we might be able to do a side story together. All right, sounds mm. good. Let me know. Yep. Yeah. Go do cool monk shit with Hazel. Excellent. Go into the forest and fight. Awful, horrid chimeras. We're twisted, gonna do it uh, shirtless, uh, too. <laughs> Please don't distract me during the fight. Um, <laughs> twisted abominations is. against God. Um, one. <laughs> Alright, night, guys. I know that Bye. my lower half is the uh, is the dragonborn, but is there a way for me to have a breath attack? Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, it's, it's going to be the fire from not. not under. It's not happening. It can, yeah, it can come Are out farting of flames? that end. Absolutely <laughs> not. I just bend over and let Hell one rip. No. Hell it, no. Hell no. Then it's, then it's poison damage. Oh no. Fuck you, no. And it would be explosive damage because parts are uh, gashes and you have a golden dragon's butt. Even <laughs> better. Fire mixed with the sulfur of your parts. God, I can't even draw a straight fucking line right now. Thanks, assholes. <laughs> Darius, I'm going to be um, no. changing up some of the reactions from tonight because when I draw this, I, I'm going to be changing it. So... <laughs> Um, are you able could you draw tokens for some of the other uh, characters? yes darling I can draw whatever tokens you good like good god thank you after I'm drawing this comic 
I, I, otherwise, I'm just going to keep trying. I would, I would have thought you'd already have Monday's token made already. I, I have mean. pictures. I have colored pictures of Monday. It's just uh, he never. I never really. You know. I just. I'm just gonna make one into a token. That's fine. Yeah. Um. When I, I don't know. Whenever I try to grab them from Discord or try to grab the original, I'll make it always them. shows up as a weird file type. WebP. It's awful. I hate it. I will. I yeah, will make the no. tokens for you and send them to you. Thank you, babe. Yes. You're the best. As as recompense, I want you to write out actual nice responses for that last interaction. Okay. Good reactions for me to proceed uh, with. That will be tomorrow because I'm tired today. I, I'm not going to be able to have all these drawn by tonight. I have to work 11 hours tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will work on them during my break because it's not like I have anything better to do. I... I have witnessed something bloody disgusting. And you're going to share it with us, aren't you? Of course well, he is. it's not Why disgusting not? as in, like, it's gross. It's disgusting as in it <laughs> just shows how the band S-word on this site functions. What? Uh, voice <laughs> actress just did her first VTuber debut and she had like a donation goal and she destroyed the goal in like 10 minutes oh, yeah because it's a voice actress 660 dollars oh, in 20 yeah. minutes okay i was like what the fuck what am i witnessing right now people <laughs> voice actress makes sense yeah, yeah. She's famous no. that just makes sense that trash 100%. they want to support the lady who voices their waifus mm-hmm that's literally all there yeah. is to it. Well, it's not a, not official voice actress. Mm. Like, starting voice actress, I guess. Is, is that know. not official? No. Well, no. If you're not contracted by an actual company and you're doing small bits, I Could I don't know, honestly. A, I don't know the... She's making I don't know the world of voice it. acting. It's like fan dubbing or something. I, I don't know. I, it was just like, damn, people... Calm your wallets. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah. Uh, Whatever. I'm just fucking tired from family drama this today. Good God. Well, at least I didn't have to kick Hazel's ass. No, you didn't. You just lit him on fire and dealt a ton of damage to him. I hey, he takes half damage. It's fine. It's not like I wanted to do didn't. it. Even at half damage, he has only 23 hit points. I have more hit points than Hazel? Yeah, he's a glass cannon. He's a huge glass cannon. He has a lot of DPS, but he's he can't take a hit. I mean, look at look at Mopon. Yeah, that's just the way of monks. They are, they are fragile, but they can beat the shit out of you if they get in range. Ugh. Just wanted to be able to fawn over him while he beat the shit out of someone, probably Mofon. <laughs> no, that wasn't gonna happen this time. He, we start, I, we I made started it, off too far he, away from one another. He started away, um, sixty feet away. Yeah, I thought that, um, I thought that uh, Monday could really capitalize on that, um, especially uh, Monday could capitalize on that really well, as well as uh, Big with her being able to capitalize on just closing the distance. That's all she's good at. But I forgot that Hazel doesn't have good movement skills, so he is not going to be able to get in close. And he had, doesn't have, and other than his boomerang, he doesn't have ranged attacks. He clonked mm -hmm. fucking move on with it, though. Nope. <laughs> it's the most he can do in that situation. I, I got to admit, Lyriel probably had to stifle a laugh from Movon mm -hmm. getting smashed in the face with a boomerang. A lot of my problems were I wasn't as familiar with these character sheets i probably should have familiarized myself a bit more i was looking i was more familiar with um uh with veronica steam's character sheets um no they would have fucking stomped us into the ground let's not <laughs> yeah they were really good <laughs> you've got a freaking no fun wizard no fun wizard just cancels you out and can't he, she would cancel use and then she would can and she would cancel Hans. Up into a certain amount. 
Yeah. But I've got twin. I I can twin my spells. So once she's out of slots for that. Yeah. Um, a fun thing that I uh, maybe I should, do. I want to reveal it now. I mean, Anthony helped me make it, so I might as well. Um, there's a fun item that I gave her. Um, it was those cards that me and Anthony discussed a couple months ago. Um, she actually has a reserve of counter spells, not just from her spell slots. She has cards that can cast counter spells. Gross. Oh, so she's part artificer or something like that? No, no, no. She has an um, she has an item. She has a web. Um, she has an item um, called. They just um, get. A deck of cast- they just a get deck items. Of casting. Yeah, they just get items yeah. like we do. Yeah, they have they have their own legendary items and they have What's their own Hazel's? Uh, specials. Um, Hazel's isn't an item; it's his features. He gets different star-based abilities. Where is this chalice? Because I don't remember you ever saying anything about him having a chalice. I don't think maybe I didn't mention it at all. You did not. I wish you did. You said, the, you said the ones that are on his body are mostly just the twelve zodiacs and like a bunch of. I definitely ones. made sure to have those. You said Scorpius yeah. by his tail, Tauros on his back, Leo on his chest, Cancer on his hand. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I probably. Oh, that's so chalice. bad. That's unfortunate. What? Oh my god. Hey, it's only unfortunate if the punch gives you cancer. Oh yeah, true. Your jokes give me cancer. <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That was more of actually a question of concern. Um. So yeah. Um. I wanted to give him more abilities with his, because he has abilities that have to do with his. Uh, demonic lineage and tapping into his astral abilities. Um, he absolutely took that much better than I thought he was going to. Mm-hmm. Uh, Monday has a, um, Monday has a couple of extra abilities. Um, mostly his gun is just. Uh, I was going to say. I was going to say it's that fucking hunting rifle and the fact yeah, that, that he's a dumb fear. Yeah, the hunting rifle plus um, the hunting rifle comes with a few different bullets. He can load in uh, different elemental rounds. So he has uh, fire rounds. He has acid rounds. He has cold rounds. He has um, lightning rounds as well. So he could just load in an extra round and just blast you with it. My goal was, if he had actually bit me, was to make him feel really awkward about it. <laughs> Not even that close enough for him to bite you. Yeah, I was thinking so. about biting him first as an as Okami. <laughs> um, if he had done it, just be like, "Harder, Daddy." <laughs> Harder, Daddy. What? what? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Awkward. I gave, shuffles away. I gave Fig a um. Is it Fig the axe? has two things. She has the axe, and she has resistance to psychic damage in her rage. Nice. Um, She's resistant to psychic damage in her rage, and she her axe is a cursed item, uh, axe of the berserker. Checks out. Uh huh. Yeah. And Joshua has um, his cherub. Uh, his cherub is named Zol. It is um, it is it doesn't look like a baby. It's I mean, creepy frank- looking. <laughs> Doesn't look like a baby. It shouldn't look that creepy. I just didn't have a good cherub. I will draw you a cherub. Thank you. Um, And I will draw a novice as well. It's not a baby as as much as it's it's straight up a full, like, humanoid angel. Fuck it. Um, I'll just make it a fucking icon for everyone's familiars. uh, As his cherub levels up, it actually stops being a cherub and grows to different levels uh, throughout the... Hey Darius, uh, the celestial hierarchy. You know, you know what we can do to help you familiarize more. I'm just gonna go on. I just want to go on an adventure with Monday's team. Yeah, that'd be nice. That way you can. I, I could take. I guess I could take over one or one of the characters. So you only have to do, worry about three of them. Yeah, these. I, I wasn't as familiar with these characters as I was with Veronica. I spent a bit of time. I was hoping that you guys would be fighting uh, Veronica's team, because um, I had, I had Fig. Um, I made you guys roll for it, but you really you were rolling between Fig or Veronica's teams. Um, 
was hoping you guys would fight uh, Veronica's team. They were um, a one or a two, and Fig was a uh, three or a four. Um, and Dan rolled it a two. It made Riley happy, and then Fig got to be carried like a princess. Mm-hmm. I'm drawing really that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Veronica's team all have their own special things as well. For example, um, Nebit has um, a retaliation shield. If you, um, whenever an attack action is taken against her um, and misses, her shield deals uh, 2d4 of fire damage to whoever attacked her. Nice. So if you, if you miss, you get punished. Is that a reaction or? It's not a reaction. It's just an ability of the shield itself. So every time you miss, you just. Start oh motherfucker! Yeah. I have it absorb fucks. elements. You do have absorb elements. I can use it as a reaction, and I should have done it when he casted that fireball at us. Mm-hmm. I think actually, I think absorb elements only works on direct on direct. Spells, not like the AOE spells like Firewall. Hmm. I could be wrong. I, I just don't remember what what the actual wording is. It on. just says incoming sorry. energy. <sighs> yeah, I should have uh, given them something better to deal with because that fourth level fire kind of killed them all. Yeah, no, it just says um, a reaction to damage. Doesn't specify AOE or single. So it's literally just any elemental damage. Um, spell captures some of the incoming energy, lessening its effect on you and storing it for your next melee attack, which would be pointless because I don't make fucking melee attacks. I should have something else. I don't really have any mm. other reaction spells, though. Shield. Uh... I don't know if I have shield. You should take shield. Pretty sure you, should be, you should be able to take shield. Shield's a very, very useful spell, no matter which way you slice it. There it, it. is. Your AC so maybe is. I should just drop absorb element because I, I don't make physical attacks. Because I have a minus one to hit. And yeah. I, don't, I do, and any damage I do is also minus one. Yeah. You actually heal them whenever you hit them. Oh, I'm just <laughs> fucking close! <laughs> um, do you have mage armor? Um, mage hand. Is that a, is that a first level spell? You're back. First level. Yes, I do it's have like mage shield. armor. Oh, okay. I, but it is touch. Base AC becomes 13 plus 6 dex modifier. Uh, the spell ends if the target dons armor or if you dismiss the spell as an action. Uh, they ha- they can't be wearing armor. Yeah, so... Are you wearing armor now or no? Um, I have a ring of protection and he was going to... Mo- I am technically wearing the um, Cloak of the Manta Ray. I don't know if that technically that's, counts. That's not armor. No, yeah, it's, I currently have in... no armor. But it would only bring <clears throat> my AC up to a 15 because my dex mod is awful. Hmm. I have a plus two. I'm gonna double check to see if um, road plate still exists. What is this? Druid plate. It's um, it was three five armor, but mm, doesn't sound like I don't remember seeing anything about druid armor. There is no druid plate. It says not. There's just. It just brings up a page about non-metal druid armors. It looks like the the best I can get is hide, and that's it. Which is a medium armor. That's it. And it's a twelve plus dex mod, so I would literally only get one more AC. Okay, so. Novus has Polymorph, Phantasmal Force. She can use one of these per each of these per day. Confusion, Dancing Lights, Detect Evil and Good, Detect Thoughts, Dispel Magic, Entangle, Fly, Phantasmal Force, Polymorph, and Sleep. 
And she can cast druid craft at will. Because <laughs> that's important. So those are druid some... craft for the win. So those are some fun spells. I could probably have fun with the polymorph. I'm just sad that we've been using it wrong in the other campaign this entire time. In every yeah. campaign. Yeah. Even in Hecuna. Absolutely, mm. because I shouldn't have been able to turn Casey into a dragon. No. Or the other man meat. Yeah. Mm. I knew it was too overpowered to be turning people into dragons. You I was wondering the moment I got I know. And the first time I did it, I was like, you know, it's kind of broken that it could just turn you into anything with a CR lower than your level. Yeah, well, it's weird that it, a dragon. it's weird that it didn't like block text the beast thing. It doesn't, yeah, which is weird. So I'll finish up because otherwise it just kind of gets lost in the rest of the text. Yeah, it doesn't really stand out if you're skimming it. So I'm gonna finish Okami. I'll wait for your I, responses. To be honest, I originally didn't want to say anything, but I just felt it would be too unfair to, to Darius. He uses he it all the time in Anthony's it. campaign. Yeah, and he might end up using it. I mean, he, time, hasn't, so. he hasn't used it in a bit, but... I have better spells than that now, so I just don't use it anymore. Well, and you should have told me earlier, because I would have absolutely not use it that way. <sighs> so we found more clever ways to do things. I remember reading it for Heck like after Hecna, but like it never really came up with me because again, I I every now and then I watch your stream like for the Thursday for the Thursday campaign. But like whenever I saw it, I you didn't use polymorph at the time. So I didn't just never remember it until now. Hmm. Well, no more polymorphing Jack into a dragon. That would have nope, really sucked. Can, now you can do gorilla. Really lame animals. Yep. Aminals. That's why I'm not using wild shape for the normal animals. Except maybe cat. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I have to be up in like five hours for work. Yeah. Same. I'll be too. I'll be working on your icons and I'll look forward to your p responses, babe. Make yourself a note so you don't forget, please. Hazel's chalice constellation. Hmm. Well, not only that, but some more um better responses to the last scene they did together. Yeah. Okay. I'd appreciate it. It was just, it came across as just so blasé. I was like, oh, well. I know. I was just tired. I'm exhausted. I'm, it, it was already like an hour past my bedtime. I was already getting tired. I'm, a, I'm aware. That's why I was like getting a little antsy because I was like, it's getting so late. Yeah. I didn't want to take up time to do a whole side story for something that would only last, like, 15 minutes. Could have been a nice short side story. Yeah, but that's almost long. not even worth getting the stream up and everything. Yeah, but you don't have to get a stream up for it. You just be um, yes, I would, because it has to be something that's recorded. Because it's actually kind of important information. Mm. You know it is. <laughs> I mean, important to you. I. It's important to me too, but it's important to you. Well, yes. We it... can just sit back and, and we can just have a chat about it. it. Doesn't need to be a whole thing we share with everyone. Not I mean, everyone wants to see it. I mean, technically, everyone's gonna have to find out later. <laughs> hmm. Black nosy. Okay, well, I guess I will take this time to end the stream. Let's see, ending. Boop. Okay, 
super. So have a good night, everyone. It's Sunday right now. May or may not have... That's probably... Uh, no, we probably have a side story next week or something. Um, but Thursday is our usual Aldea stream. And I'm also working on extra stuff for that, too. God, I'm just going to burn myself out in art. <laughs> but I will... S what? Uh, 